Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. I hope you're all having a good morning. What is up? <clears throat> we are back with Spirit Hunter NG today. We are going into the land of the dead. But first we have to rescue our sister. Because even though we did that, we did that on the bad route ending. Even though we didn't get to see the death. Which also kind of sucked in its own way. But we'll deal with it. Don't worry about it. Lala, thank you so much for the 20 gifted member sheep. And Jin, welcome back to the member sheep. Good morning, everybody. Whistling while shaking your hips is very dexterous. I was not shaking my hips. I do not know what you mean. You have imagined something else. Self for self is meow meow. Welcome back to the member sheep. But if you don't remember where we left off last week, um, we finished a new story, which was all about a diet woman being murdered by a bunch of people trying to protect their business and company. And now we're ready to dive through the mirror to save our sister and then go to the land of the dead to fight Kakia directly herself and end this game forever. Good morning, everyone. This should be the final stream of um, Spirit Hunter NG. From what I've seen, we don't have much left to go, so it should be interesting. Kindred and on, welcome back to the membership. Adohide, welcome back to the membership. Anpan, Kubo, Yuki Tempura, Denden, Kasumi Hiyasi. I apparently shouldn't have read these at the beginning, because <laughs> now a lot of people are joining at the same time. Welcome back to the membership, everybody. From here on out, I'll be reading them at the end of the stream like usual. Yo, 23 months, goddamn. We really do not have much time left before I have to have the two-year badge ready. Oh my god, there's so many people. <laughs> Rustin Rivers, Alba Shizuo, Lunasa, welcome back. It's lovely to have you here. Good morning, everybody. I hope you've all had a good start to the day. How's everybody feeling now? Megan Senpai, welcome back. Bum, ba -da -bum. But yeah, we should be finishing Spirit Hunter NG today. Um... It should be a good day. It shouldn't take too long. We'll finally get to see how it ends. I think we're going to get the good ending. I'm not sure, to be fair. <laughs> Rengo, Raining Windows, Frame Mister. Welcome back to the membership. How are you, sir? I'm good. I didn't get much sleep last night, but I'm like well-rested kind of thing. I got like a good four to five hours. Um, Woke up early, walked dog, had a nice relaxing start to the day. It's been good. Nothing like special, but it's been chill. How are you guys doing? Did you sleep well? Have you been eating good? Have you been hydrated? Because you better be. You don't want to dehydrate and dead instead. Chicken CYL and Kazuyun. Welcome back to the membership. How was the watch along like last night, sir? The watch along for where? <laughs> the where? Fube, Kyrie of the Stars. Welcome back to the membership. Having dinner right now? Oh, let's go. I just had breakfast. No plans for a two-year badge, Fuchan? I've been talking about them for a long, long time. We have many ideas. We just haven't decided which artist we're going to commission and which one we're going to go for. There are many ones, but I want to keep it a surprise. There are some like being a uh, very like majestic looking sheep with big, long horns and glowy eyes. Um... There are some suggestions of like a wolf that instead like a wolf ram kind of thing. So a wolf with giant ram horns. Um, there are other things as well. Other ideas. Rainbow sheep puke. That's also a possibility. <laughs> no, no, Marlene. Mothri. Sinan. Kirada. <clears throat> Welcome back to the member sheep. I had talked about how you suggested a watch along. I think they confused as you did that last night. Oh, yeah. No, that was a few days ago. I was very confused. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just with the way that everybody's been feeling recently, even though I had already watched it like a few days before that, um, I just like messaged everyone I did and at everyone was like, hey guys, I think we should watch this movie. And I linked them to everyone, everything, everywhere, all at once. And then we just all watched it together on the Discord server. It was brand new for Aya and Mariding, and then a bunch of other people that were there had already seen it before and were just like vibing and enjoying it. Um... And yeah, I we got to hear so many people cry. <laughs> Mari Ding especially cried her eyes out. And it was funny because she was just like sniffling for a solid like three minutes and talking about some moments. And it was just like, oh, Mari Ding, are you crying? She was like, like a solid pause for three seconds. It was like, Mari Ding, are you all right? Were you crying? No, <laughs> it was like so cute. <laughs> Mickey Tachan, Sky Blue Wing. We thank you so much for joining the membership and welcome back. 
but yeah i think like uh, that movie like really helped me when it came to understanding that different people all over the world have different types of perspectives 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 <laughs> and that sometimes you're just not going to be able to understand somebody else's perspective sometimes you just have to accept that you don't know what's going through someone's head at the same time that doesn't mean you have to consider them an antagonistic being you can just try to look on the bright side of things understand that in their world they're just doing their best they're just trying to survive they're going through everything everywhere all at once too we all are and sometimes it's nice to just have as much understanding as you can to try not to fight with other people and to just be like hey it sucks that we can't see eye to eye but let's just be friendly with each other rather than attacking each other let's just hey let each other live in our own way all thanks to waymond and yeah i think that message like got through pretty well to a lot of people and it's yeah it was a good moment i i enjoyed it um yeah we've been hanging out quite a bit on the hangouts recently um, a lot of late night calls, a lot of like chilling. There are people like still playing Final Fantasy 14. There are people playing a bunch of other games. Roxy's almost constantly on Moonscape. It's a fun time. My mom deserves a better child. Oh, what a name. No, that's sad. Did you listen to Kyo's song? You said you would. Get timed out. Welcome to my chat rules, where if you mention another liver, you get timed out for five minutes and no i haven't yet because i've been very very busy i will listen to it when i have time mao tian thank you so much for donating five membership to the membership pile thank you so much for all the gifted new year lucky money sorry for the account name ruining the mood <laughs> i have to wait more than 10 days to exchange it and don't have another account it's okay it's fine thank you for donating the food funds but i hope you're feeling okay um i hope that was a joke more than anything but yeah, make sure you're taking care of yourself as well. And to the person who just got bonked, you know, just... <sighs> I'll bring it up when I want to bring it up. When I have time to listen to it, I will listen to it. I am still collecting all my tax information. I'm still trying to write Legatus 505. I am planning for two outfit reveals, a birthday, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my life right now. When I have time and I want to listen to it, I will listen to it. And then I will talk about it. Okay, let's dive in to Spirit Hunter NG. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm probably going to have to turn the volume up because it sounds very quiet right now, but there's not actually any BGM. So we'll see how it goes. Let's rescue Ovidiami, who's still trapped in the mirror. <laughs> oh, God, Ovidiami, get out of there. Um, also, the Noctix anniversary. Yeah, that's another thing that's coming up. <clears throat> I'm more than familiar with this mirror. There's a few water stains on it. I haven't bothered to clean it in a while. There's no blood stains anywhere. Um. Oh, right. I had to attack. Uh, I had to stab the mirror into it. I need a double mirror. <laughs> I forgot what I did last week, which is funny because, I mean, I, I knew exactly what I was doing last week. The compact mirror. Let's make a path to Ami. Also, thank you so much for donating the food funds, Luna. Oh, well, dip gifting 20 membership to the membership pile. Welcome to all of our new membership. I'm going to be posting a new membership update on Saturday when I don't stream. So look forward to that. Hopefully I'll have some updates on some things. <clears throat> Monsters. Maybe hurry and join didn't mean to hurry and join her there. But hurry and join the mirrors. I've heard when you hold mirrors up to one another to reflect each other, it's called a spirit road. I'm sure Natsumi had heard of that before since she's a horror writer. I've got no interest in supernatural stuff, so I'd completely forgotten about it till now. Oh yeah, the music's loud enough after all. Wow, they were really trying to goad me into turning it way up. I see how it is, Spirit Hunter. Should I give it a shot? I take the compact mirror out of my bag and hold it up to the mirror. No, oh, with a little tiny baby hand. Oh, army. That instant, a thin, pale arm stretches out of the mirror, as if breaking a watery surface. Army? I immediately grab the small, quivering hand. I can feel her body heat through my glove. Hold on! I'll save you! 
I brace against the sink with my right hand and pull with all my might with my left. <laughs> Damn it. You're heavy. <laughs> no, she isn't. You know, she's a baby. She might be being held on to something. Or maybe that world is more viscous than ours. Who knows? Army's arm doesn't budge easily. It's like a weed firmly rooted in the ground. Her arm slowly gets absorbed back into the mirror. If I stop pulling for a second, I'll get dragged in with her. Damn it! I've finally got you. I'm not letting you go! I fill my lungs with air and pull with all my weight. What he said. <laughs> I catch Army as she tumbles out of the mirror and I fall on my back. Big brother? When Army looks up at me, she gives me that warm smile that she's always had. Then she slowly closes her eyes, relief clear on her face. Her breathing and pulse are calm. It looks like she's fainted though. I'm seriously beat. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I remember being like, there's no way this idiot's about to go to sleep after just rescuing his sister, who's been missing for more than a week from the land of the dead. Like, come on, dude. Take her to a hospital. Do something. <laughs> so she was really heavy. Could be. Could be she was being held onto something. Could be she's full of ghosts. Who knows? I consider letting Army sleep on the bed while I collapse on the floor, but I really don't feel like spending the night here. Since there's a mirror connecting to the realm of the dead, where Kaki is, anything could happen. Give him some credit. Have you not watched the last bunch of parts of this game? This game's logic is deeply flawed in my mind. <laughs> I give him all the logic I can, but... Uh, this is the guy who punches police officers in the face as a first option and then doesn't run away. Just chills and walks away as if that's a good idea. <laughs> I hoist Army onto my back while she sleeps and head to the Black Rabbit. That place should still be safe. Oh, I'm being targeted by spirits, so it's not by much. A cool, refreshing breeze. A cool, refreshing breeze blows. A rarity on a warm summer night like these. My mind and body are exhausted, but the sensation still feels strangely bad. Feeling Army's warmth on my back makes it all finally seem real. I came close to dying so many times, and there have been a lot of victims, but I finally rescued Army. But it's not over yet. As long as Kakia exists, her game will continue, and I'll be plagued by this curse of death. Army could just get caught up in it again. Unmetsumi's still in a coma too. There's only one way to really end this. I've got to put an end to Kakia with my own hands. Hell yeah, we're going to fight a ghost. You see, punching police officers. Not the best idea, especially not if you then don't flee the scene of the crime or you get seen doing it. Not a great idea. Punching ghosts. Fuck yeah, let's do it. When we get to the Black Rabbit, I carry Army inside and lay her on Natsumi's daybed. Then I collapse at a random seat in the bar. Kakuya could come to get Army back. As long as that possibility exists, I have to sleep with one eye open. They had the perfect ch- Ooh! Game of Death. Barn slash Rose. Finn. They had the perfect chance to do something adorable there. They should have just put them to bed together. Made sure that, like, I mean, him doing the whole Kakia could come at any time. Why isn't he in bed with Army right now? I would be so scared that they would be coming from Army. And that would be an adorable CG after all the pain and suffering we've been through. Just have them cuddling together on a bed. Give us the happiness while we can actually have it. Bam, bam, bam. Like giving CG, which is surprisingly rare in this game. Yeah, you have to fight hard to get a CG. You have to, like, kill your friends to get CGs in this game. <sighs> As I yawn for what must be the hundredth time, I give my neck and shoulders a good rub. They ache with a heavy dullness. I like to think that I can take more than your average Joe, but apparently even I'm worn out. Is Army still asleep? 
It's already noon, but it looks like Army hasn't moved since I brought her here. Oh shit, is Army even okay? I just realized. We only got up to the point where our friends showed up. We didn't get to see Army wake up. Oh no. I'm sure she's just really tired, but... If this is more than just sleep, then I'll have to call a doctor. I got a text. Earlier I sent out messages saying that Army's safe. It's probably someone replying to that. And an Amanome doesn't hide his happiness. He also doesn't hide his shock when I tell him about what happened to Natsumi. Apparently Amanome is still under house arrest. There's no reply from Hazuki. She probably hasn't recovered yet. That shit's pissing me off, man. I want her to show up and bring me back my wig. <laughs> Bon just says, oh, that's great, which is probably, which is pretty much what I'd expected he'd say. Rose is very interested in how I was able to save Army from the mirror. I guess that's the sort of thing that would make a supernatural specialist like her interested. Always extremely worried about Army's condition. She says she's got time this evening, so she'll swing by the Black Rabbit. I send a text to Natsumi, who's still unconscious in the hospital, so naturally there's no reply. She was the one who was most desperate to get Army back, so it sucks that she can't hear the news. I guess he's technically told the police now, because... Oh, yay. Oh, she's awake. She might be possessed by Kakuya or evil, but she's awake. <laughs> um, Yeah, I guess he's finally kind of told the police. He waited until the next morning, but he told Owe. Although... <laughs> He still hasn't actually told the police. They should really have to take her in and like question her and be like, yo, where have you been for more than a week? How did he find you? What's going on? But yeah, okay. We'll focus on the ghosty stuff first. Big brother. Army. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Did you save me? Yeah. Kinda. Relax. You're safe now. Big bro. Oh my god, we've never seen that face before. She's terrified. Army starts crying. And she launches herself into my arms and breaks into sobbing. Oh, that's so cute. Finally. Thanks. <laughs> Brother. Oh, she's back home. She finally feels safe. She looks so scared. Yeah. I mean, being locked in the land of the dead would do that. And it sounds like she was being tortured. Skakia talked about playing games with her, but then she talked about doing other things. And Army was like, I don't want her to come back and like shaking and shit. Oh my God. She stands there for a while crying. Adamaris, you are doing God's work. Price of the game. Oh, so this is the final chat. Well... I don't know that it's the final chapter. I just know that, like, we're close to the end game. It shouldn't take too long. You okay now, Army? Yeah. She wipes away her tears and grins. If she can smile, and then she's probably all right. Hey, Army, can you tell me what happened? If it's too hard for you, it can wait, but. No, it's fine. I can talk about it. Yeah? Okay, then. What do you want to know about? Um... I'm gonna start with the Realm of the Dead. Just in case we only get one question. That's the most interesting to me. How was hell, Army? What was going on over there? Feed the child, MC. I know, right? Feed the girl. Get her some drinks. Oh my god, she's been in Deadland for a week. You were in the realm of the dead the whole time, Mia. Yeah? What exactly is that place like? Um, how should I put it? Army tilts her head in thought. My head felt kind of fuzzy. Like, I could never really tell if I was awake or just dreaming. I never got hungry, even though I never ate anything while I was there. That's not a lot of information. Actually, a good thing she didn't eat anything while she was there. 
Because if I know my mythology, <laughs> when it comes to fairies and when it comes to ghosts, never accept their offers of food. Sometimes it bounds you to their realms. Sorry, big brother. You don't have anything to be sorry for, army. You were kidnapped. I don't really understand it either. Do you want to know something else? When you disappeared, was Kaki always with you? No, not always. Just sometimes. She'd talk with me and play with me. What'd she talk about? Uh... I think she only ever talked about you. Me? She asked me a bunch of questions. Like about your past, hobbies, favorite games. Oh shit, Kaki is in love with me. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Remember Pan's Labyrinth? Oh, I will never forget Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> Did you see David Bowie in those tight pants? Who could forget about Pan's Labyrinth? You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do do? What remind me of the babe? I had my babe. Sorry. I guess she was. Oh, I guess she was interested in me because I survived her games. Oh, yeah, Army. Did Kakuya say anything about that NG thing? Oh, shit. Wrong labyrinth, foo. Pan's labyrinth. A labyrinth de pano. Okay, a phone though. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I, just... I, I said I was fully awake this morning, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, no, Pan's Labyrinth was really good as well. Really fucked up, but yeah, another tragic baby girl character. Actual baby girl, not baby girl, baby girl. <laughs> no, she never said anything about it. I was curious too, so I asked her. But she didn't tell me. <laughs> she's got such adult like expressions on her face. This face right here looks like she's so frustrated. It doesn't look like she's confused or anything. It looks like she's saying, The fuck are you talking about, Onichan? Get your shit together. Ask the right questions. <laughs> huh? Did she say anything else that caught your attention? Um, actually. Do you know anything about the Demon Tsukiyomi? Demon Tsukiyomi? I can't remember that one. Someone asked how old is she? I, I can't remember. I, I pressed escape because I was hoping to find the character profiles. I guess we have to be able to move first. It reads as eight-year-old disapproves of your ability to be a responsible adult and is judging you for it. <laughs> Pretty much. Hans Labyrinth with Bowie would have been different. Yo! If instead of the fawn, you had Jared the fucking Goblin King? Oh. I would have gone with the fawn immediately. Would have been shit. That would have been the shit, I mean. <laughs> no. I've never heard of it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kakia talking about it. The demon Tsukiyomi. That has an ominous ring to it. Is it another spirit? Do you want to know something else? Well, I've only got one more, so let's go. Character profile says she's 10. Ah, let's go. Thank you very much. Although other people are saying 8. But Moon Kindred said it's according to the profile. So 10 sounds about right. She's a very, like, talkative, intelligent child. So yeah, 8 would have been possible. 10 also makes sense. What happened the night you disappeared? You mean, what happened when we got back to your place after we almost got run over by that van? Yeah. I heard a scream and rushed to the bathroom. No one was there. Akia suddenly appeared in the mirror. I was shocked. And then she just dragged me in. Why'd Kakia abduct you? She said it was because I lost her game. Because I didn't give an offering to Yuri. I wanted to give an offering to Yuri, damn it! I said that from the beginning! That's still a... Freaking cool CG, man. That's really impressive looking. So creepy. Also kind of uh, ethereal. Kind of kind of gorgeous. The blood metry seam of Ami's headphones I saw before. Yuri Takamura's voice asked Ami to offer her flowers. That was probably Kakia's doing. You want to know something else? I, I don't think we have any other questions. Nah. 
That's everything I needed to know. Based on her responses, Ami seems to be her normal self. I was worried she might have some effects from being in the realm of the dead, but I guess not. If that's the case, she can probably handle the news about Aunt Natsumi. I'll have to tell her at some point anyway. Better to do it sooner rather than later. Hey, Ami? I gotta tell you something about Aunt Natsumi. Hmm? About Mom? Just stay calm for all of this, alright? She's in the hospital right now. Takuya got her somehow while she was trying to save you. Yeah. I know. What? Seriously? Yeah. Takuya told me. Probably just to scare me. She looks like she's about to cry. But she's doing a good job of holding it in. She probably doesn't want to worry me. Yeah, that's actually heartbreaking. So Kakia wasn't just torturing her physically. She was torturing her emotionally as well. Take that baby to see her mommy in the hospital, goddammit. If I were all alone, I probably would have cried. But I have you, so... So I'm okay. Oh, the smile. She's so precious. Mommy. Hmm? Yo, it's been forever, Shin Yu. Ah, oh, Shin Yu is back. How are things going? Well, there. Looks like I put the brakes on your sibling reunion. Want me to come back later? Hell no! Get in here. You're part of the family, my boy. Uh, Amanome, what are you doing here? <laughs> I like the <laughs> idea of the goddess being all like knelt down next to Army and using his gentlest voice, being like, "Hey." It's gonna be okay, Ami. And then his best friend walks in. He's just like, "The fuck are you doing here? <laughs> get out of my rest. Get out of my bar." Well, you know, I heard you save Ami, so I couldn't just sit around. I'm glad you're safe, Ami. Yeah, thanks. You have my brother out, right, Seiji? Wait, why would she know that? That's another. Oh god, that's another hint that she may actually be cocky. Up. Or possessed or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> your brother's a hopeless idiot sometimes. If I didn't rein him in every once in a while, he'd probably run straight off a cliff. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. You want me to sock ya? Calm down. Jeez. That face, man. <laughs> that face never matches the tone of what he actually says. At least in the English translation. I don't know if it's a bit more aggressive in the Japanese version, but damn. <laughs> I struggle to break out just for you. You can show me a little appreciation. Hey, what do you mean you broke out? Pops got mad at me after what happened to Marahashi, and he put me on house arrest. But he and his second-hand man stepped out today, so there was a hole in the security detail. Sorry, I got a hiccup. Better just drink some water. <laughs> hmm. I threatened the guy charged with watching me and finally managed to get away. You're going to be in hot water later. Yeah, probably. But I couldn't just do nothing. I gotta get back at those spirits that thought they could get the best of me. <laughs> oh, the Yandere face. Let's go. Yeah, okay. We're going to fuck up Kakia together. I swear on the crest of the Amanome family. I'm going to knock him straight to hell. Amanome? Wait, does even she know about the Yakuza? Mommy's back safe and sound. There are still major problems that we need to deal with, but I want to celebrate Ami's return for at least one day. Take her to visit her mother. <laughs> Get that child some food. Get her a goddamn Happy Meal from McDonald's and visit Aunt Natsumi. <laughs> Why is he so backwards? He's just like, ah, I'll just stay with her. She doesn't need to see her mom. We don't need to tell the police she's alive and safe. Fuck all of that shit. <laughs> get her spaghetti. Yeah, get that girl some spaghetti. Maybe some hot pot. Something hearty. Something big. Visit Momo too. Oh, hell yeah. Visit Momo and just be like, hey, are you awake? And if not, just, just put the wig on her. Just like while she's in the hospital bed. Just slip the wig on. Don't do anything else. Just I feel like she'd be more comfortable that way. 
I let out a big yawn, unsure of what to do now that I actually had time to myself for a change. You sound bo bored, Folger. Want to go grab something sweet to eat? Nah, I can't. Always gonna be here soon, apparently. Always that cop lady, yeah? What is she on? I glanced at the door to the kitchen. Army's napping in there right now. She seemed fairly energetic, but I'm sure she's exhausted. So, I guess we just wait around till then? You wanna kill some time? Oh, <laughs> what are you suggesting? Yeah. Oh, the fade to black. Oh, we can finally do this. Okay, let's confirm to be sure. Bum, ba -da -bum. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba. Wait, did that actually save? I don't like that that's the one thing that doesn't make a damn sound. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Do -do -do -do. Wait, these aren't the characters? Are they only the ghosts? There we go. Where's Army? Army Legatus. I need Kang. Um, a fifth year student at Shin's Elementary. You start elementary when you're five, right? So yeah, she's ten. Fifth year in elementary, she should be nine, ten. Do, 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 do. Okay, what the heck are we doing? We could drink alcohol, but probably not a good idea. <laughs> Don't want to be inebriated when OA shows up. Let's let's read some ghost stories. There's a writing desk and bookshelves. Not normal to see these in a bar. Anatsumi is a horror author, and this is where she writes when she's here in the bar. Oh? Folger, what's that book? It's got some fancy Japanese-style binding. Huh? Was that book there before? On top of the desk is an old-fashioned book bound with string. The book's slightly faded cover is scarlet, save for a white rectangle with the author and title. Nagoshi no Gi by Yakumo Mirokyu. That's the screaming author! That's also the story that was supposed to be heavily tied into this whole Kakuya situation. So I guess we're finally going to get some intense backstory. Um, I got it. I just got it and the girl's already out. Man, I missed a lot, huh? Um, if you managed to finish the last stream, you've literally only missed like, like three minutes, honestly. The only thing you missed if you've watched the last stream is just like, we came to the bar, we slept, and we asked Ami what was going on. She couldn't really tell us much things. Oh, NG! Nagashi no Gi! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Nagoshi no Gi. Why is one of Yakumo Miroku's books here? You guys caught that quickly. I would... Because of the N, like, I would have been done, like, capital Y... Capital N. Little tiny N. Big G. So yeah, I wouldn't have never picked that up. Miroku's that children's author you were talking about, right? The psycho who killed young girls? Yeah. A maniac who kidnapped girls and turned them into dolls and left them in his mansion. It was Yakumo Miroku. And that title, Nagoshi no Gi. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. That's right. It was Aunt Natsumi. She said it on the phone before she collapsed. I went home and looked through Moroku's old works, and it's part of Nagoshi. Why can't I say Nagoshi? Nagoshi, Nagoshi. It's part of Nagoshi no Gi, the realm of the dead. The reason Moroku victimized those girls, his relationship with Kakuya. If I read this, I might be able to find out. We're going to have... Oh, no, we didn't have the creepy voice this time. That's sad. I really like when they do the creepy, like, horror-style girl voice. It's like... Nagoshi no Gi is a short story featuring a certain man as the protagonist. For generations, the man's family performed a rite called the Nagoshi no Gi. The rite was meant to seal a doll-shaped spirit by the name of Kaguya. Oh. And again, that's an incredibly beautiful design. Holy shit, the art in this game is so good. Kaguya played with humans using various games and stole their lives and consciousness. But the man's ancestor, who was a spirit medium, caught Kaguya and sealed her in a certain place. He sealed her inside a mirror 
in a world known as the Realm of the Dead. The Nagoshi no Gi is a ceremonial rite used to keep Kakuya sealed inside the mirror. When a special doll filled with spiritual power is given to Kaguya as a playmate, Kaguya becomes satisfied for about 10 years until the doll loses its power. Every 10 years, the doll must be recharged with energy and offered back to Kaguya. That was the duty given to the man's family, who descended from that spirit medium. After his father's death, the man was also going to inherit that right, as was his family's custom. As long as the rite continued peacefully, Kaguya would never appear in the real world again. Or at least, that's how it should have been. But the man lost his spiritual powers in an accident before he had any successes. And because of that, the Nagoshi no Gi was unable to be performed. If Kaguya's seal was released, there would be many victims. The man was bound by his duty and devised an alternate method. He took drastic steps to find something to replace his lost powers. Oh shit. You created dolls out of living people because they technically connect to the land of the dead. So he was technically trying to do something good even though it was one of the most fucking evil things ever. I wonder if that means since Kaguya is basically a possessed doll, is she one of the human dolls too? Is she made out of human flesh as well? Oh god. The Nagoshi no Gi he devised was to take living girls, make them into dolls, and offer them to Kaguya in the realm of the dead. The pain, regrets, and grudges held by the girls would be a substitute for his spiritual powers. Okay, figured that one out. Just as the man hoped, Kaguya was to- Why did it switch from Kaguya to Kaguya? Wait, <laughs> is like Kaguya the spirit, but Kaguya is the doll? Like they just randomly switched in the middle of this. Just as the man hoped, Kaguya was delighted and remained in the mirror. The man had turned the Nagoshi no Gi into a blood-soaked ritual. Nevertheless, the man continued to fulfill his duty. But that was the fate of all those born into that household. And then he died, and there were no more dolls to hand over. So Kakuya just got bored eventually and started stealing people. Kidnapping people and playing with them in her own way. Using them as dolls. Oof. But before he lost his powers, he didn't need real people. Yeah, it sounds like before he lost his powers, he was just able to use his own psychic power. But because he lost his powers, yeah, he needed some substitute for that. Some sort of psychic energy which he got by using the resentment, the anger, the pain of the girls that he murdered and then turned into dolls. Oof. How did she come to be, though? No clue, actually. Just said she possessed a doll. Didn't really say how she got possessed, how she, like, existed and then took over a doll. <laughs> I had to pause after that part. I think about the bizarre ritual described in the book. If this isn't just fiction, but was based on reality instead, then were Moroku's murders, were they done to seal Kakuya? Once every ten years, Moroku killed a girl and made her into a doll in order to maintain the seal. But then Moroku died and now Kakuya's free. I don't know exactly what happened, but the seal must have failed. I keep reading and find details on the ride in the realm of the dead. One part of it says... If Kakuya opens a path to the realm of the dead in a mirror, it can be reopened by joining mirrors. Anatsumi must have read this. I read all the way to the end, but nothing else sounds particularly helpful. It doesn't even say what NG is. <laughs> oh my boy. It's the name of the ritual. I wouldn't have caught that either though. I mean, that's thanks to chat. So I'm not going to make fun of you this time. Damn. What a waste. I slam the book shut and shove it back into the bookshelf. Yeah, I feel ya. That book was creepy, man. Hey, Oe! Tanomude. Sorry I'm late. I'm expecting big things from you today. Huh? You're a Manoma, yeah? <laughs> I love her style. 
<laughs> Still, Kakuyo can catch a hammer to the face. Hell yeah, she can. How dare she hurt Army? And I guess all those other people before. But may mostly Army. Huh? So you're Oe. It's the first time we've actually met. I've heard a ton of rumors about you. <laughs> His face. Sure, none of them were good. I don't plan on making friends with the pampered prince of the Amanome family. I work for the police, not your pal. Hey, <laughs> now. No need to be so angry. I'm not even an official member yet, anyway. I'm just an insignificant high schooler. That's rich coming from Mr. Threats himself. But whatever. We'll put all that on pause. I'm not after you right now. Legatus. That feels so weird coming from Army. Legatus. We have customers? Army steps out from where she was sleeping. Seems all the noise woke her up. She looks up at Oe cautiously, how curiously, since she's never met her. Well, maybe you should be cautious too, Army. This is a stranger. You, sh you shouldn't even talk to her. So you're Army, huh? Oh my god, she's actually smiling properly. It's a very fake smile. <laughs> we know that for a fact. But she's doing her best to be nice to the child. No Onisan? I know, it's very weird. I mean, she normally hits me with the Onichan. I would have been fine with like a Folger even. But Legatus? That's her family name too. That's just a weird feeling. Unless she's just trying to be hyper formal because there's adults around. Your brother told me everything. I'm glad you're safe. You don't feel strange or anything, do you? I'm just doing like the most robotic voice I can for her. It's like, this is my trying to be nice to children voice. I'm Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. No, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired and sleepy. That's so. Well, <laughs> the mask slipped immediately. She's just like, oh, well, shit. I don't think this is going to be useful after all. Screw this child. She's not useful. You might be suffering from mild dysautonomia. Dysautonomia? Dysautonomia? Dysautonomia. After all you went through. Hey, Legatus, you should get her checked at a hospital. <laughs> Just the immediate aggression. They went from, hey, Ami, I hope you're doing Oteg. To like, why haven't you taken her to the hospital, you dumb shit? I can arrange an appointment for her. Yes, please, actually. Um, You can't see the smile, but it's a very bright smile. <laughs> Long as you agree, she must be real precious to you. Yeah, she is. She's my adorable baby sister. Um, you don't have to worry so much. I'm fine, really, so... It's just to be safe, Army. Come on. It'll make your worry what brother happy. Hey. <laughs> I love their relationship. They're so challenging to one another. We've got Legatus being so fucking Sundere. And then we've got Amanobe who's just like, ah, he's just a big softy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I'll go in and I'll go in for an examination just for you. Sheesh, you guys. <laughs> Everybody's trying to make him feel feels. <laughs> that decides it. And let's get going before they stop seeing patients for the day. Legatus, did you already tell her about Natsumi? Yeah, I told her. Yeah? And let's go visit her while we're at it, too. Thank you! A fucking responsible adult! Get that baby some food, get her a hospital checkup, and take her to her goddamn mommy. <laughs> I'm sure she'd be relieved if Army came to see her. Yeah, even if she's not conscious. Like, let her see her mother as well. Like, it's fine to at least see she's safe, see she's breathing, maybe give her a cuddle or a hug or hold her hand for a little while. Yeah. Oe should be the sister. Oe should be the auntie. She's like the angry, aggressive auntie who probably gets drunk and swears at everyone. But deep down, loves everybody as well. <laughs> we all leave the bar. And Barn's like the drunk uncle who, you know, related to the auntie. I don't ship those two. But yeah, the drunk uncle who gambles, but deep down has a heart of gold and wants to like help people along the way. He's a teenager, so... Yeah, I know. He's just 17. It's just... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, he leads us over to the hospital where Aunt Natsumi's staying. After visiting her, 
Ami goes in for her own examination. They decide to keep her at the hospital overnight for the exam. Yeah, see, I wouldn't trust that either. I'd be like, I am her guardian right now. Her mother is unconscious. Let me sleep in the bed too. Or, yeah, just... Let me they normally can bring in, like, extra beds, right? To let people sleep next to loved ones if it's, like, a problem. Still no CG. At least we got to see the old Kaguya CD. That was pretty... Uh, CD? CG. That was pretty beautiful. <laughs> kind of a gore. He was just 17. Yeah, because he's already got, like, his own source of... In like, he has a shit ton of money, actually, from when he used to be a cage fighter. Plus the fact that he used to be a cage fighter is pretty wild. <laughs> We picked a good, like, thing naming him Legatus because he is basically, yeah, a child soldier as well. He's been through some shit. That night, after the hospital visiting hours were over, we returned to Kisorgi Station. A pleasant breeze blow through the, that blows through the area. It's nice and cool out to nine. You worried about army Legatus? I checked to make sure the hospital room had no mirrors, and a nurse is keeping watch on her. There are no mirrors randomly around the street. She still always finds me. She'll be fine, yeah. Yeah. I don't like taking my eyes off her, but she'll probably be fine for now. If Kaki is going to kidnap her again, she'd have her play a game first. If you're that worried about her, you can go see her first thing in the morning. Anyway, I'm heading home. Tomorrow's going to be busy and I want to get some sleep. I want to go see a forensic researcher and verify that report on the cause of the fire. The killer Peach did that, yeah? Let me know if you find anything. I'm not supposed to show investigation material to outsiders, though. You're seriously going to try and pull that card now? <laughs> yeah, you've been acting like a crooked cop the whole way through. We're partners now. Get over it. You're partners with a 17-year-old delinquent ex-cage fighter. <laughs> you got me there. I'll contact you tomorrow. See ya. I like her. She's chill. <laughs> She's chill. Why won't Momo wake up? God damn it. Oh, he disappears towards the ticket gates. Ah, uh -huh. Where'd Amanome go? He was just here. I guess I'll look for him. Amanome, no. Amanome, why? Oh, Manoma, don't be up at that window trying to jump out. The cops inside look busy answering the phones. I should quickly move on before I make eye contact with any of them. Isoji Station. It's not the big city, but this place can get pretty hectic at times. Oh, don't be up at the window. I don't see anyone at the bus stop. It's a building by the station with offices and cram scores. It looks like people are still inside at this hour. A few of the rooms still have lights on. Horrible. Okay. God damn it, game. Why would you do this shit to us? We're sensitive right now. Amanome comes walking back from over there. Oh. Did I leave already? I didn't get to say goodbye. Not that I care. What were you doing? Word got out that I escaped the house. I got a call from my pops, so I figured I'd better answer it. He wasn't furious. Well, he was. Just about yelled my ear off. It was annoying, so I hung up on him. Yo, let's go. Amanome, you should come stay at my house for the night, because, you know... Ghosts. <laughs> That's just gonna make it worse. No worries. Pops has a soft spot for me. He might knock me around a bit, but after that, it'll be water under the bridge. Ah, Yakuza family. <laughs> it's all good. He'll just beat the shit out of me. Then we'll be bros again. That's the Yakuza way after all. <laughs> Not sure if that's letting you off easy or being harsh. Anyway, you've got some time to kill, yeah? You come with me for a bit. What's this all of a sudden? I'm stressed after being under surveillance for so long. So I'm going to let off some steam. Oh... I'll treat you. So come with me, all right? I mean, this smile is a bit... Okay, I'll actually move myself this time. I, I really should just be up at the top for this game, just so when these things do happen, you can see them. But yeah, that smile is a bit too genki. It's a bit too eager. But this one, though, that's like a... Oh, okay. 
We can go blow off some steam together. His face, y'all. Looks like you're up for it. Well then, let's get going. They're gonna fuck. You pass through the shopping district like Yasoji Station and arrive at a high-class club. Normally, miners wouldn't be allowed inside, but I guess Amanome is an exception. You grab seats farther inside, and hostesses quickly position themselves at Amanome's side. They went to a hostess club? Come on, man. <laughs> He eats and drinks for a bit while chatting up the hostesses. Amanobe, you are the least subtle closeted dude I have ever met. <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. I want to let off some steam. Let's, let's go to a hostess club because I like girls and boobies. Then, as if remembering something, he makes a phone call. After a while, a well-dressed old man comes up to us. <gasps> Daddy? Oh, he is not attractive. <laughs> what is this CG? Holy shit! I look fucking incredible. Amanome looks sexy as shit. Are you... Whoa! That's a nice fruit platter too. Unrelated, but Jesus Christ, this pose, that face... I, I need to look up the artist who did the work for this game after this. Because goddamn, they never miss in the CGs. The sprite art is amazing as well. The facial expressions and everything. But look at that shit. God damn. That's sexy as hell. <laughs> Amanome hoists his feet up onto the table. Then, as he munches on some fruit, he gazes down at the man kneeling before him. Hey, Urida. You heard what I said, yeah? <laughs> yes? Amanomi's got to have some kind of dirt on this guy. Oh, shit. I'm in the way. Sorry. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. My bad. Uh, I'll move myself back down. <laughs> I just did this to try and get... I'll, I'll be over here for this. In fact, I'll move you guys for a bit for two. There you go. <laughs> this is too good. Too good. He smiles submissively at Amanome. <clears throat> he smiles submissively at Amanome, a kid who's maybe as old as his own grandson. About the redevelopment of Shinza Station, mind telling me the bidding price that your company offered? <sighs> but Mr. Amanome, that's the company's secret. Oh, is that right? If that's a secret, then I guess I won't keep this a secret. Amanome takes a photo out of his breast pocket. It shows the man walking out of a hotel with a young woman. Cheating on your wife? What a horrible guy. I wonder what she thinks. Isn't your daughter about to start middle school? Be a rough time to learn about this. Damn, dude. He really is a fucking demon when it comes to extortion. Hey, Fogger. The man remains silent and Amanome turns towards me. What do you think of this scumbag? I guess Amanome wants me to help threaten the guy. What should I say? I get an option! I mean, even if I say the wrong thing, it'll only make Amanome mad. It's no big deal. I'll just say whatever. C could I save right now? I don't want to make him mad. Come on, man. You can get a bad end from this. What do you think of this guy? This is what he deserves. Cut him some slack. I don't care. Dude, you cheated on your wife. I mean. <sighs> if you're not interested anymore, break up with her. Do it properly. Take the fucking steps. This is what he deserves. That looks fucking like, oh man, with that CG as well. Just playing the aggressor as well. We haven't even had good cop, bad cop. It's just immediately like, eh, fuck you. If he were my dad, I'd kick his ass. At the same time, <laughs> oh my God. I can't imagine how pissed off I would be 
if there were two 17 year olds extorting me and saying shit like if you were my dad i'd kick his ass it's like oh it's so embarrassing but you did this to yourself my dude right amanome grins satisfied then he turns back to the man hey hurry up since my friend here just satisfied me so hard, tell me the company's secret and I'll just keep this little incident here a secret too. Everyone's happy as long as we both stay quiet. But I'll even give you a reward. You're tied on money right now, yeah? Gotta pay off that new building loan you just got, right? What? How do you know about that? I've researched every last little thing about you. If you're not convinced, maybe you'd like me to tell you what you had for lunch one week ago. The man's expression slowly gives way to despair. Guess I should give him another push. Maybe I'll try butting in. Yo, power couple! Threaten him, play the good cop, leave him be. I kind of want to threaten him. I think I'm acting as the muscle, like the guard dog right now. Playing good cop. Ah, fuck, he wanted good cop, bad cop. Shit! <laughs> I wanted to be the muscle. I wanted to be the like, you want me to beat the shit out of this guy? You better fall in line, old man. Otherwise, you'll end up having to sell off that building to break even. Oh, Gert, don't butt in. Amanome narrows his eyes at me. Shit, dude. But Mr. Amanome, I, I can't betray my company like that. I I'm begging you, please understand. The man starts pleading. He sounds like he's about to cry. Hey, knock it off already. Amanome coldly looks down at the man's head. It's, it's business. Either you sell me the information, or I crush you. Pick one. You're supposed to be my elder, aren't you? Don't you have enough experience to know you're not getting out of this by saying please? Get it a rest. Jeez. Amanome suddenly yells out. Then he glances over at me. Turn it up to 11. Kick the couch in silence. Kick the couch in silence. I don't need to butt in. That's what I'm getting. I'm the silent guard dog. <laughs> I don't need to say shit. I just need to make it clear I will beat the fuck out of this guy. Without saying a word, I kick the leather couch over. <laughs> The man shudders as if an electric shock ran through him. I feel kind of bad for him. Still did it though. Clear. Oh, I'm, I'm so... I, I don't like messing that first bit up though. Ah, I should have stayed silent. It, I guess that was the thing. It was a power dynamic. He didn't want it to make... It, he didn't want to make it look like we were partners. He wanted me to speak when spoken to and otherwise just be ready to do his bidding. Damn. The sub and dom relationship goes hard in this. <laughs> uh, all right, Mr. Amanome. You win. Once the bidding price is fixed, I'll contact you and exchange that photo. Yeah, I know. Once you contact me, I'll take responsibility and dispose of it in the digital backups. I can trust you, right? No, you can't. He's going to keep that shit forever. The next time he needs you, he'll be right back on top of you. Yeah, of course. There's no trust. What's the point of making a deal? And the money? Give me the account information. I'll send it. I hope you're looking forward to it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do not trust a Yakuza? Nah. I mean, the whole thing is there is like a respectful give and take kind of thing. But as long as he never has to get anything from him in the future, he never has to tell him he still kept the photo. So yeah, it's in his best interest to just like keep it for now and be like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> if I need this in the future, at least I have it. Oh man. But Kiryu? I mean, same thing. Kiryu, mm, Kiryu was still a Yakuza for a long time. Kiryu... Uh, Fucked up a lot of people. <laughs> it may have been like an uh, a set of like it's like lawful evil in Dungeons and Dragons. They like they have their own set of codes, but they still extort people, blackmail people, beat the shit out of people. They do all kinds of shit. Kiryu's just you know a bit more nice than the other ones. He's still 
Yeah. <laughs> the man finishes talking with Amanome and quickly leaves, as if he's fleeing a crime scene. Okay. All right. That was a huge success. I didn't think it'd go that well. That was a good performance, Folger. Thanks. But I thought Yakuza focus on trust and give and take a lot. Yeah, no, that's supposed to be how it goes. Like, that's what I mean. It, it, he, Amanome could honestly mean it. He could honestly destroy it, but... <laughs> like, he doesn't have to kind of thing. You've lost out on Seiji singing. Wait. Do I get to hear Seiji singing if I do everything perfectly? <gasps> I'm reloading. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. We saved shortly before this. 10.41. Oh, yeah, we can just skip everything. I want to hear some singing. Okay, how do I... There we go. We'll just get back to that real quick. I want to hear Seiji singing. I wonder if he's going to sing that song. I want him to sing Super Rabbit or whatever rabbit it's called. Plus, we get to see the sexy CG again. All for a song, all for entertainment, baby. Don't you want to hear Seiji singing? Especially Wonder Rabbit. Dame Dene, oh my God, that would be amazing. Just Seiji with that really light, airy voice, the whole like, Are you okay? Dame Dene, Dame yo, Dame Nano yo. That's such a different kind of tone to that. That would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> but somehow I don't think they'd be allowed to legally do that. <laughs> Oh, man. It's a shame you can't see a uh, save in the middle of these kinds of things. It would really make things go faster. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, slight smile. Boop, ba -da boop. The child would do anything for a white wig. This is true as well. This is very true. Okay, I still don't know what the first option he wants is. Do I play good cop or do I? I don't remember what the third option was. What do you think of this guy? This is what he deserves. So yeah, he asked me specifically to speak there. He definitely doesn't want me to interrupt. But what was the third option? Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll try button in. Leave him be. Okay, yeah, no, he's got this. Right? Yeah, okay. Trust. We got to trust our boyfriend. I have no idea what they're talking about. So I'll leave this to Amanome. I decide to eat fruit and keep to myself. This is delicious. <laughs> there is something threatening about that as well. There's something threatening about like the very clearly aggressive and strong one just chilling so cautiously just be like, yo, this fruit's delicious. I'd be like, oh God, he just doesn't even give a fuck. This is just a Tuesday for him. The man looks, the man looks at me uncomfortably. <laughs> Yeah, he liked that. <laughs> okay, we can skip the rest of this. Let's go. Okay. Try to kick the couch in silence. Exactly. I'm just here as backup. Good, good, good. I wonder if that's happened before where I've missed like one and still survived and it's gone slightly bad. Okay. Let's see when we go to Kawa. Okay. <sighs> All right, Mr. Amanome, you win. Uh, you're going to get rid of the photo, right? Sure. Once you tell me the price, I'll make it disappear. And the money? Give me the account info. I'll wire it to you. You deserve a nice treat. The man finishes with Amanome. Quickly leaves as if he's fleeing a crime scene. Okay. All right. That was a huge success. I didn't think it'd go that well. That was a good performance, Folger. Thanks. <laughs> After a while, Amanome and I leave the club. I have no clue how much it cost. I just took Amanome up in his offer and let him handle it all. Yo! No! Why did it cut out? I was just turning up the volume. Come on, kick, yeah, kick the music in! Uh, uh. 
This is our fucking jam, man. Oh, he sings that almost as well as Momo. That was fucking cute. I'm glad we got, went back for that. That was <laughs> such a little performance. Oh, man. His voice is so good. Yeah, I wish I could hear that kind of tone. That whole, like, light and airy and really soothing and relaxing. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I want a full song. I really hope... I really hope they pull an AI the Somnium files at the end of this game and just go for a full music performance. I want to hear Momo sing the song. I want to hear fucking Legata sing the song. I definitely want to hear Barn sing the song. <laughs> Love this art style. Me too. I Like, as soon as this game is done today, I'm going to look up the artists to see, like, where they're at, what they're doing nowadays, what else they've been working on. For a while now, amanome has been happily singing a song that sounds vaguely familiar. You still can't remember the song? Dude... It's your phone ringtone! That tune. It's Momo Karuse's Wonder Rabbits. There we go. Why is he? Wait, is Momo here? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> with that dramatic pause, with the whole like, why is he singing that song? I thought he knew something we didn't and she was out of the hospital or something. I was like, <gasps> are they all back together finally? No. He's having so much fun singing that I didn't want to interrupt. But I guess I should stop him. Hey, I'm a nome. Hmm? What? You like that song? Yeah, it's a good song. I don't care about Momo Kruse at all, but I love Wonder Rabbits. <laughs> I forget, did he know? I can't remember if he knew Momo's secret identity that he's been hanging out with her for a while. Fun fact, the Seiyu is a Yutaite called Shonen T. Oh, so they are mainly a singer rather than a voice actor. That's awesome. I think he does. I don't think he does. He did, I think. He knows. He does know. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, he did know. I think, yeah, he found out when they went to the park, right? When we were trying to get into the park, she had to put on the wig and do some stuffs. I sing it to myself when I'm in a good mood. You got some strange taste for a Yakuza kid. Yo, no. Whoa, what was that movie called? Oh, why don't you... Why why don't you play in hell or something? That movie's all about, like, Yakuza's falling in love with idols. It's freaking amazing. Oh, man. Oh, apparently a lot of people know Shonen T. Sorry, I'm not big up on the Utaite world. Or Utaite world? So, yeah, I don't actually... I don't know anything about Utaite. <laughs> Why are you so prejudiced? <laughs> Momo Kuruse. Azuki's still in a coma. I wonder when she'll be able to sing Wonder Rabbits again. Quit scowling, Folger. Once the Kakia thing is dealt with, both her and Natsumi will be healed. I know. I guess it was obvious what I was thinking about. So, we may as well party it up tonight. Folger, how about one more bar? I'll pass. I'm getting tired. Well, we could go home together then. Hey, what are you, a toddler? It's barely past midnight. He does sleep for like 18 hours a day from what I've known about this game so far. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't get much sleep yesterday. Yeah, I guess you've had it rough recently. I suppose we'll call it a night. To be continued after we avenge Mar Maruhashi and Natsumi recovers. Yeah. Sounds good. Then I'll be able to empty my head and laugh it up like a moron with you. Who knows when that'll be, though. It's not too far off, man. We'll finish this before summer break's over. That's right. Is it summer break right now? <laughs> Dude's like, oh yeah. At some point, I'm gonna have to go back to school. Whoops. <laughs> Been so busy, I totally forgot. What? Seriously? Well, I guess you've always had a one-track mind. I bet most of our classmates are studying their asses off now for entry exams. Huh. 
seems to be unreal. I guess it's because my personal reality has been so messed up recently. Things like summer break and school that are normal for everyone else seem totally alien. After all, this is fi- oh, after all this is finally over, <laughs> will I even be able to return to my old life? Alright, let's split up. We'll meet up again tomorrow afternoon. I'll go with you to see Yami. What are you gonna do now? Go home? <laughs> Not a chance. Once I go back, I'm gonna be under surveillance again. I'll stay in some random hotel until all this is finished. You can stay at my place. There we go! Yes, MC! Also, I should move myself back. I feel very uncomfortable being in this corner since I naturally look to the left. <laughs> oh, God. Put me back. Put me back, coach. <laughs> Yeah, I know on that one. <laughs> the fucking grin. He's just like, you got ghosts and shit. Fuck off. That place is old, cramped, and smelly. It might be fine for a tough guy like you, but for someone refined like myself, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Do whatever you want. I mean, I could stay with you at your hotel. Thanks for the offer, though. All right, good night. Amanome heads to the ticket gate. Ah, I guess I'll head back too. We're totally going to get cockyed. That's the only thing that could possibly be happening. <laughs> Refined, he says. Delicate, you mean. <laughs> I mean, close enough. Ditched me, huh? My apartment has a mirror that connects to the realm of the dead. It feels weird to sleep in a place with something like that sitting in it, but... After all I've gone through, this is nothing. <laughs> It's a risk, my boy. Why are you doing this? At least sleep at the goddamn bar. What are you doing? <laughs> I've survived all that for this long. I don't know about the other spirits, but Kakio wants to play her game with me. So she probably won't harm me directly. That's what I've decided to think anyway. I realize it's a pretty bold stance to take. Imagine if we finally get, like, back to that story about the ghost that we let in. The ghost that, like, knocked on the door and then we opened it up. Imagine if that was a bad end. If it just took this long to happen and I've already saved over all of my save slates. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd just, I'd just not be able to play the game anymore. <laughs> I eat some food, take a hot shower, and then start getting ready for bed. I think I'll be able to sleep well for once. Man is jinxing himself everywhere he can. <laughs> Time to turn in for tonight. Oh, yeah. Collapsing on the bed, I shut my eyes. Maybe because I haven't been getting much sleep, my consciousness quip quickly melts into darkness. <laughs> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Ba, ba, da, ba. Ba, ba, da, it's okay, you dodged the Super Ultra Omega Bad End Pro Max at least. I'm glad to hear I didn't get that one. Holy fucking shit. I meet up with Amanome around noon and we head to the hospital where Ami's staying. While Amanome keeps Ami company, the doctor explains her diagnosis to me. Ami's body is healthy but they found some small irregularities in her brain waves. He mentioned something about alpha or beta waves, but I can't make sense of it. He says he wants to do a more thorough exam, so he'll be keeping Ami another night. Ami isn't happy to hear that, of course. Oh, poor baby. She just wants to go home. <laughs> Rain, the food the Fuchan sheep. You, you can't... <laughs> No, no. Is Alpha bad end better or worse than the Omega bad one? Who knows? I mean, Omega's the end end, so Alpha should surely be better than the Omega bad end. You know, that's what they used to mean rather than the fucking Omega verse shit that everybody talks about now. Beginning and end, Alpha and Omega. <sighs> Before evening, Amanome and I return to Kisoji Station. When we leave the building, the summer sun's blinding rays shine down on us. Uh, the sun's way too bright today. Way too? Way too bright today. This heat makes me want to kill someone. Folger, let's get back to the back rabbit. 
I'm feeling like a fried egg right now. Yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe Bon will be there. We run to the black rabbit, hurrying along as we flee from the sun. We crank up the air conditioning and pass the time drinking and talking about nothing. <laughs> oh, he's coming by tonight. Apparently she got a verdict on that report on the cause of the fire. Oh shit, she just, wow, did not wait at all. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Be patient, someone else has got the details. <laughs> Let's go, Bon! Ugh, I feel awful. Middle-aged guys like me are not caught out for this heat. Hey, Legatus. Looks like you're doing well. Everyone's here except for fucking Momo. Man, I didn't want Momo to get hit by lightning. This shit sucks. I want everyone together. I'm sure you missed me yesterday. You guys were working together? Yeah, wait. <clears throat> yeah, well. Yeah, well. I've been really curious about that report on the cause of the fire too. So I got her to tell me the results early. Thanks to my curiosity, now I gotta do even more work. <laughs> I make it a habit to use whoever's handy. Apparently this extra work is always doing. So, Ban and I will be taking our leave. I'd have loved to chat with you more, but if I don't hurry, I'll miss the bullet train. Where in the world are you going? Out west on a business trip involving Killer Peach. Oh, I can give you more details. Let's go, Ban. So, see ya. <laughs> He's a man of few words. At least he didn't ask me for money this time. <laughs> oh yeah, he does owe me money. He told me if I gave him the, that loan, he would turn it into 10 times as much and pay me back. What the f- Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> I still flinch every time you say Momo. Sorry. <laughs> Momo Caruso. There you go. Bon and Rose hurriedly leave. Talk about coming and going like a tempest. That hardy with the body was Rose, yeah? Too bad I didn't get to introduce myself. Bro, we know you don't swing that way. <laughs> We've seen how you act around the goddess. <laughs> Although maybe he's bi, who knows? Well, hopefully that all goes well. It involves Killer Peach. What kind of order was it? Before that, I'll tell you more about this. Oh, takes out a familiar document out of her pocket. Here, I'll give it back to you. Tain fire report. I got a forensic researcher to check out the parts that were blackened and unreadable. As I assumed, it's about the fire at the Momoi department store. You mean that thing Killer Pete Shokiyama talked about on the tape recorder? I've never heard about it before. No surprise there. It happened ten years ago already. We were snotting those brats back then. We weren't interested in the news. Now that I think of it, Folger, that's about the time I met you, huh? Was it? I don't remember at all. Hey! <laughs> you talking, detective. What kind of fire was it? See? Immediately, he got fucking hurt. He was like, bro, but we love each other. How could you forget? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're still questioning? Maybe. Maybe he doesn't realize his own feelings yet. Oh, he falls silent for a while and begins to speak in a hushed voice. Momoi department store was an old store in front of Shinza Station. Ten years ago, a fire shut it down. Then the Sumi group bought it, demolished it, and built Moon Tower right on that very spot. It was exactly what we, what we thought. They burned it down to get the land for cheap. God damn, dude. <laughs> so, that's how they're related? That's probably why the floor of a department store appeared outside that elevator. It's just a... It must be a supernatural effect caused by a spirit, like at the Maroka residence. The fire happened on the fifth floor in the toy department. Huh? The toy department caught fire? On the news, they speculated that an electrical malfunction in the lights caused it. Whatever the cause was, more than 20 people lost their lives in that fire. Most of the victims were family. It was just before Christmas, so they'd probably come to buy presents. Oh, that's so sad, man. Just a family trying to chill and vibe. 
Trying to buy toys on Christmas for their babies? Jesus. That's some horrible timing. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, mods, for bonking that guy. But at the same time, yeah, uh, everybody, it's fine. We don't have to talk about it. Just ignore it. It is what it is. People are cringe. People are cringe. Let them do what they want. Um, we're just going to thrive here and have our fun. At least that's what was reported on the news 10 years ago. But that isn't the truth. That report made that very clear. The blackened parts had info on the true cause of the fire and the state of the scene. The true cause, huh? Yeah, on the floor of the scene of the incident, they found traces of gasoline. So, it was arson. Exactly. The conditions of the scene leave no room for doubt. The news probably got fed some false info and the evidence got suppressed. Even this report was considered lost because of some accident. Now the question is, who was behind all of that? Though, you can probably guess based on what you heard from Okiyama's voice recorder. <laughs> Someone arson around? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that came out like bit like an Irish word instead of <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. He was arson around, I tell you. Shar your head. <laughs> Okiyama was trying to uh, oh, Okiyama was trying to ask Noboru Ishimaru, the president of Sumi Group, about the fire. She was probably suspicious about the truth behind the fire and Ishimaru's relationship to it. Okiyama lost her husband and her son in the fire. Oh no! That's why she became even more intense about it. Her baby boy that drew her the image of her being Momotaro. She went after Ishimaru to get revenge and was killed. If Killer Peach had the report on her, that means Okiyama must have found it somewhere. She was a member of the Diet, so she must have had connections to get it. That's some obsession. If she went to those lengths to get the report, she'd probably be the type to hold on after death. Her family died after all. I can't say I don't understand her fierce persistence to get to the truth. May I ask something? You say the cause of the fire was arson, but was the culprit ever found? No, not yet. It wasn't written in the report either. But it must have been someone with one messed up head. What makes you say that? According to the report, there was a gun found at the scene of the fire, but most of the victims burned to death. If they wanted to kill them, they could have just shot them. But they specifically burned them. And most of the burned corpses they found were chained together. That's so fucked up! So they could have just killed them quickly. They, oh my God. They wanted to watch them burn. They wanted to hear them scream. 20 families. Parents, children, just trying to shop on Christmas. Why would they even do that shit? Like, yeah. like why would they chain them up? Surely if you start a fire, it's more realistic if you get some people running away. How did they get away with covering up chains and a gun? Holy shit, dude. Chains? What were those for? How should I know? The report lists some possibilities, maybe to restrain the victims or have them watch each other. Oh, fuck me. Have them watch each other while they burn? And one that sounds pretty occult, too. What do you mean by occult? Well, the arsonist may have been trying to play the Demon Tsukiyomi game. Oh, here we go. Now we know. Wait. Did you just say Demon Tsukiyomi? Okay, so if I'm not wrong, Atsukiyomi, is that not the thing that, like, Shu-chan has? The little, like, puppets that you can control with psychic power, psychic energy? You can, like, spirits can possess them and stuff and do your building, do your bidding? Am I wrong about that? I feel like that's Atsukiyomi. Unless I'm misremembering. I very much may be misremembering. Shikigami. That's a Shikigami! Okay, I've, I've heard Tsukiyomi. Is, is Tsukiyomi the one where it's an object that comes alive? Uh, it, we'll find out. We'll find out. Maybe I'm just imagining that I've heard Tsukiyomi. Um, actually, do you know anything about the demon Tsukiyomi? No, I've never heard of it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kakuya talking about it. Apparently, oh, Tsukiyomi is a god, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't remember Tsukiyomi. 
But to be fair, I pretty much only remember like Amiterasu, Izumi. Oh God. What was the name of the husband and wife? But it doesn't matter. I'm sure of it. Ami mentioned that earlier. Tsukiyomi is the moon god? That makes sense. It has Tsuki in it. Isanami and Izanagi. Thank you. Yes. I only know those ones because of Persona 4. Susano. Yeah, Susano was in Persona 4 too. What? Oh shit. Have we got the fucking mouths back again? <laughs> we ain't done yet. A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. <laughs> Please come here. What is that? That's our normal curse. Uh, every time we begin a new like chapter, every time a new demon starts haunting us or a ghost or whatever, um, yeah, mouths suddenly appear all over my body. They start whispering to us and then they start laughing to us and cackling at us. It's real fucked up, man. <laughs> so, it's not, not over yet, huh? But this time it's different. The game always starts when Kakia tells me the name of the spirit. But this time Kakia hasn't shown herself yet. Damn it. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, she better not be possessing army, but the, the freaking evidence is piling up now. The fact that she didn't show up because, you know, she's a little bit busy. She's currently locked in a hospital and trying to pretend to be normal. Tsukiyomi is Amaterasu's brother. Oh, okay. Cool. I suddenly feel my consciousness drifting away and instinctively hold my head. Folger? Oh, what's the matter? It's the curse. Yaki is cursed. <laughs> is back. What? No way. But you saved Ami. How should I know what Kakia's deal is? All I know is I'll be in real trouble if I don't do something about this demon Tsukiyomi by today. What? Yeah, I guess we gotta act before we think right now. You survived this long, so I'm sure it'll all work out this time. Hey, detective! Tell us everything you know about that damn demon Tsukiyomi game. All right. Yo, see how much he cares about his boyfriend? Oh, now we're getting the proper ghost story vibe. Okay, you better hit me with the, you better hit me with the creepy girl voice. Then I'll tell you what I know. Rumors of demon Tsukiyomi. Yay, I love that intro. That's so good. That room that reminds me, there's, there was a show I used to watch where every year near Halloween in Japan, they used to do like an anthology series where they would take like ghost stories from viewers and act them out with famous actors. And it was so good. And they always had that kind of voice as well. At the beginning of everything, they'd have like the little echo, the little, a more intense echo than this. Like, like yeah. Demon Tsukiyomi, you're never gonna guess what happened. Shit like that. It was so creepy. I loved it. <laughs> the Demon Tsukiyomi game was real popular with middle schoolers at the time. If you performed a certain ritual, supposedly a ghost called the Demon Tsukiyomi would appear and grant any wish. No one really knows what the Demon Tsukiyomi itself is supposed to be. Some say its name is taken from the Japanese god of the moon, Tsukuyomi. Apparently, because it only shows up on nights when there's a moon, the concept is kind of similar to the Kokuri game or a Ouija board. Ooh, creepy. Oh, I got an achievement. Demon Tsukiyomi rumor. Let's play the game with Tsukiyomi, brother. Wait, she called me brother. Okay, yeah, she's possessed on me. <laughs> when the achievements spoil the story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fun. The Demon Tsukiyomi game ritual has to be done on a night when there's a full moon. To summon him, you need chains, something to burn, and two hand mirrors. First, you place the chain down like you're surrounding yourself. 
The area sanctioned off by the chain is supposed to be like the altar for the ritual. Next, you take your offering and burn it in the altar. You can burn anything you want, but its value's got to be proportional to the size of your wish. If your wish isn't granted, then it means the thing you burned wasn't valuable enough. Once you light the thing on fire, you gotta recite a spell to summon the demon Tsukiyomi before it burns up. Tsukiyomi Onisan? That's kind of adorable. Tsukiyomi Onisan. Tsukiyomi Onisan. Dozo, oshite kudasai. Okay. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Please, not my wish. Once you finish the spell, there's one last thing. You gotta use the two hand mirrors and join them together. And that creates a doorway to the land of the dead. Then... Demon Tsukiyomi will appear. Story over. I was sick. We just did that. I mean, I guess you got to double it. Wouldn't it be Onisan, not Onisan? Um, sounded like Onisan to me, but I don't know. <laughs> this is the problem. Since we're playing with the, you know, the English translation, um. We, there wasn't a direct translation, so yeah. Demon Tsukiyomi, I guess it could be Tsukiyomi Oni. Oni is in demon. Oh, well, that's more boring. I thought it was cute and adorable. <laughs> I thought it was like, Tsukiyomi, big brother. Tsukiyomi, big brother. <laughs> Damn it. That would have been fun. <laughs> and that's everything I know about it. Hmm. That sounds a little different than the rumors we've heard about other spirits. It doesn't even mention anyone dying. Between the chains and the fire, it all lines up pretty well with that arson case. Which means, the arsonist was trying to perform the demon Tsukiyomi ritual. That's just one explanation. No one but the arsonist knows for sure. So, Legatus, what are you going to do now? Go to the moon tower. Play the demon Tsukiyomi game. Gather info on the internet. Are oh, these actual options? Oh, shit. Um, I kind of want to play the Demon Tsukiyomi game. <laughs> I mean, why not do it? We'll, we'll see what goes on. I have a lot of things I could burn in a fire. Onisan, I'm on Demon. Yo. I'm going to try playing that Demon Tsukiyomi game. I need chains, two hand mirrors, something to burn like a candle. A hot wax, Mon might say. You know what? Skip the hand mirrors. I just need the chains and hot wax. The mirrors and an offering are one thing. Chains are going to be hard to come by. Bro, you can get chains from just about any department store or like um, handcraft store or um, woodworking store, like a, 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 a DIY store. You'd be fine. Oh, okay. Okay, you thought of that way. <laughs> Why do our stores are all closed by now? Ugh. I'll just steal some from somewhere. Besides, I'm pretty sure Aunt Natsumi has some down in her basement. They're attached to the wall, and I don't know what she uses them for, but every time she goes down there, I'm... No, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself arrested. I guess I should give it some more thought. What'll I do? Fine, we'll do the logical thing. We'll gather info on the internet like a fucking nerd. Guess I'll research the demon Tsukiyomi on the internet. That'll be useless. Wow, okay. Just tell me what to do. You want me to go to the freaking moon tower? Everything I just told you was info I found from poking around on the internet. You're pretty lazy for a cop. <laughs> go knocking on doors for info, would ya? You're a bit too young to be a Luddite, aren't ya? Guess I should give it some more thought. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to the moon tower now. Fuck you, game. I'm going to stay here and sleep and get drunk. No! No! 
Fine, I'll go to the Moon Tower. I guess it makes sense. Moon Tower, Tsukiyomi. Uh, I'm going to the Moon Tower. Got any reason for that? My one elevator turned back time. Only a spirit can do that. Something similar happened to the Moroku residents too. If the elevator's still doing that, that means something's still there. And it just might be the demon Tsukiyomi. Luddite is someone who doesn't know how to use typical issues technology. Yeah, it's just someone who, yeah, yeah. Not all the way, like, it's not the same as being Amish, but yeah, it's just someone who's just, like, not good with technology. Bad. I get ya. Alright, wanna get going then? If that department store the elevator goes to is the scene from right after the fire, there might be chains left there, so we can try out the demon Tsukiyomi. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's smart. They were chained up. While the corpse is burned away, the chains okay. would still be there. Okay, well, then it's decided. I'll be going with you, obviously. It's my job to protect you, after all. You're gonna have to fix that ghost allergy of yours before you can make claims like that. Yeah, especially since this one likes to drop on the elevator. <laughs> I feel like I've come a long way compared to how I was when this all started. If we're going to Moon Tower, we'll need to prepare first. Bond's not with us this time, so we can't use the same trick we did before. By the way, what'd you ask Bond and Rosé to do? It was just some minor business. Minor business? I thought it involved Killer Peach. I sent him to Atami, where Okiyama's house is. After Okiyama died, her personal belongings were sent to her house. I wanted to find out what was in there. If there's a notebook, we might learn something about Killer Peach or the arson case. I can't believe they were fine with being ordered around like that. I told Bon it'd be a good scoop. He was all for it. And I introduced Rosé to a nice hot spring inn, which got her real interested real fast. <laughs> Yo, I missed the hot spring episode? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to be with that group. Bon and Rosé are fucking naked in a hot spring right now. And what am I doing? I'm going to a tower to find some... Well, I'm finding some chains. I mean... <laughs> Sounds like Bon and Rosé are out of reach. They won't be able to help me with the investigation tonight. Atami again? Is that the one from AI The Somnium Files? The one where the hot girl... No, the one where... Date wanted to take the hot woman receptionist. Where he was like... Come to Atami with... Like, we got... <laughs> that was a really funny moment. So if anybody didn't see AI The Somnium Files, it's a game kind of like this. It's very anime inspired. So it's very like silly and over the top and tuny your investigator and at one point you go into um a big building and the receptionist is this woman that is absolutely stacked and the main character is a, a, a ridiculous pervert and way over the top his mind is just constantly going boobs boobs boob out there are boobs in front of the counter boobs 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 and what you can get a bad ending by just continuously pressing the one button that says run away with her run away with her run away run away with her run away you have to press it like 10 times and then he's just like, we should go to Atami together. And you think it's just going to be like some joke and he's going to get slapped or something. But you get a full on bad ending. He takes her hand. He leaves. He runs away from the investigation, leaves his kidnapped daughter and just goes to Atami to have hot spring date. <laughs> so it's just, it's just like game over. And it's like, huh? Okay. <laughs> I want to go to Atami. Fuck this shit. <laughs> So how are we going to sneak into Moon Tower then? I'm going to take a page out of Bond's book. Just leave it to me. All right, I'm counting on you. I better get going then. Come to Moon Tower in about two hours. Oh, he leaves the bar after that cryptic remark. Well, we got some time to kill. Want to go get a bite to eat, Folger? Hell yeah, date night. Apparently there's a new traditional style place by Shinza Station. It'll be my treat. I'll give him the half smirk again. And that's that's a pretty sexy smirk. Date had his priorities. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Isn't there a line in that one involving skiing? I don't remember the skiing, but I do remember the fact that he just he was talking about the hot springs in Atami a lot. <laughs> Looks like you're interested. Even if it's just for the free food. That's not what's making my mouth water, but okay. Amanomi and I go to the fancy restaurant by Shinza Station. The food there is mind-blowing, which is to be expected from something so crazy expensive. Though well, I would have preferred more meat. <laughs> Phrasing! <laughs> 
Human Tsukiyomi. Momoi department store fire ten years ago. Not an accident. Victims were tied up in chains. Demon Tsukiyomi ritual has similarities with the fire incident. Surround self with chains, make an altar, burn something. Oh, yeah, so they did, like, they just sacrificed the humans. They burned 20 families to do whatever they wanted to do. Incantation. Need two mirrors. Join them by facing together. Wish granted based on value of object burned. Why, why can't I? Okay, there we go. You can't just click out of that one. <laughs> Moon! Two hours later, I split with OA. I arrive at Shinza Station. It's a Friday night, but weirdly, there aren't many people out. Wonder how Miss Detective will do. It's OA. Yo, I'm at Moon Tower. Yeah? Good timing. I just finished persuading him. Persuading, is it? I just had a nice long chat with the head of security who Bon bribed his whole... <laughs> this poor guy! He got bribed by Bon, let them in, and now he's being fucking blackmailed by the detective. <laughs> Told him if he didn't listen to what I said, I'd haul him in for breach of trust. He simmered down real quick after that. Wow. You really are a shady cop. <laughs> what else was I supposed to do? We don't have a lot of options here. Anyway, the back door is unlocked, so get inside. That is why I'm spending time with Amanome. I'll be waiting on the roof. Got something I want to show you. Okay. Meet you there. I wonder if it's related to that plaque we found. Oh, the plaque did say it was to honor an uh, incident with the fire, so yeah. I wonder if the guys who were, like, all working together, that 5-5 five, five club. 5-5 five, five club. 5-5 five, five club. 5-5 five, five, go go ko ko. Ko ko? Yeah, maybe they're the ones. Maybe they used the Tsukiyomi ritual to, like, get what they needed to make their company super powerful. I don't know. Seems all obstacles have been removed. Time to march into battle, Fogger. I'm glad none of you guys have died. Even though I almost killed you a bunch of times. <laughs> Even this late at night, the asphalt is still hot as I head towards Moon Tower. No one's in sight, so I slip in the back door. This lady gives me a whole new understanding of F the police. Yo, I'm glad to hear someone's into OA. I don't feel like she's getting as much love as all the other characters. Every other character, like, everybody's down bad for. But OA, I'm glad to see she has some fans. <laughs> Unlike outside, it's cool in here. Guess the air condition is still running. I reflexively take a quick look around, but I didn't need to bother. There's no one in the hole. That detective said she'd be on the roof, yeah? Who knows what she wants to show us, but we better get a move on. Okay. In the elevator. I think you can get to the roof in the time traveling one as well, if I remember correctly. It's only two options with like the floor which is haunted and the top floor. It's the elevator that reaches the management floor. It has a fingerprint scanning device. Well, I've already unlocked it, so does do, do, do that work? So this is the elevator that connects to the past. Yeah. I don't know if it's still connected, though. The past, huh? That's what you all say, but it's still hard to believe. Want to give it a shot? That's impossible. We can't ride it. Huh? Why? We can't get past the fingerprint scanner. I don't have the fake fingerprint that we used last time. Why would you throw that away? <laughs> it was so useful. Oh... Okay. Fine. We'll just go up the fucking roof then. This is fine. <sighs> Listen, she's mommy too. Yeah, no. I, most of the time I'm not too interested in her, but that whole interrogation scene where she was like grabbing me by the head and like grinning evilly at me. That was fun. That was definitely fun. A text. I open up the message. Fucking D-man. Come on, I didn't even get the last card. Surely you should give up by now. How are you? It's D-man. I've prepared your next riddle. Search the broken red monster in the place that exists no more. Okay, so the broom that's back in time. I can't go there, apparently. Fuck you, D-man. 
the D-man. I know it sounds dirty, but it ain't. I'm pretty sure that's the guy from the first game. Um, if I don't, if I remember correctly, he's a reporter. Um, and he, yeah, he's telling us about all of his past things. Pio cameo. Oh, because of D-man. I was like, that wasn't Pio Chan voice. That was like a goofy voice. <laughs> yeah, the D-man. The D stands for disaster, which is gonna befall you if you threaten the D-man. Why dirty? D, D man. D stands for dick sometimes. When you like, give him the D. The... Which floor will you go to? To the roof. And we also have the option to get off. I knew there was a reason we had Seiji with us. Stepped out of elevator. Open door and left the elevator area. Oh, oh, eh. Hey. The roof of Moon Tower is an open terrace. It's cloudy tonight, but if it wasn't, we'd probably get a great view of the starry sky. <laughs> I like looking down at the lowly peons from this eye. God damn, Seiji! <laughs> Who exactly are these lowly peons? Hey, you finally made it. Pretty nice spot, isn't it? I'm pretty fond of it, so I come up here now and then. Wait, really? <laughs> you come here for a reason? Well, you know, <laughs> to look down at the lowly peons. <laughs> Have we just connected the two most sadistic characters in the game? Because you know what? These two are going to have a fun future. Detective and uh, Yakuza's crime family lord eventually. Oh man, they're going to they're gonna be friends. So, what are we meeting on the roof for? This. I glance down at Oe's feet. For free? Oh, the plaque, right. She stands by the only bare patch of ground. There's a stone monument in the center. Okay. Interact with your plaque. A bunch of letters are engraved in the stone's smooth surface. On one end, in large letters, it reads... Dramatic pause. <laughs> Momoe Department Store Fire Victim Memorial. Apparently, this is a memorial for the victims of the Momoe Department Store Fire. After a paragraph consoling the dead, there's a list of names. And two of them should be related to the Diet Woman. Going down the list, some of the names look familiar. Kenji Okiyama. Momotaro Okiyama. They named their baby boy Momotaro. That's adorable. Aww. They wanted him to be a hero. That that name, I feel like, would get you beaten up in school, though. I mean, oh, yeah, they probably called him Momo-chan. Taro-kun. Momo-chan and Taro-kun. Aww. This killer peach is Tomoko Okiyama's husband and son. Okiyama had been trying to discover the truth behind the fire that killed her family. And she was killed for it. Oh. As I keep reading, my eyes snag on a group of names. Their last name. Saburo Oe. Hiroko Oe. Yuki Oe. <gasps> Families of every freaking ghost we've dealt with. Oh, so everyone who was part of this fire, are they still drawn in by the curse? Maybe they managed to escape the fire, or maybe it's just because they were so closely connected. Wait. They're all always. Wait, wait. No, I was wrong. Wait. <laughs> There's always on the list. They aren't. So that's why she comes up here. I'm stupid. I thought Sabado and... <laughs> I, I was so sure that Sabado and Yuki had been like... Yuki was the first ghost, and I thought Sabado was... Um, the, the one of the other ones. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Shit, she had a family at one point. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just what you think. My parents and my little brother. Oh. If their names are here, then. They died in the department store fire ten years ago? Yeah, that's right. They went to the Momoe department store before Christmas to buy my little brother a present. I made plans to play at a friend's house, so I didn't go with them. Thanks to that, I was saved. Then is that why? Why you're so rash when it comes to the Moon Tower case? 
Pretty much. I knew Diet Woman Okiyama was chasing the truth behind the fire, and that the president of Sumi, Noboru Ishimaru, was keeping a close eye on her. Then Okiyama up and vanished. The Sumi folks had to be behind it. Thought I could learn something by investigating them under the guise of the Killer Peach case. And that's why she doesn't give a shit what she has to do to solve this. She doesn't care if she's working with a delinquent 17-year-old. She doesn't care if she's going to get fired from the whole, like, weird shit going on with ARMY. Why haven't actual police officers questioned ARMY? <laughs> They've been, like, just hiding that whole thing. Never expected Okayama to be Killer Peach. She quirks a weary smile. No surprise. This case took a left turn for outside the jurisdiction of regular detectives. Both Okayama and I lost family in that fire, so I understand Killer Peach's grudge. But I'm a member of the police. I can't accept her approach. I need to stop her no matter what. So I want to pursue the truth using just means in her place. Just means, huh? You do realize this investigation of yours is totally illegal, right? Quit being fussy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you kind of broken the rules a bunch of times, but as long as you're happy. <laughs> I saw OA got cut down by Killer Peach. Her recklessness back then pissed me off, but when I think about how she'd likely been comparing herself to Killer Peach, I guess it was only natural. By the way, about this memorial, why is this one spot scratched out? Oh, someone defaced it? Dude. Among the ordered list of names on the memorial, one appears to be scratched out. Oh, that. Probably some nasty prank or something. One day it was just suddenly like that. Whose name was there? No clue. The reporter only mentioned that there were 25 people. There was no personal info on them. Ah. Uh, they didn't mention the net. What? What kind of police department are you working for, lady? That's like the most simple part of the investigation. Unless they literally couldn't find the... I mean, if they didn't mention any of them, Jesus Christ, somebody should be fired. Oh! The 5-5 five five Club! 25 people died. 5-5 five five Club. 5 by 5 equals 25. And maybe there were five members of it. Maybe they had to kill five people each. So it was five sacrifices for five people? Oh. The fire resulted in 25 victims, including the one scratched out. The report said the cause of the fire was arson, and the victims had been connected by chains. What the hell happened 10 years ago? And how did it connect to the demon Tsukiyomi? I'll just have to go back into the past to find out. Oh yeah, let's go see a ghost again. Well, we're done here. So let's get going. We're headed to the Momoe department store. We'll take the special elevator on the first floor. Right. Do, do you have the fingerprint? What does five souls get ya? Who knows? Apparently a big old fucking office building, a lot of money, and the ability to do some real fucked up shit since there was the one creepy guy perving on everything. They killed a diet woman and got away with it. They got somehow covered up a fire where everybody was chained up. Shit is kind of wild, to be fair. <laughs> Victim names engraved on the memorial. 24 people. Last name, Okoyama. Always family, parents, and younger brothers. Empty spot for one name seems to be scraped off. Cause of the fire covered up. Did Okoyama know? Maybe. Maybe we can ask her. Okay. Let's get out of here. Why can't I leave? There we go. <laughs> Also, it's not letting me save. I don't... Wait, it's not giving me the little cogwheel. Mm -hmm. The names are listed. 25, 24 of them are listed. It's only the 25th one. One has been scratched out. Which is something. A ticket for the school store. All you need is five souls. <laughs> Yo, I can get me a yucky soba pan for only five souls? Confidants. Who's willing to sacrifice... Ooh. In fact, I only need to sacrifice one soul. All I need is one confidant, and then I've got lamb. Who's willing to sacrifice themselves to get me some yucky silver pen? No. <laughs> no, not the stone faces. Bro, how could you? No, I'm good. You know what? I'm proud of you. No, Drew, her, her. No, no, no. Don't actually do that. I'm good, thanks. Good! 
I'm proud of you guys. Normally you would have lead into that joke. You're getting some self-respect. Good. Love yourselves. Tell me to go F myself. Point that gun at me. It will do nothing, kids. <laughs> I'll sacrifice you. Oh, I don't have a soul. That won't be useful. You won't even get like a fifth of a yakisoba pan for that one, unfortunately. What's up? I punched the button, but the elevator is not responding. I tap the button over and over, but the doors still won't open. The elevator isn't even coming. It's because I didn't press the get off button. That's on me. Let me see. Maybe you pushed it wrong. But I want the yucky sofa. <laughs> You'd only get a bite for one soul anyway. You need five souls. Are you really willing to kill five people? To sacrifice five souls? At least sacrifice a confidant for a bigger wish, bruh. But yucky so soba pun. Man. <laughs> he tries pressing the button himself, but it still doesn't respond. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love him. He's still so terrible. Is this going to be a little one of those little monkeys with the symbols? Symbols are clanging together somewhere. Mixed in is what sounds like faint clockwork. What's you screeching like a baby for? Is this how the next boss of the Amanomes is going to be like? They're in for a world of trouble. Hey, it's not my fault. Yes, no snappy comeback from him. Guess I better find the source of that sound. I think it's coming from over there. Yep, that's a very creepy version of one of that. <laughs> Poor Seiji. <laughs> the noise sucks. Yeah, it does. Hopefully they'll pick it up and shut it up soon. Whoa. Hey, would you keep it down? What do you do if security catches wind of us? Well, I thought you convinced them. Rather avoid as much trouble as we can. Who knows what'll happen? Good point. It's as if nothing had just happened. I grabbed the gorilla toy off the floor. Pain symbol gorilla. What's up, Vox Akuma? What are you doing here? A toy that appeared out of nowhere on the floor of the elevator hallway. It seemed to be a battery operated. It's unusual to see a gorilla model of this toy. He's Baba. Yeah. Foxy's Baba. I don't trust this. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. That may, that may be a problem. To a quest elevator. Okay, we're just not going to respond to the creepy symbol toy that appeared and started making noise. We're just like, huh. Anyway, back down to the ground floor so we can go back in time. Dive back in time. Dive back in. Rut row. Out of nowhere, there's a loud noise and shaking. But just as suddenly as it starts, it stops. All the lights go out. Huh? Did it break? Hey, did it really break on us? Well, it's back on now. I guess it wasn't broken. Faulty wiring, I guess. <laughs> Ying Shuji, 10 out of 10. I like that one. <laughs> it didn't symbolize anything. God damn it. <laughs> Trapped in the elevator with BF and mommy. I'd say BF and auntie. I, I still think she's an auntie rather than a mommy. I think even though Aunt Natsumi is the actual aunt, she's more of a mommy. In my opinion. In my opinion. It's just their vibes to me. Uh, Foger? Uh. Uh, over there. I look over to where he's pointing. Oh, we're getting all kinds of toys. A rabbit plush. A rabbit plushie hangs from the ceiling. I don't remember seeing it earlier. Are these from all the ghosts and spirits I've freed? Maybe this is actually a, an idea that they were getting the good ending. Maybe the gorilla refers to one of them. The bunny's going to refer to another. So if we get two more... No, three more. If we get three more, that's like every good end, every spirit we freed kind of thing. The, that wasn't there when we got on, right? Probably just fell from the ceiling when we stopped so suddenly. Amanome is in slack George shock, but I ignore him. I yank the toy down as if nothing happened. 
Obtained hanged rabbit. Oh, that's actually a... Oh, man. Dead kids. Maybe it's the gifts they got given. That could be true as well. Maybe it's the gifts that the children who were burned got. So, yeah. Maybe we're going to have to give them to the children to get them to leave us alone kind of thing. This time, I will get off. Thank you for the offer, Sage. That one's creepy as shit, man. <laughs> It's just going to keep laughing, huh? It's just going to keep laughing. <laughs> ah! As we step out into the hall, a girl's laughter suddenly echoes down it. Tch. Laughter now too, huh? What in the world is going on in this building? Uh, hey, Fulker? Was that doll here before? I look where Amanome is pointing and see an old, worn little girl doll. No. <laughs> He's so chill. I fucking love him. Was that doll here before? Nah. Kinda cute though. I'm taking it with us. <laughs> I slowly shake my head. All these supernatural things happening one after the other is really creepy. Damn it. Muttering under my breath, I stop on- stop- I stomp over. And pick up the creepy laughing doll. Pain laughing girl. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> sure, why not? Isn't that a real doll? Eagle Gabby or something? Well, now you have me curious, so I'm gonna Google that real quick. I'm imagining they can't infringe copyright, so... I'd imagine not, but I mean, there are a lot of dolls that, cr that laugh. That one was just a very creepy laugh. Giggle Gabby. Eh? Nothing comes up when I search for that. Gibble Gabble. What? But, oh, it auto-corrected. Giggle Gabby. Nah, I can't find anything. Other than a book. And something called... Gabby Gabby from Toy Story, which was the doll from Toy Story 2? What the heck? Okay, nope. What sounds like a cell phone vibrates nearby, but it's not mine. Nope, not mine. Which means... Looks like it's me. Excuse me for a sec. <laughs> she never gets in the elevator, Matt. Well, unless she dies. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Oh, hey. Oh, Bon, huh? Hey there. Yeah, so you got Okiyama's belongings, okay. Good thing Ishimaru didn't get his hands on them. She stepped away, but she's so loud that I can hear what's going on. <laughs> yeah, she's an auntie. Aunties always be like that. <laughs> if you find a notebook or diary, look through every last bit of it. Maybe we'll find out why Ishimaru and Sumi covered up that fire. Alright, I'll let you get to it. Oh, was it Toy Story 4? Oh, shit. I was so wrong. Kombanwa. Kombanwa. So that's what's going on. I had Barn and Rose go check it out for me. We'll get a call if there's any developments. All right. Let's get to that special elevator. Oh, well, that's it. It's now Baby Laughs A Lot. Oh, I remember the adverts for Baby Laughs A Lot dolls. Those were wild. I press the button, but nothing happens. God damn. I don't have the fingerprint. That's on her. Okay. Yeah, sure. She's going to do it. Okay. A lot's happened, but we better go see this demon Tsukiyomi thing. Can we use that elevator? I got this. I already reached out to the higher ups. My fingerprint should be added by now. Oh, sick. That's way easier. Then it's just whether it'll send us to the past or not. Well, no, until we try. She presses her finger to the scanner. I wonder if this is when you normally find your dead friend. Like, if you fail the last round and they get kidnapped, they do disappear in the elevator. So maybe this is where you find them when you, like, try to get into the elevator. They're just, like, dead in the elevator. Maybe. She's totally slaying with that facial expression. She always does, man. She looks kind of sick. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Dive back in time. After riding the elevator for a while, it shakes violently then. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Not again. Ah. Uh. Ow. 
A freakish scream pierces my ears like it's rising up from the depths of the earth. Wait, does that mean that's not Killer Peach? That's a separate soul? Could that be why the 25th name is scratched out? They didn't become part of the sacrifice. They managed to get away but died falling down the elevator shaft? Because I always assumed that that was Killer Peach falling from the top and landing on the elevator. But we set Killer Peach's soul free. So I think that's a different soul. But maybe it's the 25th and it just, they didn't become a 25th sacrifice. Well, was that an earthquake? What the heck was that voice? That earthquake and the voice. I recall what happened at Moon Tower before. This happened the last time I went to the past too. Huh? So then you're saying we arrived at... Yeah, most likely. Arrived at the past. A mysterious phenomenon stops. The elevator stops moving, starts moving again. And when it stops, it lets us out at an unknown floor. It's not the department store? When the doors open and I step out... Oh no, it is. Be back. <laughs> Spirit Hunter, I love this game. Let's go. Yeah, this will probably be our last time playing it. This is actually like the final chapter as far as I know, so... Yeah. Welcome, welcome, but we're coming to the end game now. Guess it still works. We're really in the past right now? You sure this isn't the present? What's got you so freaked out, Squirt? Moon Tower ain't got no shopping area. No way. We've seriously gone back to the past? But if that's the pa if this is the past, there's a problem. Oe was killed by Killer Peach. What's the matter? You're not one to stand around thinking. Time to explain that I've been here twice before in my last investigation, and both times Oe died. Then you're saying it might happen again. Worrying about maybes won't get us anywhere. Who knows if the demon will appear unless we look. So let's go see. Okay. Speaking of, I have a question before we proceed. Just what is that red thing on the floor? Looks like flares to me, buddy. Wonder if it's possible to save around here? Nah, because we can't move around yet. Once we're able to move around, we can save. I mean, we just saved a minute ago before we got in the elevator, but hopefully we'll get another one. <laughs> a flare. It was there last time I was here, too. Oh, that was mentioned in the report. So this flare was used in the incident? Or well, what for? If you want to burn something, all you need is gasoline and a spark, right? The theory in the report said that the culprit first caused a fake fire with flames. Then they guided all the panicking customers to somewhere they could contain them. Holy shit, that's evil. <sighs> Crafty asshole. The text from D-Man. Yeah, that would be the broken monster. Bunch of flares are on the floor. All of them are used already or too wet to be able to work. Or not. What else is a broken red monster? That was a creepy sound. <laughs> are we sure we can't interact with this? Aggie. TV with a built-in VHS. Checking the VHS slot and nothing. But that's where I played the video. What happened to my video? A Christmas tree. Looks like it had been right around Christmas when the tragedy happened. Yeah, I'm going to save again. <laughs> I'm being a little baby, but fuck it. For some reason, there's a puddle on the floor. The water's clear enough to reflect my face in the ceiling. I look around to see if I can find anything, but there's nothing interesting. Lights hang from the ceiling. They aren't on, but they're buzzing like there's still some juice going through them. A lot of creepy noises in the background. Hi, <laughs> Foo, and hi, everyone. What up, Yukitai? Hope you're having a good day. Try to relax, try to rest, but yeah, this is going to be... A scary game today. We're still doing our ghost investigations. I sense a presence in the dark. Spinning the flashlight around toward it reveals. But I set you free! What the actual fuck? <laughs> I guess the time travel thing? 
Is she not technically set free because of the whole time travel mechanic? There's another ghost keeping us stuck here, even though I already played the video for her. That's not good. Not peaches. Peaches, peach. No, we did that too much last week. Still a peach lying in wait for me. Hey, hey, wait just a second. That's killer peach, isn't it? I thought you defeated her, Folger. Time's been turned back. Killer Peach vanished, but the strange phenomenon hasn't stopped, so it's not her doing after all. Damn. I'll think on that later. Right now I gotta do something about her. Killer Peach sways as she walks toward me. Oh, here we go again with this. Who are you? I wonder, I, I'm gonna guess I have to give her the toys, but I wonder if that means... Are the toys like representations of her family? And herself, I'd imagine. The bunny rabbit's probably her daughter. What were the other two? The gorilla and the creepy laughing doll. Oh, wait, no, she had a son. She had a son and a husband. The gorilla would probably be her husband. The bunny rabbit would probably be her son. And then she'd be the laughing doll, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Killer Peach, how you doing? Heck yeah. <laughs> same question as before but there's no way i can use the same method i did last time i don't have the tools i gotta think of another way i know the truth behind her grudge now i need to let her know that somehow but if i say anything wrong she'll cut me down god damn it killer peach we already dealt with this what are you doing here um show the fire report um that Okay. Yeah, I figured that'd be better evidence than just saying something. <laughs> Playing your stream in the background and that spooked my ass. Sorry, Tsukishi. <laughs> I mean, it is still kind of a horror game. It do be very chill and anime, but it's still technically a horror game. Hey, look. This is the fire report from Momoi Department Store. I thrust the report out in front of me and Killer Peach slows. I may, it may be me imagining it, but it seems like she's not sure what to do. All of her eyes swivel to focus on me. A stare pierces me to my bones. It's clear she'll see through my life. What do you have? Because I defeated you, I picked it up during my investigation, I found it in your belongings. Shit, did she have it in her belongings? I don't know if that's a lie. Um, uh, tell her the truth. Fuck it. He said no lies. Okay. That seems like a bad idea. But he said no lies. I do no lies. <laughs> that can stop her because she can read. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go again with this. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'll kick your ass again. <laughs> Sorry. I defeated you and that's how I got this report. I'm using it to investigate the truth behind the department store fire. <laughs> investigating the truth. That's what you did when you were alive. You didn't just want revenge on Sumi. You wanted to know the truth behind the fire that killed your family no matter what, right? Investigating the truth. There is no falsehood in those words. I meant every word. Oh, she trusts us. That's kind of surprising. After a long moment of breathless silence. Take what? With a cry, Killer Peach vanishes. 
I wouldn't call that a cry. Tsukutekure. Doesn't that mean take this? Or am I am I wrong? I might be wrong. Tsukutekure? Hmm. It's peachy. Tat oh, save me? I thought that would be Tats. Tatsukutekure. Oh, did I just miss the ta? I heard the tsukutekure. Tatsukutekure. Okay, save. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I didn't hear the tar part. <laughs> oh, it's just a different way to say it. Both work. Ah. Oh. An adorable way to say it, then. <laughs> I don't know how we survived that, but we did. Man, how are you so calm? I nearly threw up. I was so worried we'd die. Oh. <laughs> he just immediately switches gears. Something's over there. <laughs> He's just like, ooh, shiny. The katana killer peach used lies on the ground at the spot where she disappeared. Stained katana. Okay, so I've got a gorilla, I've got a bunny rabbit, and I've got a crying child. And a katana. Are they making me into Momotaro? Is that is that the characters that Momotaro traveled around with? So, the sword. I mean, she's leaving the rest up to you? How should I know? I have the sword of justice. The sword of truth. Well, with things the way they are, it may come in handy. Seigi no katana. Seigi no katana. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seigi no Mikuta is ally of justice, so Seigi must be justice. Seigi no katana. I'll pretend I didn't see you taking a legal weapon for now. Hand it over when we leave, though. Whatever. I'm not planning on getting much future use with it. Dog, monkey, and bird. Okay, so no. Completely different, adorable little creatures. <laughs> Toy and doll in the elevator hall. Plushy. It oh, no. There's one missing. There's a hole in the middle. Am I not getting the good end? But I saved every ghost. Where did I fuck up? Killer Peach again. I thought I defeated her. Was I entrusted with everything? Fuck. Shit, fuck, fuck, shit. <laughs> well, it's too late to go back and I don't know what I missed. So, let's see what kind of ending we get. Peaches, 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 peaches. A mannequin. Going by its size, it must be for kids. They're soaked and scalded by fire, but still manage to keep their shape somehow. There's nothing worthwhile here. A bunch of different products are on display. A bunch of cute plushies. These must be toys marketed to girls. Take a few. We've already been collecting toys. <laughs> Seems these are all toys marketed to little boys. Any toy can be anybody's. I played with Barbie dolls when I was a baby. I also had a Buffy the Vampire Slayer doll and a Sailor Moon doll. And a bunch of action men and Lord of the Rings toys because I'm a manly boy. <laughs> Normal lights, nothing special about them. They're not on, probably don't have power. With them off, the whole place is dark and gloomy. Okay, on we go, I guess. I've never gone back this way. I should have saved. <laughs> this is where the fire happened. Oh, shit got real right now. Anyone want to dismantle the toys here? I'd be cutting them open. There's a D-Man card somewhere around here. Didn't find it, but it was somewhere. I already missed one anyway, so we've ruined our collection. Lord of the Rings had toys. Yeah, they're amazing. They had little action figures, and each one came with their, like, their sword and some accessories. It was fantastic. I played with those shits all the time. We step out into a wide, burnt area. It looks like the fire was the worst here. Walls, floors, ceiling. Everything's charred pitch black. According to the report, this children's plaza was where the fire started. It used to be a play area with equipment. And there are some chains on the ground. Is this where that demon Tsukiyomi ritual happened? Probably. Everything points to it, but that's also if it was even done at all. Up, oh, let's grab some chains. Oh no, little baby ghost. Papa. Mama. Ask Santa. 
for my Christmas presents, okay? Promise? I'm waiting. You want a crying little girl doll? Because I can get you a crying little girl doll. I, if, that, if that's what you want. Oh, no, I have a laughing little girl doll. Maybe, maybe you turn that frown upside down. Maybe I give you the doll. Maybe you disappear. Maybe you no haunt my poor friend, Seiji, who scared the ghosts. Uh, uh, again? I beheaded my dolls and switched their heads around? That's kind of badass, honestly. <laughs> Damn it. Did they cut it out already? How many supernatural things does that make now? I've lost track. Well, 24 people did die here. Possibly 25. There's a lot of spiritual energy to deal with. Oh, just ignore it. Let's look around. <laughs> just ignore the crying child ghost. Do not, do not mind yourself with the crying child ghost. She's, she's just a normal part of the environment. Okay, we've got a furnace. We've got a table. I thought that was a mannequin. Some gasoline. Oh, that sound effect froze me solid in my tracks. <laughs> Holy shit. I hung up dolls on the ceiling fan and just watched them spin around. That's kind of adorable. People do that with our papes all the time. And now we've got Seiji going. Ah! <laughs> Again. My body took a screenshot. That's a good way to put it. That's not 24 dead bodies, to be fair. I shine the flashlight on the floor, and several burnt corpses come into view. Well, they disappeared. Hey. The corpses. No way. They were just there. It's hard to believe. The corpses that had been so vividly real a second ago have vanished without a trace. Maybe the victim's grudge is so strong that they showed that to us? That would make sense. Yeah, they're just like, hey, this is where we died. Please investigate. Mm hmm. There's a black stain of some kind where one of the corpses had been. Blood tree time, baby! I move closer and reach out towards it. Reach out and touch face. Gah. Damn. My ears are buzzing loud enough that I'm getting whiplash. Vertigo even. Why did I just autocorrect in my brain? <laughs> Must be the blood of the victims. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. I need to investigate everything I can first. A burnt bench that's fallen apart. If you go by the state of this bench, the fire was really bad. I look around that area and find a gun on the floor. Yo, I have a katana and a gun. I am so fucking stacked. This ghost ain't gonna know I hit. Cocker your fucking who? Come on, little ghost girl. Come on, you little stupid. You stupid doll body. What are you gonna do? This gun. I think it's the one the arsonist had. Find something? I found the gun the arsonist had. What? I pick up the gun from under the bench and show it to her. It's like it still works. Yeah. What do you do with it now? Preserve it as evidence? Nah. The thing still works. It might come in handy when we're fighting the spirit. <laughs> she genuinely wants to shoot the ghost. I fucking love this. Wield a gun, Tana. Yeah, I can make my own gun blade. If I just take some duct tape and tape them together at the handle, I can swing the katana and fire the gun at the same time. Oh, and the bullets pass through them. I don't know how ghosts work. It's different in every story. <laughs> we'll find out. Doubt a gun will work on a spirit. Don't know till you try. Anyway, we'll get better evidence from Tomoko Okiyama's house. Okay. I'll take it once we get out of this alive. So don't go losing it now. She's letting me hold on to the gun. A 17-year-old boy who has no firearms training. <laughs> if worst comes to worst, you'll turn a blind eye to me shooting this raid. Depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Hey! Okay, a shotgun! Oh, we can't make a gun blade. Um. Yeah, we just got a dual wield. I've, I've just got to have a katana in one hand and shoddy in the other. Although one-handed shotgunning is a good way to break your arm, smash your chest, 
and damage yourself very badly. It's not a handgun. Yeah, I was shocked. Don't see anything useful. Okay, we're done with the bench. Oh, hey, you really are police, right? I can't believe she's letting him hold on to a damn shotgun. <laughs> a mostly burnt vending machine. The sprinklers rusted it too, so the thing's barely recognizable. I checked the pickup slot and... Huh? Something's there and it's surprisingly not burnt. Fucking... I don't care. <laughs> I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Spirit Memories Night... Oh, this one's actually important. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> Spirit Memoirs 9-1. Kaguya doll. Congratulations for surviving all of Kaguya's games. You're exactly what I envisioned. Color me impressed. I've watched your triumphs from the sidelines, and I'm sorting out all the info so far. First is Kaguya. I wonder if she can't pronounce the goo part of her name because she's a little girl. Let's refer to her as the Kaguya goal. This cursed girl was sealed in the mirror of the prestigious Moroku family. The seal weakened every ten years and she could leave the realm of the dead for the present world. The ritual to seal her again was called Nagashi no Gi. <laughs> the same ritual which killed those little girls. I believe. I'm sorry. But Kaguya isn't in the mirror. I suspect the ritual failed at some point. Now the game you've experienced these games of death. For you, the game ends if you survive a spirit encounter. How you survive was up to you, and when the spirit was gone, the cycle repeated until your death or she got bored. But the purpose of those games wasn't to kill you. She only wanted a playmate like a child wanting attention. Being a spirit without knowledge of love, she must have thought that was play. Who knows how she got the other spirits to listen. Perhaps magic similar to necromancy. I assume her way of hosting was to make them like fairy tales. A dull spirit that embodies the grudges of death. I have to say, Kaguya's game is very fitting, but it doesn't appropriately reflect your efforts. This is an era where even Kaguya uses a phrase like NG. We could call it Necro Game among ourselves. Necro Game, that's kind of sick. Though you likely couldn't care less about the name. My apologies. <laughs> At any rate, you survived NG and saved your sister. I wish you a happily ever after. I wonder why Kaguya was obsessed with you. D-Man. Okay, D-Man. Well, he told me some stories about it. That one was actually really important. <laughs> At the same time, if he knows about all of this, why the fuck isn't he helping? Like, he legit knows everything, and he's just like... Yuck. Gorish, you survived the games. Good for you. I thought you were going to die. <laughs> Yuck. How the hell did D-Man hide a card here? Ugh, thoughts for another time. Right now, I got to take care of Demon Tsukiyomi. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Gonna save again. Gonna save again. Do not trust myself. Do not trust this game. <laughs> okay. What's this? It's the remainder of something kids can ride. It's charred within an inch of its life and unrecognizable. That's it. Well, okay. It's a puddle that was probably made when the sprinklers went off. The water in it's so cloudy I can't even see my reflection. Oh, there's lots of things to interact with. It's a hole in the floor with water in it. Probably filled up when the sprinklers went off. It's clear enough water that the ceiling's reflected in it. Oh, we're going to use that to make a path to the world of the dead. That technically is a mirror. So as long as I have another mirror, that's a good way to get into the land of the dead. Oh, I'm going to try lefty rather than middly. Black and... Nope, nope. Don't want the blood metry. The floor's crumbling from the heat of the fire. The burnt floor's in a pathetic state. There's piles of ash everywhere. That might be useful. Ash is normally used in rituals. I can just imagine the smell in this room. Yeah, not pleasant. Keep in mind there were people burned to death here. So it smells like burned and, yeah, rotted people as well. Blackened chains are on the floor. Must have used these to make sure the hostages just didn't escape. Yeah, the victims were wrapped in chains. Gas was poured in them and then they were set on fire. Some grand ritual... Sacrificing innocence just for his own ego. The venom in his inner words stops my tongue. Oh, they did do her family too, so... Fuck me, that must be horrible, knowing that this was where your brother and your parents died. 
Maybe I can learn something if I touch the chains. Might see more if there's blood on them. I'll take all the information I can get. Yeah. The instant I touch them, my hand is scalded by searing heat. I quickly yank my hand back. What's wrong? The chains are still hot. You're kidding me. But the link looks normal. Cool metal. Cool metal alchemist. <laughs> they said burnt human smell is something you won't forget. Yeah, especially even just burnt human hair is like a very fucked up, disgusting smell to other humans. Like, I think it's a biological thing. But yeah, at least I've never smelled like actual burnt human. Ugh. The chains don't look hot at all, but I definitely felt heat when I touched them. Ow! Clearly not believing me, Amanome reaches out to touch the chain and gets burned. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> Listen to your friend, Amanome. <laughs> they really are hard. <laughs> I told you that, my boy. <sighs> What's really strange is the chains look cold, but they're hot to the touch. Maybe we could pour some water on them and then they'd be not hot. There's no blood stains anywhere. Okay, back to the water. I think that's a good idea. The hole in the floor with water in it. Probably filled with the sprinklers. It's clear enough. Blah, blah, blah. Reflected. No blood stains. Fire report. Flashlight. Hang grab it. Laughing girl. Katana shotgun. Still has ammo and may still work as a weapon. Done left by Killer Peach. When she disappeared, the sword is taking the lives of Sumi group men, but still gleams as if a grudge is still unresolved. Cool. On its feet, it says J E R in smudged text. That's so Toy Story. Somebody wrote their name on the bottom of it. Plus, she found hanging from the elevator. It showed up as if it itself hanged. The long thread is part of the toy. Well, it appeared out of nowhere on the floor. It seems to be a battery operated. I mean, the gorilla has a symbol on it. Maybe if we throw the gorilla in, it will count as two mirrors. <laughs> I take out the symbol gorilla. But I can't think of a way to use it right now. Yeah, that's that's more logical, honestly. Do I need the cloudy water? The puddle. Water's so cloudy, I can't even see my reflection. Did I interact with this one now that I think about it? There's the black stain. Even just looking at it makes my ears buzz so much I want to puke. Guess that just shows how strong the grudge of the people who died here is. I slowly reach out with my fingers to the blackened blood stain on the floor. I see a blood stain and I wanna paint it black. No present anymore, I want it to be black. In a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells. That's nice and creepy. I told you guys, Christmas is evil. I've always warned you about this. I'm scared. Help me. Oh, that's the gas. <laughs> what in the world are you thinking? What would this even accomplish? It's not too late to... Oh shit, he had the mouths on him. Oh my god. He shot one of the victims as well. Fuck me. Shut up, idiot. This is the most important part. So did he do this ritual to save himself from Kakuya? Had Kakuya already started playing the game with him? And so he wanted to sacrifice these people to do the Tsukiyomi ritual to save his own life. This is the most important part. Wait. <laughs> it's the department store before it was burned. But something's off. I wonder if those three closest ones... If this is always... Brother... And parents. Or could this be the family of... Like, could this be Momotaro? No, I feel like Momotaro's father would be holding him. So... Oh, but I feel like that... Nobody's taking care of the child. What the fuck? A man with a cigarette hanging from his mouth looks down at several adults chained together. On his arm, 
are some familiar looking mouths. Between him and the adults is a kid. Looks like he's soaked in something. Oh, he pulled the kid away from them. Okay. That's even more fucked up. Oh, Jesus. The plastic container on the floor makes it pretty obvious that what was that what that something is. Masaru. What are you going to do with Masaru? So, this kid's name is Masaru, huh? That's my name, too. Maybe that'll make mom happy. Mom? What the fuck? You asshole! Man with the scarf tries to jump forward, but two others grab onto him. D don't move! Go kill us, too! Just enjoy it. I don't want to die. He's. Oh, yeah. One by one, he started to light them up. Fuck me, dude. The kid in front of the parents? No wonder their eyes look like that. Oh, let me move you guys. You guys can't see this dude's creepy face. Sorry. I need to pay more attention to things. There. Put you guys in the middle of this whole fucking scene. There you go. You guys can be next to Masaru. Keep him company. <laughs> Just endure it. Oh, wait. This is the old man. Just endure it. I don't want to die. Let me go. Masaru! Papa? Mama? Help me! Oh, Masaru? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we get started? Mom's waiting after all. <laughs> I think I'll start with this kid. He plucks the cigarette from his mouth and turns the fiery tip towards the kid. <laughs> Cry loudly for me. Okay, Masaru. For Demon Tsukiyomi's sake. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Please come here. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Please. Grant my wish. Please. My mom. Was he trying to bring his mother back? The fuck is this dude? Okay, let's move you guys back out of there. What? Yeah, what is the question? Why was that guy so fucking weird? Damn. I feel sick. You're scowling, Folger. Did you see something? I tell Amanome and Oe about the tragedy that happened here. A demon Tsukiyomi ritual sacrificing a bunch of families. A man laughing horribly as he did it. I can barely even say the words. Maybe the mob got kidnapped by Kakia? That'd be kind of sick, actually. If Kakia was actually the root cause of this as well. And the demon Sokiomi ritual was what he was really after, huh? Looks like, yeah. A granted wish needs to be proportional to the value of the burned object. So he burned. Living humans. The goddess... You said the arsonist was a man, yeah? Yeah, in his thirties, maybe. Said his name was Masaru. And... He had mouths on his arm. Mouths? It's... Kakia's curse. Better explain. I tell her about the horrifying mouths that appeared on me and on Natsumi. In other words... The arsonist might have been caught up in Kakia's game. Yeah, most likely. This guy's an idiot because the dead should stay dead. What comes back ain't the same person. Well, personally, I've never brought someone back from the dead, so I can't confirm that. But when you're pretty desperate, you'll try just about anything. Gah. Oh, here we go again. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. 
I got you, fam. I'll be back in a minute, chat. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. Welcome back, chat. Do, 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 do. Uh, talking to the demons in his head? Yeah, pretty much. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> the finale <laughs> of the tale. Demon Sukiyomi, Demon Sukiyomi, please grant my wish. <laughs> <laughs> Shed, I don't have much time left. Is the curse progressing? Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, at least you don't have the mouths on you, my boy. <laughs> he falls silent, thinking about something. What's going into you? The curse won't stop until you defeat the spirit. Yeah. Then what we need to do is find it, yeah? Uh, yeah. And it's time to throw all the chips in. We're calling Demon Tsukiyomi. So you're saying we gotta perform the Demon Tsukiyomi ritual? Exactly. Okay, sure, let's cool down a demon. That sounds fun. <laughs> You can put those mouths on him if you catch my drift. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's pretty good this time. That one laugh was intense. Um, Maybe this one that starts off slow. <laughs> that one? That one sounds out a lot. I'm glad to hear it. I had a lot of fun with that one. I did some high-pitched ones. I did some low-pitched ones. That one's just like full-on like insane... I don't want to do a joke or laugh sometime. I can't remember what like Mark Hamill's Joker sounds like, but that's the most iconic one to me. I'm going to listen to that at some point and see if I can hit that kind of range, because that would be fun. That's our only choice. There's no other way to escape the curse other than doing something about the demon Tsukiyomi. Time's running out. I gotta take a gamble. It's like I'm tightrope walking over a chasm. Actually... I'm always being backed up to the edge of a cliff. I fucking love Legardus in this game. Dude's just like, yeah, I'm always on the edge. I'm so edgy. That's the only way I live my life. <laughs> the 8, 10 out of 10. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked it. I like doing evil laughs. I like doing evil voices in general. Shit. That's not what I meant to do. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. We can summon De Demon Tsukiyomi if we have chains. Two hand mirrors and something to burn. Well, we've already got the chains here, so... I just need the mirrors and a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Bow, 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 bow. I should have brought that compact mirror. Oh, hey, you're a working professional. Don't you have a hand mirror or something? Don't look at me. Sorry. I battle with my wits, not my looks. Okay, I'm still going for the symbols here. I'm thinking, get the gorilla toy, rip the symbols off of it. That should count as two hand mirrors. Then you're, then you're, then you're good. What are we burning though? Probably the toys, I'd imagine. The toys might have souls in them, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what else I've got on me, honestly. <sighs> oh, you know what? If Oe calls the demon Tsukiyomi, the katana, my boy. The katana be shiny, but I mean, what else would you combine that with? It's only one shine. Oh, the katana in the pool of water. That would actually be kind of sick. <laughs> yeah, the clean puddle, I was thinking earlier, maybe if you drop a mirror on top of that. So yeah, if the katana is reflective, put the katana in the water. 
like the lady in the lake thing. It's returning the sword to the lake. Hmm. Very different legend, but still. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, if we want to burn something that means a lot to someone, if Oi herself did the ritual and she ended up burning the fire report, that's her one piece of evidence that proves these bastards killed her family, burned them to death. So if she burns that and gives up on getting her own, like, justice, her own vengeance, that would be a pretty fucking big sacrifice. You're kidding. What about something to start a fire? I don't smoke, but I've got a lighter on me. Interesting. <laughs> Fun times. Hmm, we just need something to burn then. Nothing for it. I'll have to look around. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bell, jingle all the way. What's this song? I can barely make it out, but it sounds like jingle bells. This song was playing in the vision I saw. Laughing all the way. Ha ha ha. What a vision of the scene of the fire. Like everyone thought it was arson. Demon Tsukiyomi ritual performed with victims as a sacrifice. This is Momo equals side of fire. Saw a ghost of a victim. How to replicate the demon Tsukiyomi ritual. The chains and an object to burn. What about the joined mirrors? Then a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Masaru! Yeah, the little boy is Masaru. Hasuru, Hasuru! Masaru, Masaru! The black stain on the floor. It's probably the victim's blood. Well, that's not useful. In a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. We don't want to take that pile of ash? Okay. Could have been useful. Mostly burnt. Vending machine. Sprinklers rusted it too. What was in the vending machine? We found. Oh, it was the D card. Yeah, that's not useful. Um, let, let's try dropping the sword in here and see what happens. It's a hole in the floor with water in it. I don't. I clicked the wrong thing. Katana. I stare at the katana in my hand. I took it out, but I don't know how to use it. Yeah, that's what happened to me when I was losing my virginity too. Took it out, but I didn't know how to use it. Ah. Oh, creepy. A lot of toys out on display. A bunch of toys for little boys. Hey. Hey, think you could use these gloves? Or what? How should I know? When does, when does your brain ever work? <laughs> They're so fucking funny together. Anytime I'm in a pinch. Chad, I'm kidding. It's okay. <laughs> Rider gloves? Fuck yeah. I find a toy robot nearby that still looks normal. Normal enough, anyway. Taint burn robot. What are you going to use that for? I don't know. You gave me gloves, I take a robot. I just liked the look of it. Fuck you, Amanome. When does your brain ever work? <laughs> when it needs to. I fucking like these dudes. They're so funny together. <laughs> Here's hoping. I look around a bit more, but everything else is burnt beyond recognition. I'm gonna save too. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. There's a puddle on the floor. It's surprisingly big. Most of the surrounding products are soaking wet. Okay. A bunch of different products on display. Better check the display toys. I could probably use this for the ritual. I pull a slightly burnt hand mirror out from among the toys. Why would they... You know what? I'm not going to question it. It's useful for me. It's burnt, but the mirror part looks fine. Same burnt hand mirror. What's this? He shows me a stick he found among the products on display. Who knows? The tip's melted. Might come in handy. Melted stick. We're getting all kinds of shit. There's a bunch of other plushies on display. They don't all look like it, but most are wet to the touch. 
so wet that I kind of don't want to shove any of them into my bag. Huh? There's something red between a few of the animals. I grab it. What's a flare doing here? Perfectly setting it up so that we have a fire source. That's what it's doing. <laughs> Girls toys makeup set. Oh, you could be right, actually. I just, it all looks like plushies from here. <laughs> so it's like lucky, I guess, I guess. It was between soaked plushies, so it's also wet, making it unusable. But it's definitely a flare like the ones on the floor by the elevator. We couldn't use that if it wasn't wet. Yeah. Sighing, I put it back. Why would you put it back? You could at least take it with you. Dude, we might be able to find a way to dry it. Normal lights, nothing special about them. They're not on, probably don't have power. With them off, the whole place is dark and gloomy. I think I need to attach something to the burnt stick and then stab the burnt stick into like that bit of electricity that's working up above and then light the stick on fire and then I have fire. A mannequin, going by its size, it must be for kids. They're soaked and scalded by the fire but still manage to keep their shape somehow. But there's nothing worthwhile here. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> They're really making me work hard for this. What if... I give the little baby thing um melted stick branded item found on the merchandise shelves for girls the label reads magic could a good day oh it's a little Maho maho shoujo wand looks like it's a character from an anime partially burnt hand mirror found in the girls department store because the mirror has been warped the reflections it shows are a bit distorted that's gonna be creepy burnt robot found on the merchandise shelves for boys if the button on the chest is pressed it emits sounds of weaponry Boom! Rat-tat! <laughs> Branded item found on the merchandise shelves for boys. They're made of thick faux leather and could be used as batting gloves or even pot holders. Oh, so we can touch the chains now! Sick! Okay. Can't do anything with the little girl mannequin. You call that lucky? I call it lucky AF. One of you has to still have some juice, right? Bunch of flares on the floor. We could use flares for the ritual. But these are too wet to use. They're rolling everywhere, so let's see if any still work. Sure. I check each flare on the ground to see if they can be used for the fire needed for the ritual. So, find any good ones? Nope, they've all been used before. Oh, well. Well, shit. I've got everything, but... I couldn't find anything to burn. If we could just use that flare. We just need the gunpowder inside. Hey. Wait, what? <laughs> Why didn't you tell us this, Seiji? That's incredibly useful advice. Uh, useful information. Hey, I found a flare by that spot where you found that stick toy. It can't be used, but... Oh, it's the wet one? It was lying around in such an odd place. Maybe there'll be more in other spots. True. Some might even be usable. But when ain't gonna be enough? We'll need a bunch of them. Got it. Guess I'll go back and double check everywhere I've already looked. Why do you do this game? Just let me check things. Don't do this whole... Uh -huh. Now you gotta check again because we wanted to extend the game time by 10 minutes. The Christmas tree. I check around the tree. There's a flare in the pot. Found one that looks like it still works. Hey, nice work. Just like Amanome thought. But why are all these flares all over? It's me. Probably left by the arsonist. There's no way to understand people like that. Now keep looking elsewhere. Once we call Demon Sikuyomi, the truth will come to light. Okay. On it. Well, at least we found one. Bruh, he's telling you now? Not good enough. We're supposed to be working together, damn it. Oh, we got the plus 10 minutes emotes. Let's go. <laughs> a TV with a built-in VHS deck. Checking the VHS slot. And nothing. There are clothes on display. I search around. How about that? I found one that looks usable. They were all over the place, as it turns out. The rest of this is just clothes, huh? You put any in your bag and I'll tag you with police tape. Really? Come on. I'm not trying to... This is from the past anyway. None of this shit exists anymore. If I bring it back to the present, nobody's missing it, woman. 
I wasn't gonna touch him. I might have. Took, took the fucking gloves. The gloves looked cool. For some reason, there's a puddle on the floor. The water's clear enough to reflect my face in the ceiling. I look around to see if I can find anything, but there's nothing interesting. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Lights hang from the ceiling. They aren't on, but they're buzzing like there's still some juice going through them. Have I actually got the flares? Because that could be a good way to light them up. One of many emergency flares placed all over the Momoi department store, likely by the arsonist. They have special gunpowder and can be lit if they haven't gone wet. I take out the flare. Took it out, but I don't know how to use it. Okay. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells. It would just be dust that... Hey. <laughs> it would just be dust anyway. Yeah, they'd probably be all moth-bitten in real time. Although we managed to steal some things from this timeline, so who knows? Was it a fly? It was not a fly. <laughs> it was a bunch of burned-to-death corpses all shambling away from me. I check all around and on the mannequin and kids' clothes. You find anything? Nope. Oh. Hey, I found one over here. Seiji's doing great. Holy shit. There is one. Tane Flair. How is he finding all of these? Why am I so bad at this? Keep looking for others. Oh, okay. Although really, I think I should just yet let Seiji do it. They're not on. Probably don't have power. With them off, the whole place is dark and gloomy. I did not mean to click that again. <laughs> There's a lot of toys on display. Bunch of toys for little boys. They're all burned beyond recognition. Bunch of products. All I've found so far are wet flares, but I may as well try again. Want to take another look? Yeah, there might be spots that aren't wet. We search every nook and cranny for a spot that's dry. Aha, there's a dry patch behind some of the plushies. I push an animal aside and see one with a big hole on its back. A red tube pokes out of it. He really stabbed a flare into a plushie? Dude's weird. Ah, found one that looks like it still works. Obtained flare. Hey, nice work. Keep looking for the others. I wasn't going to give up. How many do you want? We've got at least three. How big of a fire is this woman looking for? There's a puddle on the floor. It's surprisingly big. Most of the surrounding products are soaking wet. Useful. Okay. Headed towards the back of the floor. We got four? Yeah, but that's what I mean. I would have thought three would be enough. Okay, let's try dropping the mirror in here. Bum, bum. Broken it. Burnt hand mirror. I take out the burnt hand mirror. How am I supposed to use it? I've got no idea. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Where's the chains? Whips and chains excite me. Black and chains are on the floor. What's really strange is they look cold, but they're hot to the touch. Rider gloves. I take out the rider gloves, but how am I... <laughs> Use them to pick up the chains! Mostly burnt vending machine. It's rusted. I can't even examine that. Burnt bench. Search around the bench, but I don't see anything useful. Okay. The remainder of something kids can ride. I check around the equipment. There are three flares! Is hoping these are all still okay. Pick each one up and check if it can be used. Two out of the three are too burnt, but the last one seems like it could work. Wish all of them were good. At least it wasn't a total bust. Found one. Well, that's number five. That's going to be a big, big flame. Hey, nice work. Keep looking for others. God damn it. Oh, okay. We're just done anyway. She lied to me. <laughs> okay, okay. How many does that make? I count the flares in my bag. Five. Some are kind of damp, but... We only need the gunpowder inside them. With a the flame, they'll dry right up at ignite. Guess I'll start preparing for the ritual then. Oh, here they come again! What's this? Shit, they are moving so fast this time. Kakuya does not want me to win her game anymore. 
the screams from the mouth pierced my brain. Well, you know what that means, chat. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the day. Bum, bum, bum. No, see, chat, this, th th this is the problem. It isn't laughs this time. It screams this time. So, unfortunately, the screams from the mouth pierce my brain. Yeah! <laughs> the tail has reached. Yeah! Happily ever after. Yomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Don't open. Don't open. Don't open. Don't open. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Please grant my wish. Please go on my way. Please, please, please. Almost, huh? All that's left is to do the ritual. Call Demon Tsukiyomi and defeat it. Wow, that was fun. It took a long time. <laughs> okay. We've got cloudy water. We've got ashes. Floor's crumbling from the heat of the fire. There's nothing here to get in the way. Plus, there's plenty of open space. Let's make the fire here. Yep. Do it then. Um, flares, please. Um, ba -ba -bum. break down the flares and leave just the gunpowder on the floor. We'll need multiples so it burns longer. Exactly. I take out the flares and tear them apart. I'll help you. Let's go. The buddies who commit arson together stay together. Hope Doggo doesn't get worried. He's used to my shit. Don't worry. <laughs> Glad you guys enjoyed it, though. It's way too much effort, but at least it's worth it. We managed to gather quite a bit of gunpowder. Should be plenty now. Hurry and get the other stuff ready. Okay, I've got one mirror. Take out the... I take out the burn hand mirror. How am I supposed to use it? I've got no idea. Fine, fuck you. <laughs> I don't even remember what else I need. Are you sure I can't pick up the chain with the gloves? I pull the rider out. Aha! I pull the rider gloves out of my bag and hesitantly put them on. God damn it. How is it? They're not hard. I can carry them this way. I maneuver the chains into a circle. You do have soundproof, don't you? No. <laughs> My neighbors are probably terrified right now. Is this okay? I think so. The chains are ready now. Okay, so we've got chains. We've got fire. Maybe try dropping it in here. I still think, I mean, it talks about it being reflective. It just makes sense. Take the burnt hammer. Oh, yeah, there we go. I take the burnt hand mirror from my bag and try holding it up to the puddle. The puddle is reflected in the mirror, and the mirror is reflected in the puddle. That should work for the joining mirrors part. You guys haven't reminded me what I need for the ritual. Okay. Um. Oh, it's in it's in my notes. I forgot I have notes. Okay. Let me check my. Oh, that was everything. <laughs> No more clam chowder for you. Maybe extra clam chowder for me. Maybe they'll feel bad for me and they'll be like, oh, he, he needs some soup. <laughs> Get that man some soup. <laughs> I'm ready to do the demon Tsukiyomi ritual. All I need to do is say the magic words. What should I wish for? Let me make it clear. I am joking right now. I do not have a soundproof house, but my house is like pretty far away from other houses. You rem remember, I don't live in a big city. But yeah, we're good. They're not going to have heard me screaming. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Lifting your curse is probably a good idea. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I'll go with that then. Time to light the gunpowder from the flares. Once it's burning, I close my eyes. Demon Tsukiyomi. Demon Tsukiyomi. Please come here. Uh-oh. Making a silent wish for the curse on me to be released. I call forth the demon Tsukiyomi. What feels like an eternity of silence passes. Suddenly the room darkens, and I feel cold. Everything is enveloped in a strange stillness. Almost like I'm the only person in the whole world. As that feeling settles over me, Oh, hey there. Mr. Tsukiyomi, I appear, I, I assume. You are covered in chains. That's kind of kinky. I'm into it. Lots of eyes. Lava hero there. Kind of look like a beholder, but... Stunted. A small clump of flesh appears out of thin air. Weird lumps grow rapidly all over until it's suddenly a huge mass of flesh. This is the demon Tsukiyomi? Yeah, it's the forbidden meatball. Yeah, no, wouldn't. I'm sorry, guys. Wouldn't. <laughs> Rain the Fuchan sheep? No. Not not for me. Not for me. You like mouths, Fuchan? Not mouths like that. They they need to have nice smiles. These are some fucked up smiles. <laughs> it's completely disgusting. My whole body shudders. I, I can't say I expected this. Run home to mommy if you're scared. Like hell I will. I can't leave you alone after coming this far. I know you're stuck with me until it's over. That sounded like a proposal to me. Creepy screams. Ugh. Some kind of dark surge attacks me. It roils like burning hatred. Shit. What am I supposed to do? Like a wish. But what wish am I supposed to grant? I want out. I was so excited for it. It's the baby boy. It's the little boy who wanted the, the toys. I gotta give him all the toys. On what? Looking forward to what? Do you understand? Don't you think the face that said that sounded like a little kid? Now that you mention it, the Grant one sounded like an adult. Exactly. So a parent wanting to grant a kid's wish. Something a kid wants from their parents. No clue what it'd be, though. We don't have anything else to go on. It's up to us to figure out the rest. So... A parent wants to grant a kid's wish. If I can grant that, then... Survivor escape port. Okay, this is not how I expected the final chapter to go. I'm going to be honest. I uh, I thought we'd be dealing with Kakuya. But, uh, there's like... Uh, it's coming off of it. Um, oh, Which one's the parent and which one's the child? I have three options on this giant... Four options on this giant mass. I'm gonna say you're the child. Okay, they're all different. This is gonna be interesting. I want Jennifer. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. One of them, one, one, one of them had a J on it. J, 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 J. Jennifer. Okay, laughing girls. Jennifer. Here you go. Have a laughing girl. And did the laughing girl to the upper right face. No reaction at all, huh? No idea if I got it right or not. Why don't you just give something to all of them first? Oh, okay. Find yeah. me a big monkey, please. Okay, that one's easy. Symbol gorilla. 
That one wasn't even a fucking question. <laughs> no reaction again. Maybe I need to give things to all the faces first, like Amanome said. Pew, pew, boom, bang. Okay, I kind of want to give him the gun, but I think it, it's the robot. It's It's got to be the robot. Burnt robot. He's a kid. He don't want a shotgun, but I could give the kid a shotgun. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> no reaction again. Maybe I need to give... Yeah, I know. We're doing the fourth one. Chill. Oh, my wish. Mom. Please. Okay. I mean, all that's left is the hanged rabbit when it comes to kids' toys, right? Yep. Hanged rabbit it is. I'm Santa Claus. Oh, no. I've become what I hate the most. I've given something to every face. All I can do now is wait for a reaction. <gasps> oh, the, oh the, the magical girl stick. I may have fucked up. You are right. I do have another girl's toy. Oh, shit. And it's a magical wand. It would grant a wish. I fucked up. I fucked up. Hey, assemble, gorilla. Thanks, Dad. One of the faces cries out excitedly. Whoa. You did it, buddy. It's too early to celebrate. I sound grim, but we haven't heard the other faces' reactions yet. It's Jennifer. Thank you so much, Mom. Apparently, I got the second face right, too. Yeah, it's Kaiser Robot. Kaiser Punch. The third face also yells excitedly. Just one more. Yeah. Fuck, I fucked up. I didn't want to give him the bunny rabbit. It was the magic wand. <sighs> Shit. Mom? Mom? This isn't mom. <laughs> maybe we can redo. Maybe that we won't die. Right when I thought we were in the clear, Demon Tsukuyomi goes berserk. Chains come flying at us. Okay, well, this may be a bad end for some, but for me, this is just a fun time. Shit. <laughs> You okay, Anamo? I'm a no me. Yeah, just barely. Shit, if I had thought about the grant my wish thing. Damn it. Yeah, what he said. Damn it. We can't do anything when it's like this. Run! On the time to be kinky, foo? It's always the time to be kinky. I'll make a break for it. I'm a no me and Oe on my heels. Um, ruh -ro. <laughs> Seems like that angry face was the only wrong one. So what do we do? Well, if we knew what it wanted. And that's the one that was all mom this and mom that, yeah? Yeah. I guess we get a few chances to do this. Maybe it'll chase me through each room. Demon Tsukiyomi doesn't sound very far away. It may be chasing us. Do, do, do. Oop. Better get out of here. Where can we go? Use the elevator to go back where we were. We'll figure out what it wants in the meantime. May as well. We've got no other choice. Maybe it's mom is the one that keeps falling down the elevator shaft. Maybe it's the one that does the time control stuff. Barreling into the elevator hall, I run straight to the door and press the button. What? What's the matter? Hurry and open it. I pushed it, but it won't open. I jam my thumb into the button again and again, but the sting thing still doesn't open. Has it caught up to us? No, I don't see it. Even when I do, it'll be far enough away that if we can get that door open... Oh shit, yeah, Killer Peach! Killer Peach's child died in the fire. Maybe that is Momotaro. Maybe if we give it the samurai sword, the katana, it'll actually work out. 
Just give it Rose. She doesn't deserve that hot spring trip anyway. Yes, she does. She's done a lot of work. Besides, she's not mommy. She's auntie. <laughs> the pep talk is appreciated. But if we stay stuck like this, we'll be up shit's creek. God damn it, fine. If you're going to be that way... The stupid door is pissing me off. I grip the edges and try to force it open. Realizing what I'm trying to do, Oe jumps in to help me out. Oh, it's back, baby. <laughs> Why would you give a child a word? Oh, you give your child your word. I let you know. I'll never leave you, my baby. Don't worry. It fights us, and we haven't made much progress before the demon Tsukiyomi appears. It's not very rare. <laughs> oh, a sword? Because it was his mommy's sword. No. No way. Shit. I was careless. Hey, hurry up, Fogger. At this rate, we're gonna die. Gah. Open up. Terror gives me the extra strength I need, and the door cracks open. Yes! I slip my hands into the crack and force it open. Grip. Open! All right, go! Get inside! Amanome runs in, followed by Oe. Once I'm sure they made it, I slip inside too. <laughs> you can't get in. Dumb Sukiyomi. Close the door now! Oe smashes a button on the panel. It's no use. The door won't close because it's caught on the demon Sukiyomi. You're giving up after we made it this far? Blow its face up with a shotgun! Move! Nah! Okay, or just kick it. <laughs> I've got a shotgun, but sure, I'll kick the fucking giant demon. With a roar, I kick demon Tsukiyomi with all my might. The heat burns the sole of my shoe, filling the elevator with a smell of burnt flesh. The spirit retreats just enough that the door manages to close. I mean, it can fly, though. It can come after us. <laughs> Whoa, nicely done, Legatus. Ew. Hmm? We're going up? Seems so. I hope we can get back down. That's up to luck. At least we're safe for now. I don't know if I should say this, but kicking a spirit is such a you thing to do. <laughs> to honestly. Shut up. You tried to shoot one with a gun. Yeah, but that's been a while. <laughs> A gun, huh? Ugh, obviously not a real one. Just a model gun with some slight modifications. Extremely slight. Uh-huh. Something to look forward to after we survive this. You can give me all the juicy details later. I'll ring you out to try. Ugh, now I'm in for it. Give me a break, detective. <laughs> well, now we have a real shotgun, though. It's even better. Legard is punching all his problems away and kicking the ones he can't punch. Lucky for us, the elevator connects to Moon Tower's roof. We rush out onto the terrace. I... Oh my god, Blood Red Moon. I didn't realize we were playing Breath of the... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom today. I'm surprised he didn't just get in the next elevator and go all the way back down to the ground floor to actually leave the building, but okay, now we're stuck up here. The hell's up with the rune? After we left the department store, we should be back at Moon Tower. Did the demon Tsukiyomi do this? Oh, it's because I opened the portal to the other world. Damn. It won't get away that easily, huh? If the demon's got control of this place, then it'll probably be here soon enough. What do we do, Folger? I can't just poof ideas out of thin air, you know. We just gotta do something about that last face, right? Which face? You know, the one that was all, this isn't mom or whatever. All of the others seem satisfied. What do they mean by saying they want their mom? Do we need to set up our lovely detective as a mom figure or something? I love that idea. Just give her like a virgin killer sweater and be like, Oh, mommy, yes, there we go. Now we'll be able to, you know, we'll be able to put the ghost to rest. I'm shit at acting. Cell phone vibrates, breaking the silence. Oh, that's me. 
What if the other two show up and they have the objects from the actual mother? That would work out. Unless it's always younger bro. She might look like her mom. That would be interesting. She pulls her phone out of her pocket. It's Bon. Maybe Okiyama's things revealed something. Hey, it's me. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. What? Are you serious? So he's on there too. Nah, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. There's nothing else. I gotta go. We got our hands full at the moment. We'll talk more later. Bye. I can't believe it. You seem excessively shocked over something. Got some amazing info or what? Yep, it's a doozy. Remember the name that was scratched off that memorial there? Well, the name was... Masaru Ishimaru. Are they the one who started the fire or are they the child? Ishimaru. Oh. The president of Sumi. Was he the one who burned everyone to death 10 years ago? Wait. Ishimaru was the president of Sumi. Oh, it's the second son. Okay, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> yep. And Masaru is Noboru Ishimaru's second son. That's not all. According to Okiyama's notebook, Masaru Ishimaru was the one who caused the fire. What? Seriously? That's just Okiyama's own conclusion after she conducted an investigation alone. The gun found at the scene couldn't have belonged to just any random schmuck. That's what caused her to be suspicious of Masaru. He was notorious for his violence and his habit of abducting people. Dad's influence prevented him from ever getting arrested. Though I love rich kids. God damn it. So, if he was the arsonist, then the one who sacrificed all those people for the demon Tsukiyomi ritual was... Yeah, it had to be him. Masaru Ishimaru. The thin man with the gun who I saw standing in the kids plaza during my vision must have been Masaru Ishimaru. Don't let his father off the hook, though. He knew what his son liked to do, so he must have guessed who the arsonist was. And he still added his son's name to the list of victims without ever batting an eye. Counted as a victim, it's harder to investigate him. Plus, it buys a whole lot of sympathy, too. Just a habit? I know, right? That's... Oh, yeah, he had a habit of abducting people. If that is in police reports, why the fuck isn't he in jail? Jesus Christ, man. But Jan, I can finally watch your VODs. I'm done with studying. Yo, what's up? I hope you enjoy them. And I hope you enjoy the stream. You, this one's kind of like at the end of a game, though, so... Yeah, <laughs> spoilers. So they're both pieces of shit. Yeah, complete garbage. If someone agreed because the name on the memorial was scratched out. If Ishimaru died in the fire, then he's probably part of Demon Tsukiyomi, too. That means even in death, the victims are stuck with the guy who killed him. If we beat him, the victims should rest in peace. But how do we do that? That's your department. So much for we. <laughs> it's we when she wants something. It's you when it comes to the work. <laughs> Maybe they pleaded insanity or outright bribing the police. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like bribing the police and just like political pressure. Like, oh, you, don't, you do want to be like announced police commissioner at the end of the year, right? So I trusted my boy Masaru would be out of here by the morning. Come Masaru, we're leaving. Before we beat him, we gotta find him. Hey, Folger? I think we're out of time. So the one wanting mom is Masaru? I, I still don't think so. Maybe, but... Uh. Maybe. He did say he wanted to bring his mom back. So maybe this is what they became rather than actually getting what he wanted. Maybe they just became a big blob of souls that an unending source of pain and suffering. Man, you're a persistent bastard. How'd it follow us? How the fuck should I know? But now that it has, there's only one thing to do. Finish it! Here and now! Masaru. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. Masaru's in there. Masaru Ishimaru should be in that thing somewhere. If I find him. Survival escape. Scene two. So I guess we were supposed to fuck up the first time? I, 
It's still not letting me save. Jesus Christ. A stone memorial built in honor of the victims. Only Masaru Ishimaru's name has been cut out. Turned, flashlight, fire report, katana, shotgun, rider gloves, melted stick. What did the melted stick used to be? Branded item found on the merchandise shelves. Magical Guru J. Okay, not useful. Rider gloves, shotgun. I could shoot it. <laughs> Katana left by Killer Peach when she disappeared. Sword is taken the lives of the Sumi group men, but still gleams as if its grudge, grudge is still unresolved. I could kill him with a katana. Ugh. Report on the cause. Part of it is still legible, though. It states the fire was arson and it was started in the kids section. Flashlight. Okay. We do not have many items. Let's poke the ghost with a stick. Hell yeah. Okay, we've still got a few mouths. We've got three of our four. We've got four ways we can interact with this bitch. Okay. Mommy! Mommy! Okay, that one wants a mommy. I don't know what to tell you about that, dude. Um. Help me, mom! Dad, it's hot so hot. I'm scared. I'm scared, Mom. I, I don't know which one of those is Masaru. I think I should stab it with the katana, though, because, I mean... Um... The katana belonged to the family, right? It was just that she... Like, the reason that Killer Peach has the katana is because they beheaded her with it. So it should belong to the Masaru's family. So maybe it relates to the mommy. I... Um... Katana, baby! I stare down at the katana in my hand. That blade's all we got. I also have a shotgun, but okay. <laughs> the sword I got from Killer Peach should work against her mortal enemy, Masaru Ishimaru. Just to figure out which one you're slashing. Sorry if I get it wrong. <laughs> we'll die together then. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait, no, this one was crying out, Mommy. I fucked up. Amanomi's resolve bolsters my own determination, and I turn toward Demon Tsukiyomi. What? What's that sword? I point the sword at the Demon Tsukiyomi and hide oh, that, and it lets out a terrified yelp. You're Masaru Ishimaru! It's terrified, and it should be. It draws a smirk out of me, and I confidently heft the weapon. I dash forward, aiming at Ishimaru's face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Demon Tsukiyomi hurls countless, countless chains at me. The, the dangerous metal flying every which way. Instincts blaring, my body senses the chain's trajectories. I dodge every last one of them. Die, Ishimaru! Once close enough, I push hard off the ground and jump high into the air. I slash the katana from bottom to top. <laughs> Ishimaru flinches in fear. Blood splurts everywhere, getting all over me. Okay, I mean, good for me, but at the same time... Uh, we're not supposed to kill ghosts, right? We're supposed to get the issues resolved. Ruh roll. Huh? For a second, a familiar place flashes in view. I'm sure that's... Ah, fuck. Was that the writer's house? Oh, there's no time for that now. I gotta do something about him. Obtained blackened blood. Yeah, we'll deal with that after this. <sighs> Made it flinch and that's about it. I guess physical attacks won't take it down. Any other ideas, Amanome? My only thought of how to destroy spiritual stuff is to use something supernatural. Or perform some kind of ritual. We can't do that kind of stuff. I mean, all we got left is to listen to his wish. Don't be stupid. There's no way in hell we need to grant his wish. 
Then what are we supposed to do? She bites her lip and falls silent. I'm sure she knows, but it's impossible to bring herself to allow it, since the fire was how she lost her family. Out of nowhere, the spirit starts moaning. Carve. Carve, 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 carve. Is it saying carve? But I have no idea what that means. Do I really have to grant Masaru Ishimaru's wish? Time's running out. Whatever I do, my best chance is while it's still stunned. It's got to be the plaque, right? Time's running out. I got to do something while it's still stunned. Carve. Think on what that could mean. It's that or grant Ishimaru's wish. I can't give him his mommy. Did his mom kill himself? Is it the bunny rabbit? A, a, a symbol of his... I already used the bunny rabbit. Even though it didn't work. Does he want me to carve his name on the plate or give a memorial to his mother? Uh, um. The memorial, huh? It was made to comfort the victims. Huh? To comfort them? Hey, don't you think that's kind of like a magic ritual? Now that you mention it, yeah. But what do we do? This thing's already built, so it's achieved its purpose. That's the problem, huh? But if all goes well, Demon Tsukuyomi might rest in peace. So I have to carve his name onto the memorial? Oh, I can write it in the blood. I can write his name with the blood onto it. But that may piss off the rest of them. <laughs> the demon isn't just Masaru. I'm aware. But it's Masaru who's saying carve, 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 carve. Like his name has already been carved off of the memorial. Somebody already did that. And it may have even been Oe. Oe may have cut his name out of it. That's why she's not telling us what to do. But also, how the fuck do I grant his rich? Like, how could I get his mother? I don't have any item that would be anything like that. I'll try the black and blood. I touch the black and blood staining my cheek. The darkened blood brings those words to mind suddenly. Carve. Carve. The blank spot on the memorial. What's the matter? Not exactly the best time to be mumbling to yourself. Nothing. I'm just thinking we might need to engrave something in that blank space on the memorial. Something. Oh! A name! Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe it'll give us the option. Maybe we can either write his name or his mom's name. If so, maybe writing his mother's name would be better. Maybe that'll help him calm down if he feels like his mother is here with him right now. We need to add a name. But the problem is... Whose name? Yeah. The problem is whose name we should engrave in the blank spot. I don't know your mother's name! Oh, I guess it's Nobudu. Is that your... Nah. Uh, I guess Masaru, I guess Noboru Ishimaru. Is Noboru, is that not the dad? Noboru is the dad. Oh, fuck me. That's the diet woman. Keisuke Bondo, Junpei Takada. Definitely neither of those. What the fuck, man? There's no way Takamoko is his father. Wait, wait, wait. Takamoko, that isn't the diet woman. Oh, I'm fucking wrong. That's just a random woman's name. Okay, fuck it. Unless, I can't remember. I write a name with the blackened blood on my finger. Someone whose strong grudge made her a spirit. She should be listed as a victim too. Tomoko Okayama. That is Killer Peach. I'm dead. Fuck me. Well. Who is that? The name of the woman who's lost her husband and child in that fire you set. She was killed by your old man when she tried to reveal the truth behind the fire. So what? Damn it. He doesn't even care. Was Killer Peach Okiyama not the right name? No, we fucked up. I don't remember her name! Oh. Someone I don't know. Inside me. What are you? 
I'll kill a peaches inside him now. She's going to kill him from the inside out. Good for her. But I think I fucked this up. I think I've just locked me into a bad ending. And we have not saved for a while. <laughs> um, I think I should have written his name. And then maybe he passes on. He, he, he relaxes and he gets to see his mommy in the afterlife. Fuck. Well, might as well see the bad end. Let's, let's roll these dice. What are you going to prove to me? Right, he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> this is what we've been talking about lots of times. Like, everybody, people are fucked up. At the same time, cycles of vengeance, not such a great answer. If we can get him to move the fuck on, he can leave this place behind at least. Justice. I've heard that voice somewhere before. The mythological Momotaro must have been guided by the name written on this memorial, crossing time and space to exterminate evil. Oh, no, it's... it's... it's okay. No! Demon Tsukiyomi's annihilation. Demon Tsukiyomi has vanished. I want to play too. Aki is still watching. Don't worry, Fuchan, your ending is locked since chapter five. Oh. Fuck, did I need to find an item that I didn't find during chapter five to find the fucking mother's name so I could write? Oh, man. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> A wind blows across the roof, and the demon Tsukiyomi dissolves. Or are those grateful cries from people mixed in with the sound of the wind? I knew it. Mama really is Momotaro. Oh, it's the baby. A child's voice pipes up from among them, proudly boasting about their mother. It's little baby Momotaro. Survived. Brah. You get purification achievement? Nope, I got annihilation achievement. I annihilated that bitch. The ominous scarlet moon vanishes and the sky reverts back to normal. Go away, little shine mouths. That's what I thought. Let's go, we lived. But for how long? <laughs> I take it your curse was lifted if your expression is anything to go by. Yeah, I guess I managed to survive again. Demon Tsukiyomi disappeared, but it didn't leave behind a pool of blood. Guess that makes sense. I already got Army out. Speaking of blood, blood flew out when I cut the Demon Tsukiyomi with a katana. It was only a flash, but I saw a vision of the attic in the Moroku residence. Why did that place appear? Better check it out. Touch the blood on my clothes and concentrate. And here we go. Oh, shit! Well, this is him making his creepy dolls. <laughs> wow. Nice work there. <laughs> The first thing I hear is a young man's voice. It's the arsonist, Masaru Ishimaru. Wait, what? What? Why is it Masaru Ishimaru? I thought that the, the writer did this shit. <laughs> that was captivating, truly. Guess going full criminal to capture a kid really was worth it after all. Oh, okay. The, the writer's here. The Masaru is there as well. There's two of them. Okay. Masaru, I allowed you to watch, but if you continue to say things like that, I'll have to ask you to leave. The man in white monk robes replies coldly. His voice sounds familiar too. It's got to be Yakumo Midoku, the author who turned girls into dolls. <laughs> Don't be like that, old man. <laughs> Without my pop's power, you'd be behind bars right about now. Yes. 
I'm extremely grateful to Noboru. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru family's cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. Oh, so he was covering up the little girl murders as well. Fan-fucking-tastic. God, these people suck. That Nagoshi no Gi ritual or whatever, yeah? <laughs> Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to... NG? Oh, so... Wait, was Kakuya just one... Wait, no, Kakuya couldn't be one of the victims. Because she was one of the ones who was sealed. Unless... Did Kakuya never fucking exist? What if Kakuya never existed and it was just like a family tale kind of thing? And they started killing young girls to try and seal the Kakuya, but Kakuya didn't ever existed. And the Kaguya who we're playing games with is just a victim. One of the girls so like one of the girls locked inside a doll. That sounds like a name a child would... Oh, wait. That sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the interest of the Kaguya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. <laughs> now that's scary. You better hurry up and finish making her playmates. Hmm. Hey, what's this? Oh, his little baby Kakia doll. What? Oh, since I'm the last successor of the Maruku family, it's just junk now. I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. Huh. It would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean by power of your hands? Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual power into that doll and give it to her. So does that mean because you lost your power thing, that's why you're killing kids and making them into dolls? It's up to you whether you believe me or not. <laughs> I believe you. I love stories like that. Anyway, what about you, Masaru? <laughs> what about me? Will you marry and have a happy family? Oboru would surely be pleased if you had a child. Hmm. Would mom be happy in heaven too? You're still hung up on Yoko. Hmm? <laughs> of course I am! Pops only shoves money at me. Mom actually loved me. She's my everything. Even now. Forever. I always want to relive the time when mom was around. I see. At Ishimaru's strange outburst, Moroku stops and frowns. It would be nice to go back to the past you long for. By the way, old man... You write scary fairy tales, yeah? So that means you're an expert on the occult. Yes, to some extent. What about it? I want to ask you something. Could you tell me about that demon Tsukuyomi thing? And that's how he found out about the ritual. Shit. He has mommy issues? Yeah, he does. Very Freudian. Very, very Freudian. What? That was... The arsonist Ishimaru abducted girls. And Yakumo... Oh, yeah, they did say he had a, he had a reputation of abducting people. Fuck me. So they... They had fucking caught him abducting young girls for this piece of shit serial killer. And they let him go each time just because of his father's influence and money. Oh, my God. Oh God. The arsonist Ishimaru abducted girls and Yakumo Moroku turned each of them into dolls. It lines up with what was written in the Nagoshi no Gi book I found at the Black Rabbit. Plus, that strange doll Ishimaru grabbed. And yeah, guys, Electra Complex is when a, a daughter loves a father. Um, it's, it's an Oedipus Complex when a son loves a mother. Different things, similar things. <laughs> that was... 
That was the doll I picked up at the Moroku residence. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do correct me if I'm wrong. You look serious, Folger. Did something happen? No. It's nothing. I'm still trying to process everything I just saw. There's no way I can explain it right now. Well then. We survived that by the skin of our teeth, but we can take a breather later. Let's get the hell out of here before someone finds out we broke in. Okay, that is correct. Okay, good. Yeah. Oedipus was like the Greek tale about a dude who fell in love with his mom. and Electra, I don't know where it came from, but yeah, Electra, like, like the daddy. <laughs> right. Right. Let's go. Oedipus and Electra would have gotten on along pretty well. I imagine they would have done like the whole like grabbing each other's hands by the wrist and like yeah, doing a big old handshake. She killed her mom because her mom killed the dad. Oh, okay. That's not nearly as bad as what I'd heard. I mean, damn. We're not going to go someplace weird again, are we? It'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> Astoundingly upsetting how many people could have been saved had serial killers been stopped the many times they got caught for other stuff. Yeah. So many cases of that. If the demon Tsukiyomi was the one causing time to reverse, then we shouldn't be led to the scene of the fire again. I press the button for the first floor, and the elevator quietly starts moving. The elevator reaches the first floor without any issues. Phew, we made it back all right. Come on, we don't have time to be standing around. Let's get going. Oe makes it clear that she wants to be out of this place, so we leave. Yeah, considering her family was probably in that big old ball of flesh, fuck that shit. Phew, we should be safe here. Good job, you two. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. And that's no joke. I want to sleep like a log. Hey, what's that face for? Something's bugging me. What exactly was the demon Tsukiyoki we saw? That's an incredibly vague question. It was probably a mixture of all the people who died in the fire. No, I get that, but... But the demon Tsukiyomi ritual itself existed way before the fire, right? It's not really related to the fire at all. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. So basically you're wondering whether we face the real demon Tsukiyomi. More or less. We were originally trying to summon the demon Tsukiyomi. And then that thing appeared. First, let's sum up what we know. The arsonist, Masaru Ishimaru, burned humans alive in an attempt to summon demon Tsukiyomi. His wish was to revive his late mother. Let's talk about crazy occult maniacs. She's also the late wife of President Ishimaru of the Sumi group. She's still quite dead. <laughs> I confirmed that when I was investigating the Sumi group. I fucking love that. Just straight up like, hmm. Yeah, she's still dead. She didn't randomly come back to life. In other words, his wish to the demon Tsukiyomi wasn't granted. That's what that'd mean, yeah. This is just a theory, but maybe a wish was granted. Except it wasn't Ishimaru's wish. So whose was it? The victims that Ishimaru killed. The voices of the 24 victims would have been louder than Ishimaru's voice. And in an extreme situation like that, they would have all been wishing the same thing. I don't want to die, huh? Exactly. And in its own warped way, the demon Tsukiyomi granted that wish. Creating the demon Tsukiyomi that we saw, I guess. Oh, God. So because they didn't want to die, they all just became a big old ball of flesh. Forced to be attached to their murderer for the rest of the existence. Jesus. So the rumor about the demon Tsukiyomi granting wishes was true. Well, if my theory is right, that demon Tsukiyomi could have just also been a completely unrelated ball of rage. And nobody's wishes were granted during that fire which would mean the rumors about the demon Tsukiyomi were false. Even so, believers in the occult would just deny it. 
They'd claim the value of the sacrifice wasn't high enough or something. In the end, people are going to believe what they want to believe. There's no such thing as a correct answer. Well, it's about time we split up. This ain't a good time for miners to be walking around. Yeah, I guess I'll head home. Thanks for everything, Oi. <laughs> That's surprisingly decent coming from you. Have you fallen for me? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oi. There are way too many. This game is full of, like, by panic. Um, but you're not top of the list. <laughs> Don't look so upset. I'm unexpectedly fond of you, you know. 17, my lady. What? The Why does everybody talk to him like this? By the way, Legatus, just how did Army's examination go? Oh, yeah. I never told you. 18. Big difference. Okay. He's legal. She looks like she's about 30. <laughs> I found some abnormalities in her brainwaves. So she's under examination until tomorrow. That's so. I hope Natsumi gets better soon so they can go back to their normal lives. Yeah, me too. If Aunt Natsumi's coma is because of Kakuya's curse, then Ami's not getting her normal life back till I do something about Kakuya. Alright, I'm heading out. See you guys. Bum, ba, da, bum. Isn't 21 legal in Japan? I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure it's like different in different like prefectures in Japan. Um, yeah, don't quote me on that. Friendly font? It, they probably meant friendly font. <laughs> but I mean, it just came like right after the whole like, ah, did you fall for me? It was just a weird way to rate to word it. <laughs> oh, he disappeared in the direction of Shinza Station. Yo, we're getting the nice relaxing music. I think I'll say my goodbyes here too. My hotel room's right by Shinza Station. So you're still not going home, huh? I can't. Not while you could end up getting suddenly cursed again like you did today. Amanome seems completely fine, but I've constantly been causing him trouble for these past few weeks, including what happened to Maruhashi. Hmm? What's the matter? You're staring at me. I'm waiting for you to invite me to your goddamn hotel room. Why do I keep not getting an invite? My house is haunted. It has a fucking link to the land of the dead. <laughs> at first, I didn't want to get him involved, but if he hadn't been there to help me, I never would have survived this long. I've really caused you a lot of trouble. Sorry. Like I care. It's my job to back you up. You're all brawn and no brain. If I left you alone, you'd be the one in trouble. I guess we're in the same boat then. You forgetting who saved you when that gang was going to kidnap you back in elementary school? <laughs> elementary school? <laughs> Dude. That, that's, that's so long ago. Plus, if a gang kidnaps you at elementary school, what are they going to do? Give you wet willies? Push you down the stairs? I mean, that's pretty bad. Like, if you... Like little bullying things, pull your hair and shit. Hmm? Did you forget who introduced you to the underground matches when you needed cash? And then you're forgetting high school when... Man, we could keep going like this forever. <laughs> Seriously. Aww, they're so in love. They've been together forever. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna get going. See you later. Aminome disappears down a bustling street. Hold you for ransom. Oh. They managed to take... See, the thing is, I didn't even think about it being an actual gang gang. When I heard, like, they, what about when that gang tried to kidnap you in elementary school? I was thinking a gang of elementary schoolers. <laughs> in my mind, like, what? Baby little Legatus in elementary school managed to take out an entire fucking grown-ass gang? That's fucking crazy. I want to see that story. I need that flashback. I need a little freaking eight-year-old Legatus beating the shit out of 20-year-old Yakuza's. <laughs> now that I think about it, a lot of people have helped me get this far. I gaze up at the night sky for a while, picturing all the people who've helped me. Because of your close relationship with Anamonome, <laughs> close, Anamonome character file was updated. 
Because of your close relationship with Aminome, Maruhashi character file was updated. Because of your close relationship with Ami, Ami character file was updated. Because of your close relationship with Natsumi, Natsumi was updated. Oe character file updated. It didn't even say I was close to Oe. <laughs> Legata's character file updated. Man, we don't get to update our fucking Momo file. I guess I'll get going myself. Damn it. I go to the station and quickly hop on the last train heading to Kisoji. After arriving at Kisoji Station, which is deserted at this hour, I head to my apartment. Apparently, no, you don't, but I can finally save, so. I have to avoid. Wait, the background's. If... Hey, yay, yay! You're the guy from number one! That's the silhouette of D Man! That's that's not me. You've got long spiky hair and the big old trench coat. Why why is he in the background? Huh. Don't worry about it. I'm very worried about it. Um anyway, 820, 820. Okay, I'll save at the bottom right. Because I'm pretty sure I'm locked into a bad ending because I didn't save the final ghost. I annihilated them. Huh? That's weird. An old timey fire extinguisher. I wonder if it even works. It's covered in dust. Oh shit, maybe he's finally gonna find... Maybe he's finally gonna show up. He's sick of just like following me and giving me cryptic hints about shit he's done. Maybe he's finally gonna help me with Kaku under here. These marks make it look like something was torn off the post. Must have been a flyer or something on it. Which one? I missed it. I don't know if you said or not, but are you going to play Deathmark 2? I would like to. I've, I've still been working on trying to be able to essentially. Um, if I could, I wouldn't play it anytime soon. I'd probably wait for next Halloween to stop. Wow. That's the problem. It would have been nice if I'd done Deathmark already since number two is on the way soon kind of thing. But yeah, as it is, we're probably like, we've got too many visual novels to do in a row. So we'll probably wait until next Halloween until we start Deathmark 1 if we even get permission. It's a coin-operated photo ID booth. The newest model even. The light from the photo booth spears out and illuminates the dark underpants. Underpants? Underpants. <laughs> There's no blood stains anywhere. And down the underpants. Give us the D-Man game? Hell yeah. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I'm checking everything just to be safe. The electric meter is barely moving at all going to these levels. Blah, blah, blah. There's a big crack in the shutter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everything's the same as usual. FYI, Deathmark has nudity in it. Ah, oh. I shouldn't be so bad. We've had to censor some nudity before. Uh, we played Cyberpunk what, as one of the first games we ever played. We went to one of the... <laughs> we went to one of the dolls. So yeah, we, we had sex with what was essentially a prostitute. And then we also went down Pan Am's route. So we had crazy mind meld sex with Pan Am. It was an interesting game. It was an interesting game. <laughs> The dirt. Oh, and we had sex as Johnny Silverhand. We got to see Keanu Reeves smash his girlfriend. There was a lot of sex in that game, actually. Damn. The dirty mailbox is full of dust. Something's got to be rotting deep in the gutter. It smells awful. The manhole is a little rusty. <laughs> manhole. It is a little rusty. <laughs> oh, God. What, I missed that era? Oh yeah, that was way back. Like, Cyberpunk 2077 was the first game I ever played on the channel. And my first ever gaming stream after the chatting streams was Cyberpunk. A text. I open up the message. D-Man! From D-Man. Subject, d mail 10. How are you? It's D-Man. This will be my final message. I admire your dedication for finding my analysis reports. I'd like to personally thank you, my true comrade. If you don't mind, come to the graveyard's entrance. Well, I guess he doesn't mind that I missed one of them. That's nice. I'm finally going to get to see his face. A graveyard. Probably the one not far from here. Choosing not to go home, I instead head to the place he mentioned. We're getting the D. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. If somebody texts you at midnight and they're like, Hey, I'm D-Man. Come meet me at a graveyard. M maybe you go. Maybe you go. You shouldn't go. 
But you, maybe, maybe you're a little curious. Maybe you're like, hmm. I don't want to not go. <laughs> I mean, this is the spot D Man said to be. Doesn't look like he's here yet. Calls me out. Doesn't bother to be here. Huh. I'm under no obligation to wait. Going home is starting to sound like a good idea. Just then. God, he really is D-Man. A man's voice whispers in my ear. He whispered in my ear? I did hear oh my, which just means you. It's a really disrespectful way to say you as well. How fucking dare. But yeah, he just came up behind me and just was like, hmm. Oh my. <laughs> I spin around, but no one's there. Straining my ears, I try to sense his presence. But all I hear is the wind. Just my imagination, I guess. I turn back toward the graveyard. What? What? D, D, D man? No, this isn't the guy from number one. This isn't. Well. Maybe a ghost has been guiding me all along. Maybe I've been lied to about it being the guy from number one. The D stands for dead? Dead man! It's a dead man wonderland. Also, if Pio Chan was here, the D stands for dead. And he's standing there in front of me. So, this is the elusive D man. Ashen face, unfocused eyes, a bloodstained shirt. And an aura that can't possibly be human. Is he... dead? I study him as he slowly approaches me. Um, yeah, I'd say those eyes bulging out of his head and the purple skin with all the, like, blood coagulation. Yeah, yeah, he pretty dead. <laughs> um, uh, uh, did you scare me? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Hello. Did I scare you? I mean, I'm kind of into it. No. Well. No. Would. Wouldn't. Really wouldn't. Really would. Um, neutral. Let's just keep neutral. I guess you're used to stuff like this by now. <laughs> no. Excuse me. And while I'm apologizing... Please allow me to say how nice it is to meet you. This is the first time we've met, but he's being so friendly with me like I'm a long lost pal. Guess he's taken a liking to me after sending all those texts. My real name is Hiro Aratama. Sorry to meet you like this, but in life I was the desk editor for Ooh Parts Monthly. That is the thing from the first game. I know that for a fact. The main guy from the first game was working for that magazine. So is this like one of his friends? Oh yeah, no, he constantly said my colleague. I misunderstood. I, he constantly said my colleague has dealt with cases like this before. So he's just somebody else who works for the same newspaper. Frick, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've been lying to myself this whole time and good job on Confidence for not spoiling me on that. Me constantly being like, oh, D-Man's clearly the guy from the first game. I just misunderstood. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Desk man. Oh. Desk man. So. D man. I want to express my thanks to you. But I also have one thing I want to confirm. His cheerful voice suddenly turns serious. Wait. No. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't question me on the 10th cards. I didn't, I didn't get number nine. Oh, fuck. I'm going to die here. It's about my writings. You always seem so interested in them. To that point, what do you truly want to do? That's what I want to know. Who do you truly wish to become? I pray that you don't disappoint me. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, at least I don't need all the cards. Graduate from high school, explore the untapped world. Become an urban legend too. That's kind of badass. This is probably the correct answer, but I'm going with this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too cool. What are you gonna do, buddy? You gonna murder me? It's okay. We can we can rewind time. Yeah, fuck. You'd rather 
Become a spirit and join me then. All right. I will grant that wish myself. An invisible force begins squeezing my whole body with intense pressure. Harder, Daddy. Goodbye. Ah! Well, that was faster than I expected. And they never give me a fucking CG when it's just me. Give me a CG, damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you knew what was happening. Come on, you knew that was going to happen. Okay, we knew the right answer. Explore the untapped world. Nang, nang, nang. Bum, 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 bum. The unknown. I want to explore the untapped world. That was written on the first D card I found. I bet he wanted me to become a fellow explorer of the untapped world. That's gotta be the answer he's looking for. Oh. Wonderful. You're exactly the man I expected. From now on, the untapped world will welcome you. That sounds like a threat, my dude. <laughs> does, does that mean ghosts are going to just continuously be haunting me? Explore the untapped world. You have a weird... You have a weird friend now. You're still mine now. Okay, Kakia. I don't belong to no one. I can do what I want. The goddess. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Thank you for everything. I have one last report to give you. Now then, may you remain in good health until the day you arrive at the abyss of the untapped world. And with that, he vanishes. Where he was standing is a familiar looking card. Same D card. What would this one even be? I mean, I got Kakuya even. I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Yaki Yagyo. Okay. Your, poly your apologies for alarming you earlier. <laughs> I was so happy to finally meet you that I asked what I shouldn't have. Who I am is just what I told you before. I'm Hiro Aratama. Oh my god, this is six pages long. Oh, why did I do this voice? Former desk editor for the Oop Arts Monthly. Many of my acquaintance, like Mr. K, are familiar with the paranormal. No blame on them, but I often get carried away. That's how I'm like this. <laughs> I always felt bad about dying. It caused trouble for the editorial department and the magazine's readers. That is... What a fucking sad thing to say. I felt bad about dying because it, it caused trouble to the people around me at my job. Holy shit, dude. That's so sad. I decide I'm ecstatic to welcome you as a fellow explorer of the untapped world. I'd like to start out by sharing information with you on Hyakiyagyo, what we're currently after. Do you know what Hyakiyagyo is? It's the march of evil spirits of rivers and mountains, much like those found in ancient tales of this country. It sounds like the Wild Hunt. It's a piece of fiction, but the Hyakiyagyo we're after isn't. Would you believe me if I said a large group of spirits like those you faced used to march along this land of Musashino a long time ago? Musashino? Hmm. <laughs> With the goofy voice. I know, right? The poor boy. <laughs> it's your right and duty to affirm everything paranormal, including my bizarre stories, as I don't have to convince you now. Back to Yakiyagyo. We believe the center of the covered up historical incidents is a certain presence. It has the power to create dangerous spirits. I'm sure someone has come to mind. It's cock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the baby girl. I, I'm going to adopt her. G give me time. Give me time. I'll make her less evil. I, it, it worked with Morgana eventually. It'll work with her. It's Kakuya, or more accurately, the Kaguya doll. A doll with similar powers was connected to the Mark case in H City. These doll spirits are considered the core of what causes the Hyaki Yagyo. We assume a death march occurs when doll spirits gather the dead and turn them into spirits. But we don't know much about these dolls yet. Yet. <laughs> All of the families from the Edo period associated... Edo? Edo period associated with dolls have disappeared and passed down items were lost in the war. The only possible lead we might have... To, uh, we might get is for you to ask the doll spirit directly. But you must be very careful. You'll soon reach the end of Kakia's game. If you observe closely, you can learn new information. 
That said, don't end up like me. If worst comes to worst, put your own safety first. Oh, that rhymed. I like that. <laughs> now, I still have much to say to you, but look how I am. Sadly, I have some place I need to be. But thank you for keeping me company all this time. I'll tell my acquaintances about you when I get a chance. Goodbye, Legatus. Until we meet again. Demon! Oh, yuck! Okay, buddy. <laughs> I love the demon parade. Hell yeah. I wish to join it. It does sound the, like the wild hunt. I've never heard of the Hyaki Yagyo. Does Hyaki come from 100? Is it something like 100 Demon March or something? Um, Is the demon parade? The 100 Ghost Parade. Oh, thank you, Kyrie of the Stars. Yeah, I thought. But Shaku is 100, right? What a workaholic. Yeah, <laughs> he really cared, man. So, this is finally the end. The abyss of the untapped world. What's that supposed to mean? Wondering the meaning behind his words, I walk home. Visit Momo. I want to find out if she's still in a coma. And you're on Natsumi too. Don't worry about Ami. Anyway, when I get home, I immediately head to the bathroom and take a hot shower. I can still feel that lukewarm sensation from the blood that spurted when I cut the demon Tsukiyomi. I want to wash that off as soon as possible. It is interesting the blood on his face doesn't do anything to him. It's only when he touches it with his hands. I guess the other guy said he had power in his hands too, the novelist. He said he lost the power in his hands. He didn't tell us what the other power was. He talked about the one power in one hand, but he said there was a different power in the other hand. I, want, I wonder what the other power was. I haven't seen Kakia since the day she told me about the Killer Peach game. The fact that she hasn't shown up despite the fact that I took Army back makes me feel uneasy. But Kakia's curse appeared. What's going on? Maybe Kakia's still watching me even though I can't see her. From beyond this mirror. From the realm of the dead. Or maybe she's possessed Army. Either one works. That's right. Where'd that thing go? That thing? I search my drawers, shelves, and under the bed, and quickly find that. Ah, oh, the little Kakuya doll. Okay. In the blood metry vision I had, Masaru Ishimaru was holding this doll. It's definitely the same one. In that vision, Yakumo Moroku said, Oh, that? That's just junk now. Now that I'm the last successor of the Moroku family. It definitely looks like just junk, but its appearance is similar to Kakia's. That's bugging me. You brought the doll into the room, no, long, no wonder super haunted? Yeah, I wonder if that's why the random ghost came to visit us too. Maybe it sensed the Kakuya and just came. The Kaguya doll. I'll think about it later. I need to get up early in the morning to go pick Army up. I better go to sleep. Spirit file demon, Tsukiyomi has been up there. Oh god, that's creepy. I don't like it. Goodbye. <laughs> Omi, why did he bring it in his crib? I mean, safer than leaving it elsewhere, I guess. It might have been important. Okay. I saved here, which might be a bad end. But what was the most other recent one? 2410. Okay, that one. So I'll save over this one, which was the earliest one. I definitely don't need this one anymore. Okay. To bed. Time to turn in for tonight. I wonder how much longer this game's got. I I thought it would only be like four hours of gameplay. But if we've got a whole nother day... Oof. Collapsing on the bed, I shut my eyes. A bunch of things happened tonight. Some of it shocking. I would have sworn I was going to find myself awake for hours after shutting my eyes. I must be exhausted. My consciousness quickly fades away. Me 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 I mean no we just saved we're good not too much longer I believe one more chapter not long not long from my memory let's go okay that's good to hear so it's just gonna be like a short chapter cool we got to find out what happened with Kaguya though holy crap 
Afternoon, I go to the hospital to pick Army up. What is wrong with this dude? He's like, I have to wake up early tomorrow to pick up Army. Afternoon? He didn't even wake up before midday. He didn't... Okay, okay. God, teenagers, man. I wake up at 8 a.m. every morning. How dare you? The doctor explains the results to me, but... Despite clearly being in a weakened state, the brain infrequently exhibits theta waves. Obviously, I don't understand any of that. Her brain don't work so good. It, she been dead. She been dead. <laughs> Early for him, 1 p.m. Apparently, he's so real for that. You know, I can't even deny, like, back when I was 18, hell yeah. The whole way through, like, probably, like, 13 to 21, I didn't want to wake up any time before midday either. And then you stay up to, like, 3 to 4 a.m. every day. <laughs> That's, that's just teenage things. After I promised to bring her in for regular exams, the doctor finally releases her. Then after paying Aunt Natsumi a quick visit, it somehow already became sunset. My dude, you've wasted another day. I love this guy. <laughs> he just manages to just spend his time doing nothing, but so quickly. When we arrive at Kisoji, Ami badges me into a huge shopping trip at the nearby supermarket. We stock up not only on food and candy, but also a change of clothes and toothbrush for Army. I don't have much to s uh, I don't have much say since she'll be staying with me for a while, and by the end my arms are full. Um, big brother, want me to help carry a grocery bag? Oh, she's adorable. She didn't even offer to carry two. She was just like, I guess I can carry one, big brother. <laughs> she's so cute. No, I got it. And I can take that paper bag. It looks pretty light. She's staring at the black paper bag I have. Apparently, Oe left it at the hospital this morning when she went to visit Army. It contains everything that Aunt Natsumi had on her when she collapsed. The police had it submitted as evidence, but they'd finished examining it all. According to Oe, she put a report in there too as a little gift to me. <laughs> Yay. She's still doing illegal shit for us. That's nice. <laughs> I told you. I've got it, Army. You gotta save your strength to get better. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you handle it. Thanks. Oh, she's so sweet. I love my possessed by an evil doll spirit little sister. Army and I walked side by side as we head to my apartment. We did the exact same thing just three weeks ago. And it feels like it's been an eternity since then. She was missing for three weeks? Holy crap, my dude. That's wild. Oh, yeah. Big brother? Whatever happened to that black postcard? Oh, man. Yeah, that was weird. Bamboo. Let's play bamboo. Let's play bamboo. Okay, I remember this time. <laughs> The black postcard I got from Kakia. The cursed invitation that got Ami and I wrapped up in Kakia's games. If I hadn't picked up that postcard back then, would my fate have changed? I don't really remember. To be honest, that postcard just vanished at some point. Maybe it ended up getting tossed with the rest of my junk mail. Oh, that's too bad. I had a fun riddle. It's just Let's Play. But there's like a double O and a B and there's no B or double O in Let's Play. Maybe it's Let's Play and then something random, but I thought it was Let's Play Bamboo. We rest for a bit after getting home and I make a stir fry at Army's request. It's not like it's especially fancy or anything, but Army looks delighted as she eats it. You cut the bamboo out my brain i don't think they ever actually explained that in the game if they did i'm just a dumb and read over it and just forgot it immediately Ugh. after taking another little break army says that she'll wash the dishes now that i remember it was always army's job to do the dishes on days when i made the food but she's still recovering so i try to keep her from overexerting herself but she just yells it's my job and won't listen to a thing i say in the end, I throw in the towel and let her do it. Army explained it at the beginning. Oh my god. 
freaking eight-year-old explained it to me and I was just like, huh? I don't know what you mean, small child. Anyway, let's play bamboo. <laughs> the rabbit keeps... Oh. The rabbit keeps running, chasing after the stars. Oh, she's singing Wonder Rabbits. Aww. I can hear Army start to sing in the kitchen. Wait, no, play the music file. I want to hear her sing that. She's having a good time washing the plates. She seems weirdly excited. But I guess that's better than her being all depressed over Aunt Natsumi. All right, what should I do in the meantime? Dive into that bag. For one thing, probably has some secrets. But also... <laughs> um... Um... I need to check my character files. Really need to stop. That would make sense to be the character files. Okay, so there's an updated Folga Legardus. He grew up a single parent child, but after his mother passed two years ago. Shit, his mother passed when he was only 16. Fuck me. Mazukayo. 18 years old, April 4th. You were born on 4 4? My dude, no, long, no wonder you're cursed. I had 180 ACM. He's a big boy. 80 kilograms. Martial arts in general, tough opponents and chicken. <laughs> Just like sweet things. Yo, we got that in common. Five time first place winner of martial arts championship. Abilities, class, fighter level 72. What? That's a that's a JRPG. <laughs> High school student level five. <laughs> Does that mean he's a fifth year or is that just how low he is? Physique, 16. Intelligence, five. Dexterity, six. You should have better dexterity than that as a fighter. I've seen you dodge flying chains and fucking spears and shit. Spirit energy, 13. Skill, right, straight, combo. His personal best is eight. Eight punches per sec. One minute. Dude, I can only do like three in a second. You... Holy shit, dude. Equipment. Bloodstained leather gloves. So many opponents have bled on them that they smell a bit. Dude, clean your fucking gloves. What are you doing? Nickname Prince of Threats. Mazuina. What's wrong, buddy? What's disgusting? Um, 18 years old, June 9th. 184 cm. Okay, he's not that much smaller. He's only 6 cm smaller. Wait, he was 188. I was thinking 190 for some reason. They're pretty close together. He's a lot smaller in weight though. <laughs> 71 kilograms. Hobbies, threatening while merrymaking. <laughs> likes fruit. I fucking know he likes fruit. He is kind of fruity, but he also likes older women. Okay, so he is in fact bi. That's fair. That's fair. Dislikes ghosts in a cult. Legend, merging the color gangs. Oh, he brought all the color gangs together? Sick. Ability. Oh, for anyone who doesn't know what a color gang is, I think that's like a classic Japanese um, br 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 thing that a lot of people might know. The color gangs were just like gangs in Japan that used to all just wear like different colors. They'd have like the blue gang, the red gang, the green gang. I mainly know that shit from Ikekaburo Westgate Park, which was all about color gangs. Technically also, da -da 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 yeah, da -da, da 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 has that as well. But Ikebukuro Ike Westgate Park was pretty wrapped up in that as well. Watched that J drama when I was like 15 or something. Holy crap, that was forever ago. That had Yamapi in it too. Skills. Supplemental shooting plus 50%. Sees through others to accurately hit their weakest points. <laughs> Equipment. Crest of the Yamanome family. Using this puts fear into non-members. Fuck yeah. Okay, that one did not update. Or nor that one, nor that one, nor that one. Army did though. Oh. I don't like that. Why why is she gotta be crying? <laughs> is Ike Bakura West good? I could not tell you. Like I said, it was more than ten years ago I watched that. It was forever ago. I know they did an anime adaptation as well. I remember it being like very dramatic and like emo. There was like a lot of murder and attacks and stuffs. Age, 10 years old. Birthday, November 22nd. I 145cm. She tiny. Actually, for a 10-year-old, that's pretty tall. Shit, she's going to be a tall lady. Weight, 38 kilograms. Hobbies, cheering for Momo Karuse. Aw, likes her brother's cooking. Aww. Just like scary things. Aw, you, you're okay. You're, you'll be fine. Legend, has talked to a dog with a human face. Oh, <laughs> 
Elementary school student level 23. Okay, she's doing well in school. Sister level 75. That's adorable. I like these little JRPG stats. Physique 5. Intelligence 9. Dexterity 6. Spirit energy 13. She's got equal spirit energy to me. Holy shit. Skills replicate Momo's dance. She might be better than Momo Kuruse herself. Oh, Equipment peak headphones. Ami cherishes her gift from Yuri Takamura. That's so cute. Oh, uh, did I get anyone for Natsumi? She really hits you with the Ada. Nice. 33 year old. Damn. I'm close. Close. Give me a month and a half. Yeah, yeah give me, well, well, how long? Yeah, give me a month and a half and then I'm only one year younger. Birthday, July 14th. Height, 165 cm. Weight, 53. Reading and writing novels. Likes army smile. Oh, Dislikes managing the bar. Legend. Won Yasuoka Literary Award three years in a row. Three? Fuck, dude. That's impressive. Rider level 40. Yeah, honestly, she's the Stephen King of this story. Subclass. Owner level six. She can own me anytime. <laughs> Physique eight. Intelligence 13. Lots of intelligence. I guess that makes sense. She has a lot of knowledge. Dexterity seven. Spirit energy eight. Skills. Resistance against sleepiness. Yeah, you gotta have that when you're a mommy. Uh, during deadline, she can... Oh, and as a rider, I guess. She can go three days without sleep. Equipment. Highest quality wedding band. Memento left by her late husband. Oh. I don't know where it is because it's not on her left hand ring finger. Maybe she's got it like on a necklace or maybe she just keeps it in like a pouch or something somewhere. That's cute. Bum, 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 bum. Mitsuru Murahashi. Yeah, for some reason... He, somehow we updated him. Age 22. You're only 22? My dude, you had a rough life. September 29th, 166 cm. Hobbies, getting by. <laughs> you know what? Fair shit, man. We all just do what we can to survive. Cheering for Momo Kuruse. Likes curry and hamburger steak. <laughs> Dislikes going on a diet. Come on, man. Legend. First leader of Red Crest. Oh, shit. So he must have been one of the leaders of one of the color gangs. And then he ended up like few combining with them after Seiji united everyone. Class thug level 13. Subclass motorcycle gang level 42. Holy shit. Physique 10. Intelligence 5. Wait, is that higher than mine? Dexterity 6, Spirit Energy 9. Skills, Red Crest. One call summons hundreds of gang members. Equipment, slightly dirty jersey sweats. He lives at the office as he's short on money. I miss Murahashi. Maruhashi, I always say Murahashi. Yoroshu, tanomu de. Oh, one more time. Yes, ma'am. Bio, age 27 years old. Really? Uh, nine years age difference. Eh. Birthday, May 5th. Height, 175 cm. Damn. She could really step on some people. <laughs> wow, she's really light as well. 57 kilograms. Hobbies, execute justice. Likes criminals. Um, Dislikes rules and accepted practice. Legend, graduated top student at the police academy. Damn. Police officer level 31. No subclass. She's all about being a police officer in justice. Holy shit. Physique 13. Intelligence 8. Dexterity 7. Spirit energy 9. That's not bad. Pressuring using <laughs> skills. Pressuring using Kansai dialect. She hasn't gone home in many years. <laughs> yeah, she still has the dialect. Let's go. Equipment. Worn police identification notebook. Effective against criminals as well as civilians. Yeah, that's a threat right there. Remind me of my intelligence. Five. I've got the same intelligence as Maruhashi. I am offended. I. Holy fucking. Oh. There's a paper bag on my bed. You know what? No. Now that finally makes sense out of why it was so hard to win the logic questions in this game. My intelligence is five. That's why it always gave me stupid responses and stupid answers. Ugh, army has eight intelligence. I'm dumber than my 10-year-old sister. I now know the answer as to whether I'm dumber than a 10-year-old. 
It got Aunt Natsumi's clothes and purse inside. Don't wongy wongy it, Legatus. That would be weird. Oh, right. The cops analyzed them. Mommy said OA included the report. Should I read it? Hell yeah! Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da. As I'm looking through the bag, I immediately find a manila envelope. Inside are a number of official looking documents. <laughs> True. She did explain the bamboo cutter riddle. She is a smart little fifth grader. The letters are so small that looking at them makes my head hurt, but I start to read it anyway. It has detailed descriptions and analyses on Aunt Nasumi's personal belongings and clothes. There's some sensitive info in there too, so it's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah! Wait. Bloodstain reaction. I quickly find the full sentence. Small bloodstain found on the lining of the skirt. Her leg must have been skinned when she fell. When she fell, must be talking about when Aunt Natsumi collapsed after calling me. If I use blood metry on that blood, I might be able to figure out what happened to her. Oh, we're going to see her get attacked by army, aren't we? And then we're going to realize, oh, this isn't actually army. I search the paper bag and take out her skirt. I turn it over and sure enough, there's a dark stain. I put my fingers on the small blood stain and focus. But Ami's still going to be fine, right? We can unpossess her, right? Surely there's some sort of ritual. Yeah, I'm not home. I'm sorry. Olga, are you there? This must be from her viewpoint. <laughs> I would give the Wongi that skirt. God damn it, Ren. <laughs> she knocks on my door, but apparently I'm not there. I'm so sorry, Folga. You have a key. I, I, I clearly trust you to go into that room. You're good. She takes out the copy of the key I gave her, opens the door, and walks inside. The mirror. The mirror. If Maroku's book is right, Army's inside the mirror. I join mirrors. I'm sure Army will. Arara? Huh? It's Volga. Uh, hello? I just got to your. Ah, oh, Natsumi, listen to me. I found a black postcard on your desk. Where'd you find it? It, it was on the ground in front of the bar. I thought someone dropped it, so I picked it up just in case. Anyway, I need to tell you, Folga. I figured it out. I know. Know what? You don't mean... the realm of the dead? Yes, exactly. It's in Moroku's Nagoshino... Nagoshino Gi. I don't know why I can't say that word. It's in Moroku's Nagoshino Gi, the realm of the dead. If what it says is true, Ami... Ami is... Inside the mirror. Imagine hearing yourself in a vision. Even worse, imagine if she was thinking some mad shit. Because we can hear her thoughts right now as well. Imagine if she was coming into the bedroom and she was like... Oh god, I didn't want to come in here. He is a strange child. I hope he doesn't have creepy anime porn everywhere. Oh, already pictures of me. That would be even weirder. <laughs> shit like that? You're just like... And Natsumi, what the fuck? <laughs> mirror... I'm going to save Army. So hurry and join. Huh? What is this feeling? It's so hard to breathe. Oh, I can do that. Shit, they're already gone. No. What is this? As her consciousness fades, I can hear the sound of the bathroom door opening behind her. Army, 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 army. Is someone behind me? Her consciousness dims as she turns around. Fucking knew it. 
They shouldn't have given that away in the achievement. Uh, me? They shouldn't have given that away in the achievement. We were all thinking it before that anyway. It felt like way too suspicious that she suddenly came home and shit, but yeah, this is just a new part of the game. And that she like didn't show up for the next curse and that she's acting a bit weird and doesn't remember some things. But yeah, actually putting it in the achievement, like, let's play again, big brother. The army's not army. No, I think Kagi has like possessed her somehow. Maybe she just made a doll that looks like army. Just transferred her soul into that. I can't collect my thoughts. What? What's going on? Army? Attacked on Natsumi? Uh, army? We really did get a bad end. Holy shit. Army isn't here. What? Where is she? Army! Where'd you go? Army isn't here either. I thought Army was trapped in the bathroom mirror in the realm of the dead. And the day after our Natsumi collapsed, that night I helped Army out of the mirror. So then, why? Why was Army outside it before I saved her? Oh. Army? Big brother? You saw, didn't you? I guess I've been found out. What's that mean? My throat is dry. My voice is hoarse and hardly manages to work. Oh well. I had no choice, you know. Mom was getting in the way. What are you saying? I mean, it's true. If mom hadn't come here, then I could have stayed here in your apartment forever. I wanted to be alone with you. Okay. She's not a ghost. She's just, you know, she's got a bit of a brother complex. This is fine. This is fine. We can deal with this. We can... Some, some separation, some therapy. We can work on this. Just you and me. Alone together, with you, forever and ever. Sweat drips down my back, my and my crack. I can't move, like my whole body is frozen. And it's hard to breathe. Oh shit, she's choking us to death too. Honey, chan Together, forever, come with me. Oh, that's creepy as shit, my dude. I love you so much. What is she made out of? It looked like her skin was cracking and revealing green shit. Oh, it's a good sprite though. Very impressed. A cold breeze brushes my cheek. I stagger back to my feet. Oh, welcome to the land of the dead. Everything's mirror reversed. Let's go. Where am I? This place doesn't feel real. It seems vaguely familiar, but at the same time, it doesn't. What am I doing here? Look like cracked porcelain. Yeah, with a bunch of corpses sewn together? Could be. Could be like a dead body made to look like army and then like porcelain over top to keep it like all looking like skin. My head pounds when I try to remember. All my thoughts are fuzzy. It's almost like I'm dreaming. None of this feels real. Yeah. No way they're back. Oh, holy shit, dudes. 
We already done did this. <laughs> a whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a child named Kaguya who lived in the realm of the dead. Kaguya had a daddy. Kaguya loved her daddy so very much. Kaguya's friends were the tiny dolls her daddy gave her. Her previous daddy and the one before that, they all gave her tiny dolls. Is she talking about the Moroku family? They all gave her tiny dolls. Moroku, the rider, had a tiny little doll version of her. Oh, yeah. So they could... Originally, they could put their energy into the tiny little Kaguya dolls and keep her appeased that way. But then when Moroku's powers failed, he had to start killing, killing girls and turning them into dolls and using their resentment. So full-size dolls. Fuck. Those tiny dolls were... Kaguya's best friends. What the hell is going on? What should I do? Remember. You definitely don't want to rest a bit. Remember. My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No. That's not right. What should I do? Look for Kakuya. That's right. I... I have to look for her, for Kakuya. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. Oh, I'm home, in the mirror world. The next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. It feels familiar here too. I can hear a shower running behind the frosted glass door. Momo! Over the sound of water flowing, someone's singing. Oh yeah, she disappeared from the bathroom too. No, she didn't. No, that was in the bad end. In the bad end, she had a shower. She got hit by lightning in the good path. Over the sound of the water, someone's singing. I should know that voice, but I can't remember who it is. Maybe she's been waiting for me here in my shadow home. Is someone there? Hey. Answer me. Crusade. My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No. That's not... What I really should do is... Hey. Answer me. Um, but I want to answer. She might have the wig. Oh, shit. That's right, big brother. You shouldn't talk to that girl. That hussy girl flirts with all kinds of guys. She'll contaminate you. Kaki is much prettier. What the fuck is this scenario? I didn't know Kaki liked me in this way. I thought she liked torturing me. Holy shit, dude. Big bro. Who's more important to you? Kaki? Or oh, that posse girl. I open my mouth to reply, but I can't remember her name. But I have to resist Kakio, or she'll devour my heart. Oh shit! Good luck, the final episode traumatized me. Yay! Kakio, the hussy girl? Kakia? Ki. Haruki. Haruki. Ku. 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 Fuck. I can't remember names. I remember Momo Karuse. I don't remember her actual... Hazuki. Hazuki. Her name is Hazuki. That's her real name. Kakuya. Fuck. No. 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 Kuruse Momo. It was Kuku. God, fuck. Kakuya. That's right, big brother. You're really important to Kakuya, too. Akia loves you. Honestly, give me the bad end, CG. Come on, come on. Uh, show me Kakia just holding me in bed to death. Love. Something breaks 
inside my heart. Aww. Can't even remember your wig girl's name. I remember the name of the wig. The wig is Momo. <laughs> Oh shit, we, we're gonna keep going down this path. Okay, show me bad end. I like this. Maybe I will get my CG. As my consciousness fades. <laughs> Gone, broke on. <laughs> A hard, cold feeling engulfs my whole body. I hear Kaguya's voice beside me. Kidra, play with Kakia. Alone forever. And ever, and ever, forever, never, forever, never, forever, never, forever. Kind of into it. Kind of into it. <laughs> I like me some Yandere's. Yeah, okay. Try again? Sure. This time I remember her name. Hazuki. <laughs> Hazukashi. Hazuki. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. It feels familiar here too. Okay. Fast forward. What if I don't answer? Does that give me an insta bad end? I gotta know. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Um, we still could be okay. I mean, we didn't get the her calling out to us multiple times. Key! Good. <laughs> this may be okay. I mean, she's just we just didn't have a slightly longer conversation. How's the key? Oh, that was nice and easy. If I remembered her name, give me Momo Karuse, damn it. The hussy girl is better than Kakuya? Big bro, you've been seduced by that evil pig, haven't you? Okay then, all Kakuya has to do is erase her from inside you. That sounds worrying. Don't drown her! Holy fuck! Whoa! We're back to the turtle scene. Was there always that much blood? I do not remember there being that much blood. Holy shit. But we avoided this bad end. Uh, this is a key. I know her. The idol who helped me. Kaoru Hazuki. Oh, good. None of that was real. I've been here. What in the world is going on? Akia must be behind this. But what's she after? Oh, are they going to be laughing this time? They went from whispering, now they're going to be laughing, and then they're going to be screaming. Yeah, we're speeding through this day. Yeah, there we go. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. It's all... It's almost the finale of the tale. It wasn't long until Kaguya had a new daddy. Unlike any of the old daddies, the new one gave her a little girl doll. One doll followed by another, and another still. And when Kaguya received her fourth doll, she was surprised. This time, the doll was a grown-up. Kaguya played with the grown-up doll. Grown-ups themselves became interesting. Kaguya wanted to play with her daddy who she loved. Her daddy said no. But Kaguya played with her daddy regardless. Then soon after, daddy disappeared. <laughs> One. A voice. 
I can kind of tell it's talking about Kakuya, but other than that, I have no idea what it's saying. My head feels like a big empty void. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. He gave her a fully grown woman. Who does he mean? Who does she mean? Who does the story mean? I remember the... Wait, is it tied into the mother? The mother of... Um, the, the one who burned people? No, it can't be that. It can't be that. But definitely, they're talking about the author killing little girls and giving them to Kakia. But then he gave her a grown-up girl, an adult girl. I can't think... No, no, no. Don't say it. Do not say it. Um, I'm just thinking out loud. I never want my thoughts out loud to lead to spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's just... Or is the girls turned into dolls? Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's girls. It's the girls he murdered. The, the, the arsonist guy kidnapped the little girls, brought them to the author. The author turned them... Well, the author made dolls, but then also essentially attached their spirits of the dead girls to them. The peasant? Who's the peasant? How old are the girls again? They're up different ages. They were all quite young, though. They were all like 8 to 12 kind of thing. The last Moroku CG, he was working on an adult, no? I couldn't tell. I'm not going to lie. I didn't look at the body. I mainly looked at the doll because that's where he was. I didn't really pay attention to whether the body beside it was adult or small. Remember the swan ghost? The arsonist had Kakuya's case, so maybe him? Kakuya's, oh, Kakuya's curse. Swan ghost, swan ghost, swan ghost. I don't remember the swan ghost. <laughs> anyway, well, before I realize it, I'm standing at a railroad crossing. I feel like I know this place too. Who's this? <gasps> oh no, they're going to show me Seiji's. Did we even see Seiji's death? I can't remember. We definitely had a Maruhashi death. We might have had a Seiji death in the second one. Yo, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's wrong? You can hear me, right? It's rude to not reply when someone's talking to you. The tree one. Oh, shit. No, you right. You right. Thanks. I meant crane girl wasn't adult. Yeah, no, all the, all the, all the bird girls were like little girls who did um, ballet. In the Screaming Author chapter, they did say the last victim T was older. I wonder why. Why did they switch it up to an adult? Maybe it was just a mistake. Maybe he just needed one. And yeah, they uh, they got an adult, and that just made Kakia interested in adults. And then she killed her. She killed Moroku himself, and she decided she liked adults, so she started killing random other people as well. I don't know. Answer when someone's talking to you. My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No, that's not it. What I really should do is... It's rude to not reply when someone's talking to you. Answer when someone's talking to you. Yeah, we can't reply the second time anyway. So choosing not to reply to these guys is just like a shortcut. I hang up the phone. Asobi. Uh-oh. I thought it was going to be Asobi, Michelle. Have respect of your elders. Oh, no, she's way older than me. She might be centuries old. That's right, Olga. You shouldn't even talk to someone like me. That Yakuza punk takes advantage of you. You'll end up dishonest like he is. Kakuya is nicer. Olga. The Yakuza punk or Kakuya? Who's more important? Seiji Amanome. I remember your name fully. Seiji Amanome. I got this. The Yakuza Punk or Kakuya? Kaku. Amaname. Kakuya. No, Amaname. I got this. This one I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Momo Kruse has two names and I never really focused on the Hazuki one. Kaoru Hazuki. I always focused on Momo Kruse because that's the one that has the wig on. Um, uh, no me. And they were cheating by putting Ku as one of the answers. Ku is for Kuruse. <laughs> it's 
so. You like the Yakuza Punk more than Kakia? Kakia is sure that hooligan blackmailed you. Okay then, all Kakia has to do is erase him from inside you. <laughs> a scream echoes from a short distance away. So shit, we didn't even have to do the bad ends all these times. We get the CGs this... Oh, yeah, no, I do remember that. Fuck. I, I think I blocked that shit out of my memory. Oh, Seiji, no. Ah. Uh, ma. No. May. Well, that means I'm going to have to censor the last one, because the last one is very, very nudity-filled. <laughs> I know who this is my best friend since elementary Seiji Amanome just like sand spilling between my fingers my memories of Amanome slowly fade away I can't even remember his face anymore it's possible I've lost other precious memories as well Oh, here she comes. Her song has started out. <laughs> oh, good evening. Did you make sure to forget everyone important to you other than Kakuya? No, technically I also have, I unlocked the ultimate ones for like Oe and for Ami and for my auntie Natsumi. So no, I've still got many memories. Fuck you. In Ami's memories, it was just those two, right? Ah, uh, me. Oh yeah, that is corpse stuff. And she's got like frog's eggs growing out of her arms. Oh, yuck. Or maybe that's just supposed to be bulging, like, pestules? Ugh. Yeah. Kakuya was army. Kakuya wanted to be with you. So she was made to give up her body. Oh, she really was possessed. Shit. But army isn't needed anymore. So... Kakuya threw her outside. You threw my fucking army where? Outside where? Outside? Then, where am I? <laughs> Kakurio. Kakurio. The realm of the dead. It's the world inside the mirror. I must have been pulled in here after army started acting strange. That's probably why. My head feels so blank. Here in Kakuryo, it's just you and Kakuya. Just the two of us. Together. Even after you die. Damn you. Are you planning to kill me? <laughs> Kakuya loves you dead or alive so let's play forever and ever <laughs> i mean three options and all of them are like <laughs> basically saying no in various levels of fuck you um get me the hell out of here not even if it kills me hell no hell no my head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No. That's not it. I really meant to say. Let's play. Forever. And ever. Oh shit. We're gonna have to go through all the options. Let's fucking go. Also, people are asking, does that mean army got thrown outside is like into the living world? I don't know. I'm worried about that. Like, if she got thrown outside this world into the living world, that's good for Army at least. But I'm more worried that she's talking about, like, throwing her soul outside when she took over her body. 
Because she said she took her body, so... Where did Army's soul go at that point kind of thing? Not even if it kills me! My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No. That's not it. I really meant to say... Let's play forever. And ever. Get me the hell out of here! My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No. That's not it. I really meant to say... Let's play forever. And ever. Ah, so be my show. <laughs> hey. What the hell am I saying? It's like I'm a puppet dancing under the control of Kakuya. At this rate, she's gonna... Oh yeah. Kakuya. Got a grown-up doll. From Daddy. I do not like that sentence. I... I need an adult! I need an adult! Elsewhere! So... Kakuya learned a lot about grown up. I'm getting ready to censor this. This shit's going wild. Um. Duh. No, 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 no. They play secret games. Have fun without children. Sake. Cigars. And, you know. <laughs> Why does any of that matter? I do not consent. God damn it. I do not consent. That's a bad touch. That's a no, 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 no. I'd show you on the doll where she touched me, but she is a fucking doll, and that would be me touching her. You see, Akuya loves you and wants to have fun with you the way grown ups do. Oh. What the hell are you saying? I'm so ready to fucking censor. Um, um, in fact, oh god, what can I even... Yeah. That's... what... what... why... Uh, uh, Kakuya is... Uh, also... Uh, going to be... Grown up. Okay, that I can deal with. Okay, come at me, monster girl. I was just scared you were going to take the fucking clothes off. No, this I'm good with. Ooh, she's got three legs. That's, that's fun. Three legs, three arms. Wood. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I mean, this is better than long. Wow. What? What the fuck? The childlike Kakuya doll. It transformed into a deformed monster. Monster? I mean, I was monster. Only way I can describe it is bizarre. Well, it looks like a third arm and leg from a female are growing at odd angles out of a small torso. Three thighs. Hell yeah. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. The monster that was Kakia seems unused to its grown-up body. Her steps as she stumbles closer are awkward, like she's learning how to walk. I... I... can still... Do we want to, though? I mean... No, you dick! You didn't give me an option. I, I wanted to see this bad end, damn it. My feet are moving before I finish the thought. Most important thing right now is to gain as much time as possible. Enough time to figure out a way to escape from her. The insanity flowing from her is menacing, with a crazy obsession towards me. If I'm caught, it'll be the end for me. Get some help, foo. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I want to get some help from Kakuya. <laughs> Back here again. Where's Kakuya? My sense is on high alert. I search for any presence nearby. I don't think she's here yet. What do I do now? 
If this is the realm of the dead, then how do I escape from here? That's the world army had been trapped in. Because I faced the mirrors to each other from the outside, she was able to get out, but... No. It wasn't Army I saved. It had been Kakia. She switched places with Army. I can only guess at why Kakia switched with her. Maybe her plan was to pretend to be Army and live with me as my little sister. But me finding out ruined things and she had to pull out the drastic measures. Kakia's obsessed with me. If I think about it, it's been this way since the start. She kidnapped Army to get me involved with Kakia's game. Oh, shit. What's up, Rat Raid? What is up, Nakarats? And what is up, Kunai? I hope you had a good day. Rat Raid, I hope you had a good stream, Foga. Thank you so much. Um, Just pre-warning. Uh, pre-warning for anybody who does stay. And feel free to leave if you don't want to. We are playing a horror visual novel. And currently, we're in, like, I'd imagine the final hour of the game. Like, we are very near the end. Um, Big thing... Uh. We're currently being chased by a doll that originally looked like a child, but is a couple hundred years old, which has now turned into a monster made of dead flesh, which wants to kill us by snoo snoo. They're trying to death by snoo snoo us. She's gone yandere and she's trying to snoo snoo us to death. So uh, keep that in mind. Like <laughs> if you're interested in the story, you can watch the VODs from the beginning. It's a very good game. The game starts. Oh wait, I just spoiled everything. I spoiled everything because I wanted you guys to leave if you're uncomfortable, but yeah, I fucked up. Um, I should have done the other thing first. Uh, but yeah, this is... This, basically, this is fucked up scenes. Um, really good game, though. Really good game. Worth playing by yourself if you're interested or worth watching the VODs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I should have done that the opposite way around. I am an idiot. What a recap. Yeah, no, I was too interested in being like, oh, hey, we're about to see a corpse trying to fuck us rather than being like, hey... Um, um, they, they, this is the nigga I have to, yeah, my, my bad. What is up, Nakarats? I am Fuchan. I'm 32 years old, and I'm a fucking idiot clown. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to stick around, that's cool. But this is a horror visual novel, which is currently turned into very adult themes. Um, and we're seeing a lot of our friends turn up dead. So feel free to head out if you're not comfortable with that. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for the raid. But yeah, we... We play a lot of this kind of shit on this channel, so... <laughs> Told you to get some help, Fufu. Oh, no, I'm still getting the bad end. I am a monster fricker through and through. If I can choose to stay with monster version of Kakuya, I will. <laughs> anyway. Yep, as the, as the MC is saying. She's got really into continuing it with me. She said it was so she could play with me, who she loves. But... Why me? Maybe... I already have all the pieces to the puzzle. But my memory right now has holes all over. Okay, theory. And this is a disgusting theory. <laughs> this is a disgusting theory which also links in some really fucked up shit for the MC. Um, What if two years ago his mother went missing, yeah? Two, I don't know how long ago it was that the murders stopped from the writer. The author who was, like, collecting bodies, like, turning girls into dolls. What if the final one, the grown-up woman, was his mother who went missing? And that's why Kakia is obsessed with me. Because she's got the memories of my mother inside her body as well. In which case, all that, like, Oedipus and Electra shit we were joking about earlier. We're about to get so fucking Oedipus. We're about to be, like, oh, mommy. Um, this could be real fucked up. That could be my mother's corpse that she used to build her body. But my memory right now has holes all over. I've completely forgotten the names of Yakuza Punk and Hussy Girl at this point. Momo Karuse and Seiji. Um, Amanome. How dare you? They're, 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 they're my good thruple. Can I really do something about her in the condition I'm in? Oh, and here comes the... This time they'll be screaming. Um, prepare your ears, because I have a soundboard for this. We recorded this earlier in the stream. The screams from the mouths pierce my brain. <laughs> the tears reached happily ever after. After her daddy was gone, Chakia became lonely. Chakia decided to go outside the mirror and look for her new daddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
ba 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 that's all it said. Okay. I can't tell what the whispering voice was saying there at the end. No point in sticking around here. She'll show up eventually. I need to make the first move and find a way to get out of the realm of the dead. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. Hey, we're back home. Do you think it's going to be Army this time or Aunt Natsumi? I'm standing in a familiar room before I realize it. This is the place where the hussy <laughs> Fucking stop calling her that. It's Hazuki. She's Momo. No. <laughs> This is the place where the hussy girl was killed in the bathroom. Oh, I remember now. This is... my apartment. I wonder if the mirrored room and weird colors are because this is the realm of the dead. There might be something here. Guess I'll take a quick look. Or oh, you forgot her name? But I didn't though! <laughs> I remembered Momo Karuse. I just didn't remember her government-issued name. I remember her idol name. <laughs> Being in this place... It, it's like if somebody remembers Legatus but doesn't remember Folgarovid. That's fine. That's a name. That works. Being in this place, I can't help but think about the scene of death I witnessed earlier. I'll look around the bathroom where she is later. I need to check other places first. I'm a check. Mm, a living room. That sounds fun. Remember the wig first? As I should, man. Oh, God. It's going to be so hard to read books backwards. This really is the land of the dead. Fuck this shit. Like in the kitchen, everything is mirrored here. This place is supposed to be familiar. But for some reason, I only feel restless. I searched in the closet and under the bed, but didn't find anything in particular. And the closet doesn't appear to connect to anything else either. Oh, that was useless. All right, next dial. Um, what if I did the living room again? <laughs> Kitchen window. The window is slightly ajar. Cold air leaks in through the crack. Putting my hand on the window to try and open it more. Doesn't budge it an inch. All right, I haven't checked the window in the living room yet. It's a long shot, but maybe it's open. All right, next dial. Check the entrance, I guess. I mean, we'll go to the living room to check that window too, but... <laughs> Maybe your vision is also backwards and now your mole on your left butt cheek is on your right. How do you know about that mole? How dare you? You better not know what shape it is. Keeping my eyes on you. When I reach the door, I try turning the knob. You shouldn't do that, dude. I know you're at home, but we're busy dealing with other things. You can rest like five minutes. But the door wasn't open. Just in case, I looked through the peephole. But the only thing outside is the residential area bathed in eerie colors. No sign of any people. It is not star-shaped. It's definitely not heart-shaped. All right. Next, I'll check the living room. This time, check the window. I told you to check the... Oh! Hey, Kakuya! I like the butterfly rings and the mushrooms. That's... Um... Yeah, still would. Still would. I mean... Unless that's made out of my mother. That's a line that I... That's where I draw the line. Everything up to that? Sure. Th those are some nice thighs, even though you've got three of them. Three... Long, long flies. They're moths? Oh... I mean, some of these are definitely butterflies. Some of them could be moths. These do kind of look like fungus. Because she's a fun guy. <laughs> What's wrong with the face? Well, that was kind of like what her face looked like when she was a doll. And this... This is just, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to make the joke. No. How did you... Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. You fucking piece of shit. He's trying to hit her. <laughs> My dude, this is not going to work. I drive both fists into Kakuya's torso, but she doesn't even flinch. It's like I'm hitting a boulder. Kakuya loves you. 
Takuya wants to have lots of fun with you. If you don't love Kakuya, then you won't be forgiven. Five intelligence, you're right. I forgot about that. I can't. My head's getting hazy. I can't think any. Warning. Hey, tell me, who do you love the most? Um, Ami? Kakuya. Technically, ya, ya, Yamate could have stopped. Ka Kamen Rider. I love Kamen Rider. Ku, Kunai. The Nakarats are here. Nakarats give me power. You love Kunai, right? Oh, we're fucked. Well, the correct answer was not Kunai. Um. Shit. Ku. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. I love you. Too. I love you. Well, we fucked up. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Love. Do I get a CG at least? Come on, give me a give me a CG. I wanna see me holding monster lady. Something breaks inside my heart. Eh? Hey? Snoo snoo ending? I might have to censor this actually. Holy shit, one second. Oh yeah, no, she's totally in bed with me. Fuck me. As my consciousness fades, a hard, cold feeling engulfs my whole body. I hear Kakuya's voice beside me. Big brother playing with Kakuya. Alone forever. Ever and ever, forever and ever and ever, forever and ever, ever and ever. It's just the same as last time. That's sad. That's sad. Got the Onichan in bed. Hey, don't king shame people. People can use whatever pet names they want. Just because you're not into it doesn't mean Kakia can't be into it. Okay, let's try again. Hold up, is this four? No. Unfortunately, it's much worse, honestly. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. Do I just... I don't think I choose any answer. They're all Kakuya, so if I just let time run out... Honestly, would I feel you, Demos guy? <laughs> it's an intriguing question, and I am an explorer at heart. <laughs> okay, let's let the time run out. Maybe, yeah, we just don't say Ka or Ku. Oh, yeah. Hey! Okay, it was a trick. Okay, smart, smart, smart. Hey. Why? Why are you quiet? I love you so much. Oh. Shit. Oh, this track is going hard. I don't think we've heard this one yet. As my thoughts fade, I remember all the people whose lives were destroyed because of this girl's game. Army. Maruhashi. Aunt Natsumi. Hey. Kakuya. I. Really. Hate you! You're. Lying. You're lying, 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 you're 
Brother. Hey, wake up. Mommy? This voice. Oh, she's so scared. It's okay. Uh. I open my eyes to Ami staring at me worriedly. Big brother, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. A, a little dizzy, but I'm all right. Oh, thank goodness. Her expression morphs into relief. I mean, it looks like the army, I know, but... Are you... Really, army? I... I'm the real army. I'm not Kakuya. Army. Then... You remember when she possessed you? I... Remember... I was mostly awake, so... Then you remember about Aunt Natsumi, too. Yeah... Kakuya... She did terrible things to Mom, didn't she? Yeah... But... It was thanks to Mom that I was able to save you. Did she connect the mirror? What do you mean? Mom tried to join two mirrors face to face in order to save me. Oh, you legend army! You really do have 13 intelligence! So I did the same thing. I see. The reason I escaped was because army joined the mirrors. That strange floating feeling after everything turned white must have been how I got out. What? What happened to Kakuya? I grabbed the mirror that still looked into the realm of the dead and see. You're kidding me. No, no way. Oh lord, she coming. Um, we need to break that mirror, my boy. I know it's technically a portal now, but you need to find some way to smash that. A small silhouette in the mirror. It's... Kakuya. Olga. Look! She, she's coming closer! Oh shit, she got there real fast. Shit. Well, in that case... Hell yeah! Oh no. Well, we did our best. We gave it the- oh shit, I don't even have that asset on this one. <laughs> shit. Seriously? Come on! Break, damn it! Yeah, that's that's the five intelligence right there. <laughs> Some sort of strange power seems to be working on the mirror. What the hell? Is there nothing I can do but wait until she gets out? What about the thing that seals her? I mean, I know I don't have the same power as the as the ma 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 the the, the the author family, but I have a weird power in my hand. Maybe if I touch the doll head and throw it at her. Maybe then. Maybe maybe she'll... Moroku family, yeah. Maybe I'll be able to imbue the spirit and just throw the doll at her and seal her for ten years. If Kaki escapes, then it's all over. She'll kill Ami, who's just a nuisance to her, and I'll be pulled back into the realm of the dead. But what can I do? N... G... Huh? N... G is Kaki's secret. We can find out what it is. Maybe we can get away from her somehow. Yep, I know about that one. It's the ritual to seal her for every 10 years. She's right. When I brought up NG to Kakia before, she freaked out. If we have any chance, that'd be it. What is this NG that Kakia hates so much? Think about everything that's happened. I must have heard about it recently. NG is... Oh, wait, no. It didn't turn out to be Nagashi no Gi. It turned out to be necromancy game. Necromancy game. Well, that's her necromancy game anyway. So I throw a dead body at her? That's not going to work. No good? I mean, yeah, okay. Nagashi no Gi. Okay, we'll go in Nagashi no Gi. Right. The Nagashi no Gi. I mean... 
Yeah, that isn't... Well... It's hard to tell. Probably an adult woman. Yes. I'm extremely grateful to Nobodu. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru family's cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. <laughs> that Nagoshi no Gi ritual or whatever, yeah? Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to NG? That sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the entrance of the Kaguya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. Teenage girl? Yeah, it could be a teenage girl. That's the thing. It could just... I mean, body shapes come in all different shapes and sizes. But yeah, I guess it was just the fact that normally it was just a very young girl. And, it, and then it, she, they ended up grabbing a teenage girl instead of like an 8 to 10 year old kind of thing. Could it be? Does NG refer to the Nagoshinigi? The Nagoshinogi was a ritual for giving a doll plaything to Kakuya, which sealed her in the mirror. People originally offered special dolls charged with spiritual power by the Moroku family. But an accident caused Yakumo Moroku to lose his spiritual powers, and he couldn't perform his role. Well, in that case, I'm happy it's a lot at least not made out of my mommy. That would have been weird. <laughs> Chopped her head off and attached it to the doll body. Yeah, he did that. Moroku did that. He took off the head, attached it to the doll body, and yeah, trapped the resentful energy within the doll body and then gave it to Kakuya because he couldn't imbue it with spiritual power. So the alternative method he chose was altering young girls into dolls instead. Shit. Well, now I know the meaning of NG. That means there are two ways to seal Kakuya. One is to pour spiritual power into a special doll and offer it to her. The other is to turn a girl into a doll and offer it to her. Wait, are my good end, bad end options either giving her the doll and happening to have enough spiritual energy charge to give it to them? Or turning Army into a doll? Fuck me, that's a dark end. Both of them are absolutely insane and desperate. But which one gives us a chance? The original one. We've got the doll, and we've we pacified so many spirits. So surely we're charged with spiritual energy by now. We didn't pacify the last one. Oh, fuck. Um. Which one gives us a chance? Ritual that uses a special doll. Ritual that uses a little girl. What do you think? Do you think I'm going to kill a little girl? Okay. <laughs> Why was that even a fucking question? Oh, my God. But, what do they mean by special doll? Think, Fuchan, think! You know, you have the doll. You just... Oh, wait, he's got messed up memories right now from being in the land of the dead. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cut you some slack, kid. Something Moroku owned and could be a playmate for Kakuya. Something at the Moroku residence that can connect with Kakuya. Wait, it couldn't be that, could it? Big... Brother? Ami, call me if Kakuya comes out. Seriously? She's right by the... <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Leave Ami in the room with her. Okay. Here it is. I dig under my bed and it doesn't take me long to find what I was searching for. My Arrowhorn. <laughs> my, my, my special magazines. Don't know why I wanted to grab these, but... A replica doll of Kakuya that we found in the attic of the Moroku residence. If anything's connected to her, it'd be this. Plus, this doll. Saru? Hmm? Hey, what's this? That? Oh, since I'm the last successor of the Moroku family, it's just junk now. I suppose you being up. Oh. I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. Why did he link that to a doll? I'm so confused. Masaru was weird as shit. Uh, it would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. It has cat ears? Yeah, Kakuya was kind of cute. Despite how twisted and messed up she was, she was kind of adorable back when she was a doll. What do you mean by power of your hands? 
Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. Oh, shit. Was he the original bearer of the other power? The power that I could... Bloodmetry. Maybe he had bloodmetry as well. Daddy? <laughs> Wait, I'm... I'm part of the Moroku family. That's who the father was. I was raised by a single mother. I'm Moroku. Oh, fuck me. I'm not Fogel a goddess. I'm Fogel Moroku. The power to bestow was one of them. I could use it to bestow spiritual power into that doll and give it to her. If Moroku doesn't have kid or any other family, then there's no one who can perform the ritual. Which would definitely make this doll junk. Yakumo Moroku died because of Kakia, of course. That's why she's obsessed with me! I'm from the original bloodline. It's not because they killed my mother and they got the mother's memories. It's because her daddy was my daddy. Wah. I don't like that phrasing. This is all kinds of fucked up and incestual subtext. Kakia considered him her daddy, but he was still killed in the end. Think harder. Dig into my memories. There might be an answer buried in there. Kakia must have loved her daddy. So then why was Moroku killed? If I believe what Kakia said in the mouth's words I heard back in the realm of the dead, it all started when he gave the fourth grown-up doll the tea doll. I changed her and she started getting interested in grown-ups. Huh. Oh god, I forgot about that shit. Moroku was probably killed with Kakia's game. The deranged love that makes her kill the ones she likes so they die in painful anguish. That must be Kakia's essence. And after she was free, she killed Yuri Takamura, then came after me and Ami. Her interest in us is really strange. Why us? <laughs> Big brother! Shit! She's here! Oh yeah, she's already got an arm out. Fuck! Uh, is she trying to get out? Nope, 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 nope. With an insane screech, Kakia attempts to come out of the realm of the dead. We're out of time. We're ending this nightmarish game tonight. Take off your glove, you idiot! And for that, I'll need to... Use your other hand, your non blood tree hand. You've got the power, you just don't know it. Use the doll myself. I am a Moroku child. There's not a shred of evidence. But from the scattered pieces of the puzzle, the full picture that's forming is leading me to a certain possibility. This is a cool twist. I like this. My dad was a psychopath. No wonder my mom left him. I never knew my dad's face. Come to think of it, did they ever talk about my mother being a dancer? Maybe not. I never knew my dad's face. Mom was the only one with me since I was born. And she was a huge fan of Yakumo Miroku as she barged into the Miroku residence. The power of blood metry in my right hand. The Moroku family had special powers so they could perform a ritual. Plus Kakuya's abnormal obsession with me. Is this all caused by the blood flowing in me? Is it possible? Is Giacomo Miroku my father? He's using every part of his five intelligence right now. I'm proud of him. <laughs> no time to be shocked. The only way I'll survive this is if I believe in that possibility and... I have to perform NG, the Nagoshi no Gi, with my hand. Oh yeah. You know what it's time for. Sealed inside this hand is the power of NG. And I'm about to make you... Now gone! But the big question is... Which hand do I use? I mean, I'm... You, you can be versatile with it, but... Which one do you touch blood with, you idiot? The other one. The hand Moroku used in the ritual was the one with the power to bestow. Was that the right hand or the left hand? I don't remember.
remember the CG. That was minutes ago. What the? How? Um, um, no, we didn't even see. He was using, oh, fuck me. Um, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Power to bestow. Left, probably take away. Right, probably bestow. If we go by logic of like left is bad. Right. It didn't even say good or bad. I hate this game. Right hand it is. No, that's the one he used to touch blood. Fuck, fuck, shit, bitch, fuck. The hand with the power of blood metry. I grip the door with my right hand. Just like when I perform blood metry, I force all my focus to my hand. Hey, cocky. He's gonna look so dumb. He's gonna do some big tuny line. He's gonna be like, it's time to say goodbye. And nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> You think you haven't played enough, do you? Well, why don't you play with this? <laughs> My god, you fucking idiot. The doll is swallowed into the mirror. <laughs> they didn't remind me of which hand was my blood metry hand. I know, uh, yeah. That won't work. The right hand is dirty with blood. You can't see, you can't NG with a dirty hand. Okay, that's not even logical. The blood from the heart goes immediately through the left arm to the left hand. If any hand is more in touch with blood than anyone else, it would be the fucking left one. I am angry. I'm angry. We did say left. Some of you said left. I wasn't listening to chat. No backseating. Do you want to get bombed? <laughs> She grabs my shoulder and drags me into the mirror. Love. Is this going to just be the same fucking ending as last time? At least give me a CG. Give me something different. No, okay. We're just doing something breaks inside my heart again. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hand question felt like a curveball. I'm sure like way back at the beginning of the game, they probably pointed out like, my right hand, it lets me do something. Game told you Blood Metry was right in the recap. How long ago was that? I, <laughs> try again. Uh, this is easy anyway. We just like hold control. We'll be done in a second. Now we know it's left. Well, we're back here. You're a dick. I mean... I gotta know. I gotta know what happens here. I, I gotta know. Well, I do have a little girl. <laughs> Worst phrase I've ever heard while a monster is approaching. Well, I do have a little girl here. Some good meat to throw at the monster and then I can run away. <laughs> Poker? Could I disguise Army somehow? If I can trick Kakia into thinking she's a doll, then I can offer army to her and... What a fucking horrible line of... Oh my god. Uh, what's wrong? Why are you staring at my face so much? Your eyes are scaring me. What the hell am I thinking? You're thinking some dumb shit, my dude. Okay, that's bad ending just instantly. What? She grabs my shoulder. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it was just a shortcut to the bad end. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Um, to everyone in chat who's new, um, no more than three um emojis in one post. Any more than three emojis, it goes against the channel rules, so be careful. Anyway. <laughs> I just needed to know, man. I mean, it might have been a more extended ending. It could have been real fucked up. Deserved. 100% deserved. The dude really said, Well, I've got a little girl here. I mean, if I have to, like, sacrifice a little girl, I've got one right here. Special doll, please. Jesus. Ugh. I understand, but really? <laughs> I mean, we might as well hit every bad end in the game. We only missed one. And that was only because it was taking way too long to get to it. Okay, Kakuya doll. 
Since I'm the last successor, it's just junk now. I suppose you'd be a wrinkly old man. How would it look that way? Power of my hands. What do you mean? Each of my hands, the power to bestow is one of them. I could use it to bestow a spiritual form and the ball rolls give it to her. It, he didn't say left hand. He didn't say left hand, chat. Chat, come on now. Oh, wait, maybe they said it there. I just kind of threw through it. Shin, she's here. Use the doll myself. Okay, left hand. My left hand's my special hand. It has the power to bestow. <laughs> Sounds real weird. The CG was showing his left hand? I, I don't know. Man. I, I honestly don't know. I choose my left hand. Grab my strong hand. Exactly. The opposite hand of the one that has the blood metry power. I remember what Moroku said. Each of my hands held a special power. Power to bestow and another power. If my power has been passed down from generation to generation of my family, then maybe Moroku also had power similar to blood metry. If that's the other power Moroku was talking about, then the power of his right hand. And the power to bestow would be in the other hand. The left hand. Bam, bam, bam. I grip the doll with my left hand. I focus on my left hand just like I do when I'm doing blood metry. Hey, Kakuya, if you want to play so badly, then play with this! The doll is absorbed into the mirror. Imagine if it didn't work. <laughs> it's just like, you weren't a Moroku child. We're just fucking with you. No! I want to play, I want to play, I want to play! That's why you brush your teeth, children. If you don't brush your teeth, creepy dolls are going to come out of the fucking mirror. Winning Kakia's game. Did I lose? No. I want to play again. Oh, shit. She's still haunting us from the achievements. <laughs> Kakia disappears into the mirror. Clear. We're free. We won. I think that's the good ending. I can't imagine a better ending than this. I mean, all of our friends are like, oh, Momo. We need to go check on Momo. She better be fucking awake now. Is it over? Probably. What happened to Kakuya? She went back to her world inside the mirror. This only works for 10 years. It's fine, though. We just have to create another Kakuya doll head. Preferably a full Kakuya doll. I just need to be ready in 10 years. Just in another 10 years, I need to throw another doll into her mirror. It's all good. She went back to her world inside the mirror. She'll probably be quiet for a while now while she plays with that doll. You mean Hazuki? I mean Momo, damn it! I just performed... I just performed the true Nagoshi Nagi. A ritual different from the emergency methods Moroku stooped to by turning girls into dolls. I'm sure it'll be fine. For 10 years, Legatus, remember that. <laughs> he has to repeat this every 10 years. Yeah, and he better have a child. If he doesn't have a child, Leg <laughs> what's her name? Um, blah, 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 blah. Kakuya just gets freed forever. So he, he got to pass on the bloodline. Good thing we're going to go see Momo right after this. And Seiji. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to be a thruple. We're going to have so many kids. Is mom going to get better now? Yeah, I'm sure she will. And Hazuki, too. Don't end there. You better give me a fucking ep- Okay, good. <laughs> if they fucking faded to black there and rolled credits, I was gonna be like, no, 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 no. No choice, we have to impregnate Seiji. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The people who died because of Kakia's game will never come back. But at the very least... The ones who are alive have been saved. Price of the game. 
finished. Game finished. Spirit Hunter NG finished. Why do they only give you four save slots, man? <laughs> this game has a lot of different like options and routes and stuff. Oh shit, we're way, way back at the beginning of time. All right, next. Sir, could you nod? Tonight so calls you more, and you know why? The death march is over. You haven't been able to go home in a while, right? Your wife must be worried sick. <laughs> I doubt she even noticed me gone. She's wrangling our kids into doing housework. Like I said, they left it to the last minute. Wow, what a terrible fucking dude. Don't worry, my wife won't miss me. She's taking care of my children. So I can get drunk all night. <laughs> what a great guy. Ah, oh, that's right. Summer vacation ends today, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's not the same as the beginning. We're at the end of summer vacation now. It's just more drunk people. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I passed a couple salarymen talking about their lives. On stifling nights like this, I'd rather take walks than stay plopped in front of an AC at home. Hence my current activity. Wandering Kisoji at night. Being able to waste time doing nothing makes me realize my daily life is back to how it used to be. And he thinks they'll, she'll stay with him? Probably. So yeah, this is the problem. I, don't, I wonder if there's going to be a fight. Poor dude, though. Poor dude. I mean, poor, poor girl. Poor girl. It's been a week since Kakia was sealed. Since then, all abnormal phenomena around me have stopped altogether. I haven't sensed her presence once, and the whispers have been silent. People around me have slowly been getting back to their normal lives, too. Auntie! Aunt Natsumi regained consciousness immediately after Kakia was sealed. She took a few days off, just in case. She's back working at the bar already. She told me she started writing another horror novel. I asked her if she knew anything about Moroku and my mom, but she didn't know anything else. I guess my mom didn't share details about my dad with anyone. Not even Moroku. She might have noticed the Moroku family's dark secret after their relationship deepened. Did she keep my tie to Moroku's secret from me so I didn't get caught up in it? Probably. She probably just wanted you to be kept away from that dude. Dude, scary. An MC stack on dolls with magic so it can last for decades? I don't think so. I think it's a once every 10 years thing. She just like, she gets bored of the ritual. Army's back to her regular lively self. She's even started helping her mom. At the bar? Child, no, you're too young for that. I still watch over her whenever Aunt Natsumi is busy. That was very brief. Momo! Hazuki, sorry, Hazuki. Where's the wig? Hazuki's woken up as well. Just the other day, Amanome and I sat through her occult theories for hours at the hospital. She's clearly not had her fill of spirits yet. Well, we're going to work well together then, because I'm pretty good at messing with spirits. That's it? That's all the ending I get with Hazuki? You know what? That, that yeah, No, that's what she gets for not putting the wig on. I, that's it? <laughs> that's, I don't get to hear about her idol career? I don't get to hear about, like, we hang out? Or... I mean, I... Okay. Okay. Last I heard of Barn, he was pursuing a new case. His target's this princess mark, some urban legend about a fast-driving spirit. <laughs> that sounds cute. Rose has been traveling overseas doing a magician gig. Magician? Magician gig. The king of some country is apparently a big fan and paid her an exorbitant amount to visit. Fair enough. Good for her. I heard all these incidents have sparked an interest in mysterious cases in Ole. She's been trying to convince her higher-ups to create a new department just to solve them. But it sounds like it's been a hard sell. Ooh, paranormal investigations. I could work for that. I don't seem to have much of a future outside of it. Are me and Amanome dating? Is the fact that I chose to protect Amanome rather than Hazuki mean that we're closer than her now? You chose the BL ending? Ah, oh, shit. We really are going to have to M-preg. We need an air. We need an air. And Amanome is... It's almost time. We're meeting at my place tonight. Yeah, boy. 
He used to talk such shit about my apartment. Just what is he up to now? Maybe he's too excited to remember now that he's been freed from his house arrest. He'll be here any minute now. If we really got the BL ending. The normal endings are messed up. Um, especially the worst ending is very, very interesting. Let's talk about those at the end of the stream. I am interested. I would like those spoiled, but not yet. Let's finish this first. While well, I'm at home resting. Amanome stops by. Senior? How's it going, buddy? How's it hanging, buddy? I just, wow, I just replaced that word. Well, this place is as small as I remembered it. How do you live here? I wouldn't last three days in this hole. <laughs> I bet you won't last 30 minutes in this hole. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shut fuck. No, no. Did you come all the way here to, oh. Did you come all the way here to bitch about my apartment to my face? Nah, I'm not that bored. Anyway, did you finish your homework yet? Uh, about that. <laughs> Please tell me you have the answers ready for me. I take it you haven't finished it and that bothers you. I don't mind if you copy mine if you want, because I'm such a kind young man. Those faces, though. Those faces really sell it. <laughs> I was bored out of my mind while I was trapped inside, so I finished it all ages ago. I don't really care. I'm used to nasty looks from teachers. Oh, he's so edgy. I want to see him in school. That's That would be such a weird little plot line. I bet. Watching you desperately copy my homework isn't what I want to do on the last day of vacation. Oh, I just remembered. Was it the mirror in your bathroom where Kakia showed herself? Before I can raise a hand to stop him, Amanome curiously peeks into the mirror. Hmm, so she came out of this thing, huh? He continues gazing into the mirror. What is it? I was just appalled at how dirty this mirror is. Oh, fuck you, Amanome. Look, I'm a busy dude. I sleep 18 hours a day. You think I have time to clean mirrors? I have to feed myself in those six hours. Get off your lazy ass and clean it sometimes. Again with the bitching about my place. We pass the time doing whatever we enjoy. Amanome digs into a new snobby novel while I read the latest martial arts magazine. Every once in a while, we break the quiet by talking about random stuff. We do this every time we hang out at my place. Yeah, this feels very domestic. Man, I should have gone for the Momo ending. <laughs> this was just kind of... Are they going to smash or not, man? Just just smash already. <laughs> Their boyfriends? Yeah, they just, they just live together. That's just all there is now. That reminds me. I need to return it to you. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a hint. What? Are you kidding me? You don't remember? Was it a gun? Did he give me a gun at some point? Digging through the crap in my closet, I pull out Adam and Ome's modified gun from the back where I'd hidden it. This is really dangerous, you know. Oh, right, right. I remember now. I've been so busy that it totally slipped my mind. What did you say? <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry, I had you hold on to dangerous stuff for me. If you mean that, then don't ever ask me again. Having it here weirded me out. I don't blame you, but there's only a few people I'd trust with this. You, my longtime friend, Shin Yu, and Maruhashi. If only because he was obedient to a fault. When Amanome mentions Maruhashi, I can hear his voice turn somber. He must be suffering in his own way. He comes across as an intellectual punk, but he truly does care under the bluster. Weren't police at his house? Many times. <laughs> They're not very good police officers, apparently. I've been meaning to ask. Now that you've won the war and successfully saved Lilami, what are your plans? What do you mean? I mean, are you going to go back to being an ordinary high school student? Studying peacefully at school, surrounded by your classmates? Is that the normal life you crave? Ugh. <sighs> that's what I thought. 
That's the type of life ordinary people want, but I don't think it's for you. You need a life that allows you to utilize your skills. So you're saying I should go back to doing the UG match? Exactly. I've realized you shine brightness when your life is on the line. <laughs> Damn, he just wants to see me getting knocked around. That's a kink. Everything we've been through only proves it. So, what do you say, Folger? You and me injecting some throw into the UG match again? Fuck it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not a bad idea. Okay. Excellent. Glad to hear you're down. This is going to be so much fun. His face twists into his usual scheming smirk. Good ending. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Oh, damn. That was one hell of a line. Holy shit. I didn't realize that was going to be fully voiced. And yet auto moved on. How dare. <laughs> um. Okay. That's the ending. We're life partners now. Too bad, Kakuya. Yeah, she didn't like the bad, the good ending. Okay, chat. If anybody knows, what's up with the bad ending? Oh, what was what, the bad ending? What's the normal ending? How do those differ? Love his voice. Yeah, getting a Utaite was a good choice. Rose Milan. Wonder if I'm gonna recognize any of these ones. Bum, 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 bum. Yippee, you did it. Yeah, we won. How bad do you want? I mean, hit me with all of them. Hit me with like the medium bad and then the full bad. And ending as a cameo for the MC of Deathmark. Oh. Oh, poor army. Your baby. Like the twist of him being the sun. I'm glad I bitched the VODs for this. Yo, I'm glad you got to caught up. catch up, Margarita. Let's aim for the top. I mean, someone has to. Yeah, one of them has to. <laughs> There's two bad endings where Kakuya turns into Seiji slash Hazuki. <gasps> no, that's sick. That's actually sick. Bad end. Akira loses everyone after destroying the spirits. After beating Kakuya, he can't deal with the guild and trauma. So Rose, who is implied to really be a spirit, also turns him into a spirit. Oh, that's kind of boring. Um, bad ending involves getting everyone killed and MC becoming a half spirit and killing Natsumi. He kills Natsumi and army? Oh, shit. The normal endings, Kakuya possesses either Hazuki or Seiji. Honestly, that sounds more fun. <laughs> Kakuya in the body of one of them, full Yandere? Well, that could be okay. Imagine secret bad ending where Kakuya turns into more Maru Hashi. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into Marahashi. You just see Marahashi come at you like, Onicha. <laughs> oh my god. Those are interesting though. The, the good ending is genuinely, yeah, uh, a bit less exciting than any of those. Spirit Hunter NG has been completed. Would you like to save? Sure, why not? I mean, there's no reason to, but I'm guessing there's no like extras to this game. Oh! For abrupt scares, you can choose the level you want at three different modes. I, I had it at max. Scary mode will increase the extra scary effects. The system data is... Why are they telling me this? Are they making me start the game again? You don't take me to the intro? <laughs> huh? You really want me to go through the entire game? What? <laughs> okay, okay. That's a that's an interesting way to do things. <laughs> they were really just like, hey, you get to start again now. Good luck on getting another ending. <laughs> Possessed JG is kind of lip bite. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look up those CGs later. What do you mean? You haven't even started the game yet. Apparently, apparently we're time looping. We. This is where we meet Maru Hashi, right? Yeah, and Momo. Okay. Strange. <laughs> this game was so good. I loved that twist at the end. The twist of me being related to the Moroku family. That was good. That was real good. By the first line is another round. Makes sense. Wish we could have seen the bad endings. It's just a shame it takes so much to get to them. I wish some of the like just small bad endings had like a proper CG to them. Like some of the... <sighs> the bits that we were doing there... Um... Like, staying with Kakuya, that would have been fun. I, I would have been so down for, like, a CG of that monster version of Kakuya. 
holding me or murdering me or whatever the fuck she was going to do. That could have been fun. Um, you put on enshrouding. The art was really cool. The art was absolutely gorgeous. The characters were really fun. Some of the individual storylines were really good. Um, some of the like investigations we did were very intriguing. Um, Otsu, arigato. Ooh, that was interesting. Cannibalism BL and Seiji Normal End. Wait, what? <laughs> Bad ending Rose is a spirit like Kakuya, but she's a benevolent spirit. Benevol benevolent spirit and likes you. I wonder if she's always a spirit then. Maybe that's why she's always just disappearing. Huh. Interesting. Let's go. You did it. TY for playing my favorite game ever. No problem. I enjoyed that too. Kind of wish we did do a bad ending. <laughs> good for us getting the good ending though. It took a few extra steps here or there. It was much easier to kill the monsters than it was to actually free them. I wonder if there was a different way we could have dealt with the final one though. The big massive flesh. Azuki's good end is MC hanging out with her and Army. Um, uh, similar things. I don't know. I feel like they should have skipped like 10 years forward. Give me a 10 year time skip and like end it with us taking out Kakuya one more time. Like she just barely starts to show up and we're just like, eh, nice try. We get like a much older bearded version of the MC and Seigi together. Seigi with like long hair, Yakuza style. Oh, long hair and a like business suit. Looking sexy as fuck. Me, just bigger, buffer, manlier, bearded. Ah, oh, that would have been sick. Keep cooking, right? <laughs> that would have been sick. That would have been a good ending. Oh, man. But it's okay. We had fun. Then Seiji has born Momo Rose Bon Legatus. <laughs> Momo Rose Bon Legatus. Jesus, that poor child. That's a lot. <laughs> They want to leave it open for Deathmark 2, I think. The bad ending implies the MC of Deathmark came to look for him. Ah, okay. So yeah, maybe. From what I heard, this is set before Deathmark 2. Wait. Or is it set after Deathmark 2? I can't remember. Somebody said at some point. But yeah, Deathmark 2 is coming out soonish. And yeah, maybe they want to bring some of the characters from this into that as well. Deathmark and Deathmark 2 are before NG. Okay, so this is set even after Deathmark 2. So I don't think any of the characters from this should appear in Deathmark 2 in that case. I don't know. It wouldn't make too much sense to me. There's a drama CD for NG, so I think the good end should be canon. Hmm. Gonna have to look into getting the series. Yeah, for now, I'm not allowed to play either of the Deathmarks, so we shall just have to see if that ever changes in the future. Eggy. That was a good game. That was a good game. I especially loved the art. Some of the jump scares were pretty good. The atmosphere was impeccable. Just in general, how creepy it was. Like, I haven't played a game that went that far into the grotesque for a while. The shit, like, when you found the, the bunches of bodies, like, stapled together in Moroku's house, the rotten flesh. Oh, that was disgusting. The death scene we didn't see as well was pretty fucked up. The death scenes we did with, like, the turtle and, oh my god, Seigi's head. Yo, absolutely incredible. And the monster designs were really good. They really did look fucked up. As someone mentioned, Possessed Seiji eats Akira in his normal end to erase the boundaries between them. It really is a Yandere. Oh my god, Yandere Vor end. Yandere Vor, cannibalism, murder. Fuck, that's the one we should have had. That's our ending. <laughs> Spirit Hunter truly goes hard with the CGs, which is probably why I love it so much. Yeah. It feels like a grown-up version of Corpse Party, if you get what I mean. Like, Corpse Party has a lot of torture porn. Spirit Mark... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Death... Uh, blah, blah. Spirit Hunter. God damn it. Spirit Hunter has that kind of same feel where it's like, damn. They they were just going nuts when they wrote these stories. Really love the artist. The artist also designed the art for Tokyo Undernaught. Sick. If you love Grotesque, there's some good stuff in Deathmark, whether you get perns and playing it yourself. Yeah, and I've heard, like, somebody said there's nudity in that one, so we'd have to censor some things. They they did manage, like, they, they towed the line really carefully in this one. Like, you could see a lot of nudity, but they never showed nipples, which is surprising. Nipples and genitals are, like, the big things. Up until that point, you're NC-17, so we managed to keep away from an R rating. <laughs> Although the violence and the death and the grotesqueness, woof. Tokyo Ghoul taught me that Vor is the pinnacle of romance. But of course, <laughs> from what I learned about the practical magic of the movie, the dead should stay dead. Meh. 
From what I learned about the Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation, people that try to hold back for your abilities probably are just keeping them from you because they're scared. You never know. You could be able to find a way to actually heal people without making them terrifying flesh monsters. You never know. You gotta try things, man. You gotta try things. Just try to keep them ethical. <laughs> My more okay, okay. Um, bu 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 bum. I read that super chat. I'm gonna read these super chats and then we're gonna head out early today because I believe, yeah, I've got lots of stuff to do. I have so much stuff to do over the next day and a half. You Q Tempest, I can finally krill my I mean, change my name. I'm glad to hear it. You Q Tempest, <laughs> wait, you Q Tempest, did you join Wilson? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. That's actually it. Because <laughs> we read the other super chats at the beginning of the stream. We read a couple before we started stream. Um, okay, I'll read this final one from Eli and then we'll head out. Ellie? Ellie and then we'll head out. Too late to head out early, Foo? I mean, yeah, it has been six hours, but I mean, like, we normally always do like an extra hour of Zatsudan even then. <laughs> oh shit, we got two more. Ellie, thanks for playing one of the Spirit Hunter games. I think the dev team is pretty small. Yeah, from like those credits, that it was very small. I didn't even get a chance to like look up who the artist was through the credits because they just flew by. There were like four pages of no, it was like six pages of credits. So yeah, it was a tiny team. Good on them. Whoever does the art for this is incredible. Whoever like yeah wrote all of that is wild. Um, ba -ba -bum. I remember they crowdfunded for Deathmark too. Ah, oh, I wish I'd heard of the series before that. It would have been cool. But Jan, I linked the artist on Twitter. Thank you, Behind Zero. That's so cool. I'll check it out later. You may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please rest well. And Lani, okay, I'll for real chill. Now, my wife is disappointed in my spending decisions, <laughs> but I hope you're well fed today. Uh, well, there? Well today, Foo. The hell? My brain is just auto correcting things for no reason. Rest well and thank you for the stream. Bye, you. Ah, bye, you too, Lani. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and rest well. And try, Princess. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a lovely evening. But Chan hungry? I mean, yeah. At 4 p.m., it's gonna be a late night. It's gonna be a late lunch at this point. <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. What else was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Zelda in two days. Like, we're taking tomorrow off because I have to do a bunch of work. Um, but then we're going to be playing Zelda and continuing the story of that one and having a fun time. So that should be good. Should be nice and relaxing compared to this. This had so many deaths today. So many recounted deaths as well. Um, Toby TVC, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Thank you always for the art, Toby TVC. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please rest well. Take it easy and have a lovely evening. <clears throat> Noween, thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message, but thank you so much for being here. Hope you rest well. Hope you have a lovely evening and thank you so much. I already ate chicken noodles. I'm glad to hear it. Now I need to go get some food. <sighs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining today. Spirit Hunter was great. I feel like that ending could have gone harder. You know what I mean? I mean... I feel like they needed to like continue things. Will you join the golf with your friends collab? Yeah, that's the one that I'm part of. It's Sunday day, Sunday day, Sunday, fuck my brain. It's Sunday night. So I'm probably going to post that underneath my previous tweet with just my schedule um, to make sure everybody knows that I'm going to be there. Cause I also need to clarify some things for the hashtag full ass stream. Um, I'll make sure that people know they can still submit more full ass assets. Uh, it should be good. Golf with friends is always a good time. Yeah, in fact, let me check the full list of people who's joining that. Well, I don't know if we have a full list yet, but I know we have like seven or eight people that were already interested. So we can check out who has signed up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, one second. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so far it's seven people. It is Petra Gurin, Albin Knox, Uki, 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 Ki, 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 <laughs> Aya Amare, Vicky Toria, and Kunai Kuchan. So yeah, that's the group for now. That's an interesting group. Hmm, that should be fun. That should be a lot of fun. I mean, golf with friends is always fun, but yeah, this is going to be a good time. Perfect. Okay. 
um mj and lim thank you so much for donating the food funds no message but i hope you enjoyed the stream and i hope you have a wonderful evening and adamatis otsufu this game was so good but i accidentally got spoiled because of my friend oh i'm sorry uh but anyway have a good day i'm gonna head out i need to sleep i feel that <laughs> i need to get some food i need to walk dog and then i need to chill for a bit i didn't expect it to be six hours of gameplay for today i always underestimate visual novels damn it <laughs> um have a good day and stay safe and healthy thank you so much adamaris i hope you have a wonderful day and stay self said self safe and healthy as well wow brain is really not broiling with that said, we're going to head out for today. Tomorrow is a day off. We're not going to post the membership tomorrow because we're going to wait until Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. No, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday is the day off. So yeah, Saturday, I'm going to post a membership post. Um, the day after tomorrow, we're back for Zelda at the normal time of 10 a.m. EST. So look forward to that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day off. Rest well, take care of yourselves. Make sure you eat good. Make sure you stay hydrated. Yeah? Yeah? Good okay <laughs> everybody have a wonderful evening as always do not be led astray my confidants and i will catch you guys next time and as usual on the way out i'd like to say thank you so much to everybody who joined the membership today and it looks like youtube's fixed their pro problem like it's not lagging anymore i'm so happy we didn't have any lags today. I was able to see the chat completely and now I'm able to scroll up and down without a problem. Let's freaking go. So everybody who joined the membership today, including Mel Hope, D Cream, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Realm, Shimomi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Margarita, thank you so much for donating the few funds. Yeah, even though it was gory, it was kind of beautiful along the way as well love the art style i can't wait to go check out what else the artist has done aisha arif sophie Asumi, mochi ubo amelia parker tsukishiro sara third wheeler <laughs> irchan mao sam wong thank you so much for the five gifted membership Ikyo. Toby TBC, Minisiva, yeah. Have a wonderful day off, guys. Have a lovely time. Luna, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you had a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being here. Please rest well, take it easy, and enjoy the day away. Mao Chen, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Sky Blueing Way, Mikita Chan, Kirara. Sinan, Mothri, Noor Noor Marlene, Kyrie of the Stars, Ube, Azuyun, Ticket CYL, Frey Mist, Raining Windows, Rengo, Megan Senpai, Knuckle Cracks, Tuskaru. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lunasa. Alba Shizuo. <laughs> Namjoon, it's fine. Everybody has to learn the rules at their own speed. That's not a big rule break at all. That's why you just got a tiny timeout. No worries. <laughs> Rosin Rivers. Happy Hi Hi. Noeen Small Guy. Asumi Hayase. Denden. Yuki Tempura. Kumo. Han Pan Mikyo. Adohide, Kindred Anon, Sofu Sofu Meow Meow, Jin, Lala, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well, take it easy, and thank you so much for being here and always supporting the channel. M. Jane Lim, Miss Jerry Lawliet, and finally, Lavi. Let's see if we can raid anybody on the way out. Oh, and Joyce Lier, thank you so much for donating. Wait, no. Thank you so much for coming back to the membership. I'm blind. We can. Pio chan is playing uh, 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 Tekken. Yo, it's been so long since we got to raid Pio chan He always raids us. Have wonderful times. You know what? I normally don't do a raid message, but I want to do a raid message today because he always does one for us. So, 
I'll type one out and we're gonna say, What's up, Pio Chang? We can't wait to. I don't know. Something about the D dinosaurs. It's gotta be about the D dinosaurs. Um, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we should change our name too. Um, we, the comfy crew. No, that's too simple. Something about sheep. The ba, 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 ba. Mexily Light, welcome back to the membership. Um, we the. What, what should our fake name be, guys? What should our fake name be? The ba, the Borg bars, the sheep barn. The sheep puke. The bastards. You might, no, you might get timed out for that. Um, that's swearing. Um, we the bar sheep, the Fuchan sheep. The comfy, the Bartalian. Okay, that's perfect. We the Bartalian are here to cheer you on alongside the D dinosaurs. Okay. I'm going to copy that myself because I'm going to be spamming it over there too. It's revenge time. <laughs> the Bartalian. Okay, so if you can copy that, I'm going to end stream in a minute. We're going to raid over to Pio Chan and just don't spam it, but drop it like once or twice. Don't hit like four to five times. Just make sure that he can see us being like, hey, the Bartalian. Yeah. The, the Bartalian. D dinosaurs. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a wonderful evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. And then, yeah, just enjoy the stream however you'd like. <laughs> From then on, feel free to watch as long as you like. Feel free to leave whenever you like. But yeah, just be respectful. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Catch you in two days.